Today we're playing some NFL Head Coach 09. My first time playing this game, I was kind of frustrated with it. You can't control your players and it seems like a very long, grindy game with a bunch of meticulous tasks that aren't really too exciting. But the more and more I played into it and the deeper you get into this game, it can be very rewarding. Of course, it is very frustrating to see your players make stupid mistakes that you would have easily avoided if you were controlling them as the user, but it makes it all the more rewarding when you see that dumb player develop and make a good play for once. You feel so proud as a coach. The team building is extremely deep and fun, and that's probably my favorite part about football games anyway, and to be able to see it all rendered out in an actual gameplay experience is good enough for me. There's a lot of cool features in this game. One, you can create your own play however you want, draw up the routes. Pretty much can do anything your imagination can conjure up. Can't promise it'll be good though. Looking at these old rosters too to decide which team I want to play with. Good all 99 Tom Brady, LT, one of my favorite players of all time. Big head Peyton Manning. Jared Allen, I remember him. Champ Bailey, though, I do remember. Carson Palmer, Ed Reed, Steve Smith, Randy Moss. Oh, look, I'm in the game. Good old Tony Romo. Feel very nostalgic for this era. I was like 12 years old, I think, about the time this game was released. So that's prime gaming eras and prime, like, interest in football, I guess. Because you have no job. You have school's not really a big deal. So you get to focus on your hobbies basically full time. I didn't play this one because it seemed way too complicated. But that's why we got this series. So that way I can do all the annoying meticulous tasks and you get to watch all the fun stuff play out with me. And the best part of it, we don't have to watch my terrible reads play out. I can complain about our quarterback back together. This video is brought to you by Underdog. Underdog is a fantasy sports app that is famous for their pickums. The pickums are simple. You make two picks at higher or lower, and you could end up winning big. The more picks you make, the higher the payout will be. So right now it's baseball season starting back up. With pickums, if you put selected both of them correctly, then you could be winning big. You can find these picks or any other on Underdog, and you can use the link in the description and make sure to use code NTE. If it's your first time downloading Underdog, they will actually match your first deposit up to $100. It also helps out the channel directly when you sign up, so make sure you use code NTE. New customers are revealed a mystery pick'em special. Underdog is great because they have great offers for the first time sign up, like this one with Mookie Betts, higher or lower than 0.5 plate appearances. So if he plays the game at all and gets one at bat and you select it higher, you win. So take advantage of those. Playing Underdog Fantasy and Pick'ems makes watching sports even more entertaining. So thanks again to Underdog for sponsoring this video. I'm going to start a new career. I do not want to do an existing coach. You gotta create me, you know? See, which roster would you do what you want to do with? The Jets would be a fun one. Very weak. I feel like they've always been terrible since I've been alive. I think they won, like, one playoff game with, like, Mark Sanchez, and then I can't really remember much else. I like the little intro it gives for the team. The Packers turned into storybook year in 2007, but faced some serious questions heading into 2008. Fix the long-term situation at QB, get a solid running game working, and patch up the defense. Well, at this time, they had a young Aaron Rodgers, and they didn't realize he was going to be the long-term solution solution just yet. But yeah, I think they're going to be okay at quarterback. Panthers look like they have some serious issues, weak roster talent. Yeah, I definitely want to get a team that's very weak. Raiders finally showed some signs of life last year, but they're not out of the woods yet. The defense is talented and Russell might be the QB of the future, but this team needs help on offense. And spoiler alert, he was not the QB of the future. I'm not going to do the Raiders because I just did it with uh, the Tamadamo fullback series, so we're going to do something else. We're not going to do the, the Washington football team. I'm good on that one. I'd like a team that's so bad that I can basically just rebuild the roster from the ground up. Titans are a decent team led by Vince Young and a swarming defense. Biggest needs for more talent on offense and in the secondary. They also need creativity in their play calling. So they got a weak roster, a fun QB in Vince Young, and they already have some defensive pieces that you could work with. That could be a fun team, but I don't know. I, I want to start lower than that. They were 10 and 6 last year. Vikings are led by a solid defense and rookie of the year Adrian Peterson. If you can build your team around these two things, upgrade the staff, and fix up the playbook, you'll be fine. Now, that would be pretty fun. A young Adrian Peterson in his second year. Another one of my favorite running backs of all time. But then again, they have an average roster, so I think I'll move on from that. The Dolphins, they might be the worst team in the league. I know Mr. Hurricane started his career with the Dolphins in his head coach 09 series, so I'm going to choose a different team. I think the Jets could be an interesting team. It's been a while since I've played with them. I live in New York now, so I feel like it just feels right. The Jets had a great run in 2006, but just seemed to collect collapse in 2007. They don't have a lot of talent on the roster and you'll need to fix the QB situation soon. This team needs help now. Oh boy, do they. So now it's my chance to take the reins and try to make the Jets at least watchable. Holy crap. There's 165 coach faces in this game. How are you going to have 165 coach faces in this game, but like four faces for your players in Madden? Straight up goofy, man. Well, besides the blue eyes, I think that actually looks 
relatively close to me. So I'm going to go with that. Time for big old Drewski to start his career. I like the personality type. They have a ton of options here. Commander, superstar, traditionalist, loyalist, guru. Let's just start from the bottom. Alloy. Loyal, dependable team player that can fit in wherever he goes. Yes, I want to be a head coach that just blends into the background. Or I could be a Titan. Tough as nails team player whose joy in life comes from crushing the competition. That sounds like fun. I do enjoy crushing people, especially when it's the competition. Anchor. Very relaxed individual who is patient and dependable as they come. No, I'm not very dependable, to be honest. Kind of chaotic. Virtuoso. Talented and dramatic person who makes even the most difficult tasks seem like a walk in the park. That has got to be the most opposite description of me possible. I make simple tasks the most complicated thing possible. Optimist, no. Lone Wolf. An ambitious yet solitary person that enjoys change and will listen to anyone if the price is right. <laughs> yeah, you just buy me off. I feel like that's the most accurate description of me. Not sure how poorly that would affect my career, though. I want to set myself up for success, not be fired in the first week. I'm going to go with Commander. A driven individual that is team-oriented, dependable, and willing to take charge. Now we get to select our skills and special skills for our coach. We have 50,000 skill points available. Holy moly, this is going to be a lot. But that's what I like about this game. There's a huge coaching tree. You got team chemistry play calling, strategy, performance, physical development for your players. Then you got the intangibles, the learning development for like, I guess for play knowledge. Yeah, that's what it is. But then if we go over the special skills, I think this is what I want to do the most. Yeah, these could be OP. You got to be balanced in a lot of things and you don't really have a lot to spend at first. So you could do ambition, which is 20,000 skill points off the bat, which is insanely expensive, but you get a discount of 15% from here on out. Buy the discount one early off just so I can save myself some points later, even though I'm going to start off crappy. Now we save 750 points on each of these consecutive ones. It's a long-term investment, but it, it pays off way more if you do it at the beginning. Quarterback readiness skill. Increases quarterback's awareness and evasion of defenders. I feel like that'd be huge. Pocket presence and awareness would be massive for my quarterbacks. Go ahead and purchase that. Ooh, also finding the right reads. The last time I played this game, I had a huge problems with the run blocking game, so I need to invest in that heavily here. So we're going to go for run blocking discipline. Like, we're going to spend a ton of here, and we're also going to put some into improved blocking. Players have an increased percentage of success Successfully blocking. It's an 8,500 skill point cost. Oh, I don't have the prerequisites. Dang, we're gonna have to throw in more into pass blocking discipline. Fine. We're gonna invest a lot. I, we need to have good blocking on this team. It, it just won't work without it. Because my first playthrough, I tried to do speed and stuff, but I didn't notice anything specifically different. And speed is not as a big of a thing as you would think as if you were controlling it. Technique and stuff is way more important, which is kind of nice because I feel like that's way more important in actual football. So now we spend all our things on like game day bonuses, but we have nothing yet into of like development stuff for our players. These are relatively cheap at 2000 points though for the first tier and it gets all the way up to I think like 5000 for the top tier. Well, if we're going to keep going all in on that, I think we need performance, which is going to cost us 3000 right here, 5000 left. The next one is 5000 G's. So we're not going to be able to get it up to level five yet. I'm also going to add a point into play calling. I've never gone down this path before, but I'm intrigued to see how it affects the whole process. Is there another special skill we could get? Game film analysis increases intangible player stats, which impact the ability to assess the situation on the field and remain aware of opponents maneuvering. That could be interesting. So I'm going to try this out. Yeah, we're going to invest in that and we're going to have some skill points left over 775. Not enough to buy anything right now. My overall skill right now is 13. That is abysmal, but I'm a brand new head coach for the New York Jets. Clearly they did not have any better options. Or maybe they did and they just jetsed it up and chose the worst available coach they could. I'm lower than Adam Gase right now. Choose the default playbook unless you want them to relearn everything. Well, sorry, we're gonna have them to relearn everything. Gonna have to throw out the crappy playbook. See, if I was just playing for fun and I was controlling it, I'd probably do a spread option, but I'm not sure how well it would work with a lot of the players in this game. I don't think scrambling QBs will be able to get it done. McDaniels plays, so this would be built around, I guess for the Patriots for Tom Brady. That could be interesting. 31 rushing plays, 73 passing plays. I'm fine with leaving the defensive playbook the same, so that way the offense has to learn a new playbook, but the defense, you know, it could be okay. I, I do want a balanced attack. I feel like a John Gruden one could be good. It's got a good balance. 75 passing plays, 43 running plays. A little spider two wide banana action. That could be good. So we're going to start in the off season and not the preseason. So that way we can do the scouting combine and the draft. That's the most fun part about these games. You have finished setting up your career. <laughs> good luck, coach. You're going to need it. What's nice about this game is they do use a real draft class from 2008. So you got Matt Ryan as the top player, but it says he's overrated. Josh Johnson from San Diego. Considered one of the sleepers. Ray Rice is in this draft. Good Lord. Jonathan Stewart from Oregon as well. Five star wide receiver class. 
two-star tight end class, weak offensive line class, okay defensive end class, four-star defensive tackles, five-star for corners. Here's where you modify your team's philosophy. Yeah, I want to be able to hire all my coaches if possible. Draft trade philosophy. I like trading down, getting more picks, because hopefully we can outmaneuver the rest of the teams and get some good players later in the draft. I'm actually not going to do a lot of trading in this game because I remember it being kind of difficult. Trading philosophy... Let's go normal. Let's just leave it all neutral right now. So for the draft philosophy, you can either draft the best available players or draft the biggest team needs. I like to do the best available and you can find the team needs later. Don't want to miss a star player just because you're trying to fill that tight end need, you know. Don't think I'm able to replace any of my coordinators or coaches in this first season, but I think you can in the next offseason. For quarterbacks, we're looking for a pure passer. If I was going to be able to control the players, it'd be really fun to have a scrambling guy, but you never know with the AI, especially in these Madden games. So we're going to keep it simple on them. Keep them in the pocket. Hopefully you can get it done there. We're going to go with balance halfback philosophy. For fullback, we're going to keep it at blocking because that's probably what they're going to do the most, but definitely expect some fullback dives in this career mode. I love to do it. Wide receiver, quick slash route runner, base. Let's go with quick slash route runner. Speed is important, but it's nowhere near as important as route running or catching. I'm not sure what a playmaker tight end even means, but sign me up. From our guard philosophy, I guess we want to keep them as run blocking specialists. We'll just leave the center balance. Tackling, I want them to be pass blocking specialists. I know it's kind of weird to have them diversified, but hopefully it works out for me. The defensive philosophies are the ones I struggle with most, but I guess we're going to stick with the Jets 3-4, so we're going to build around that, I suppose. Leave it as versatile 3-4. So we're going to have four defensive ends on the roster. For my outside linebackers, I want them to be pass rushers. Middle linebackers, I like them to be, yeah, just like a tackler in the 3-4. For DBs, I want them to be man coverage specialists. And thankfully, we have Darrell Rivas, who is amazing at that. For the free safety, I want him to be a center fielder. And the strong safety, I just want him to be, I guess, helping out in the run. Or maybe balanced, because I guess he is going to be in coverage a lot. So we don't want some schmuck. Kicking philosophy, I don't think Bigfoot matters as much when it's the CPU doing it. We want somebody who's accurate, not just kicking it far. Because their accuracy is a little bit more inconsistent. And punter, I guess the accuracy is not that big a deal. Because if he's inaccurate, it's like we're not losing points if it goes out of bounds, you know? Team building philosophy, 100% love to build through the draft. No one has fun building straight through free agency. At least I don't. Blitz philosophy, we're going to keep it normal. Pass coverage, man coverage. Playbook control is going to be with the defensive coordinator. 3-4 scheme. The finding moment philosophy, we're going to be aggressive. Always. Start rookie QB. I prefer to. Yes. Time to look at the draft board. So Jake Long, probably going to go first overall. Dwayne Brown, Chris Long. Darren McFadden. Yeah, this is a fun class. Ooh, Chris Johnson, the speedster. Three plus signs next to his speed. Fastest man alive. The only thing we have listed is their production from college. Joe Flacco, elite arm strength. Yes, let's look at QBs, because I don't think Kellen Clemens is a QB of the future for us. Matt Ryan says he's got accuracy, football IQ, and size. Adequate arm, mechanics, and upside. Interesting. Brian Brom, I can't say I remember much about you, buddy. Andre Woodson, 35 overall. He's got size, very good arm potential. NFL comparison, Jason Campbell. Josh Johnson's got the Vince Young comparison. That's also pretty good. John David Booty. What a name. Isn't he a, a coach somewhere? Ooh, Peyton Hillis. The Madden 12 legend. His overall is 50. I, I can't imagine he's good in this game. Jordy Nelson, Eddie Royal, Donnie Avery. This class is loaded, but I'm sure we'll see more of them throughout this draft process. R right now, I'm just setting the basic draft board. We don't know much about these players besides their production grade. Who should the scouts watch today at the senior all-star practice? I guess we'll look at Joe Flacco. The Dennis Dixon has quick release, elusiveness, above average arm. I'm looking for somebody with elite arm strength, and whoop, Chad Henney has that. Andre Woodson, very good arm. We'll take a look at it. <laughs> Colt Brennan, I remember that legendary dude. Says he's a system QB, though. Probably not going to be good. So our season goals, acquire a right tackle with an overall of at least 85. That's going to be tough. Acquire a linebacker with an overall of at least 85 as well and the same thing for a tight end these are pretty tough goals the running backs yeah i definitely want to look at chris johnson we can look at peyton hills for the memes for the receivers oh we could also look at tight ends we definitely needed a tight end i don't know if we need a wide receiver but of course you can always get one later and it said it's a five-star wide receiver class so we'll try to pay attention keith rivers has an nfl comparison of Derek brooks yeah, we're going to take a look at you. Derek Brooks is like one of the best linebackers probably of all time. I'm Adam Schefter, and here's your senior all-star game update. Practices went well this week, and more than a few players stood out among their peers. Virginia's defensive end dominated in one-on-one -on -one drills, showing the strength and pop we've seen all season. 
USC's quarterback struggled, and his stock continues to drop at this point. I'm not sure what he can do to right the ship. Kentucky's quarterback, on the other hand, looked great in practices in Saturday's game. He was named the MVP after throwing three touchdown passes. I think people are starting to realize what this kid can do when he has better than average talent around him. Well, that's even more exciting. They said Andre Woodson was the MVP of the game, throwing three touchdowns. I was already intrigued by him, by the size, potential, and very good arm. We haven't unlocked what his potential is yet, but he's going up. He was a 35 earlier, 40 overall now. Not enough to draft him yet, but he says he has 70 throw accuracy, 68 awareness, so nothing crazy exciting yet. He does have the same accuracy as Joe Flacco, and he has 27 higher awareness. So Joe Flacco looking like a stinker. Andre Woodson has way better awareness than Dennis Dixon. But Dennis Dixon has 90 elusiveness. They said John David Booty was terrible. And they said Chris Long looked amazing. NFL Head Coach is one of those games where you basically have to play with a spreadsheet open in a different tab. So much information constantly flying at you that you need to keep record of. Not sure everybody likes that, but I think it's kind of fun. Combine workout. Joe Flacco at 6'7 at the top. 40 time. Ostrander with a 4-3-5. Same thing with Brink. And Morris, Josh Johnson with a 4.55. I'm actually kind of disappointed with that. I thought he'd be faster. Who hit 35 bench press reps? John David Booty, who else? Ball speed results. I'm not sure how this is calculated. See, Matt Ryan was so good, he didn't even show up to the combine. Got to keep that in mind. Well, I don't know anything about Joe Flacco's potential. Obviously, he turned out to be an okay quarterback in real life. His NFL comparison in this game is Jay Cutler. He's got 97 throw power, which is spectacular. 6'7", but his awareness is freaking 41. Like, you would not be able to play him for a while. Ryan Brom, on the other hand, 91 throw power, 45 speed. That sucks. And we do not have the senior bowl scouting. Three pluses on intangibles, accuracy, and experience. It says he's a system QB, and his durability is garbage. Chad Henney, what are you looking like, bud? 93 throw power. Ooh, senior bowl scouting said he had 63 throw accuracy, 54 awareness. You're probably still worse than Joe Flacco, but you're not exciting me. Kevin O'Connell, very good arm. That was very good arm, 89 throw power. Josh Johnson, could be fun. Like one of the only scramblers worth getting in this draft. 92 throw power, 86 acceleration, 92 speed, 84 agility. I dig that, but we don't have his accuracy yet. John David Booty, you look terrible. 84 throw power. Yeah, I, we're going to avoid John David Booty probably altogether. Oh my goodness, call it Brennan, 76 throw power. Yikes, dog. I remember Matt Flynn. Oh, 80 throw power. Jeez, I thought he would be better than that. Combine workouts for the running backs, okay. Chris Johnson, 4-2-3, no one's surprised. Darren McFadden right behind him, that's good news. This is a great running back class. Oh my goodness, Darren McFadden looks great. He's got 97 overall right now, his production was 99. His NFL comparison is freaking Adrian Peterson. And now we see his speed is 98, acceleration 99, agility 97. I'm not sure how much more I need to see, he looks spectacular. Felix Jones is actually faster, NFL comparison Reggie Bush. So they both look absolutely spectacular. We're going to talk to both of them. Definitely going to have to talk to Chris Johnson after he ran 99 speed. Jamal Charles, 98 speed. Yeah, I love Jamal Charles, man. He was another fun player. Oh my God, does he have 15 impact blocking? I'm sorry, Peyton Hillis. I can't draft you if you got 15 impact blocking. That is so bad. Ooh, Anthony Aldridge, NFL comparison, Darren Sproles, add him on there. Deshaun Jackson and a Dexter Jackson in this one. It gets confusing, but they're both actually pretty good players. Donnie Avery, Eddie Royal, like this is a stacked wide receiver class. So stacked, in fact, that I think you could probably draft a guy in the fourth round or later, and he would be like maybe second or first round quality, to be honest. They have the barn door in this game too. I love it. Like there's no way he's good in this game either, but it's just cool to see all these old legends. Jacob Tammy, 77 catch. 57 awareness is not good. He's got good hands and pretty good speed, though. Oh my god, 48 catching. That is so bad. Dorian Bryant. Five awareness. Good lord. Where do they find these guys? Holy. Donnie Avery has 100 speed. And he's got 81 catching. Oh man, I forgot Calais Campbell was in here. He's got 94 speed. I guess this is based on their position specifically. Because there's no way Calais Campbell's just booking it. <laughs> Dre Moore has 91 pass rushing moves, 92 hit power, 98 strength, 91 acceleration. He's probably a later round draft pick, but that guy looks good. Antoine Case on Darrell Rivas NFL comparison. Uh, I like to hear that. I'll talk to him. 98 strength for Jake Long, 98 run black strength, 86 pass block strength. Oh my goodness, Bo Bell looking very good. 89 speed, 95 hit power, 82 block shed, 72 awareness. Once we figure out his potential, Philip Wheeler could be draftable. Keith Rivers looks like pr 
probably the best linebacker in the draft. It said his weakest points were zone and pass coverage, but they're at 80s, which is like almost like a corner level. It's honestly spectacular. 92 block shedding, 96 head power. This guy's amazing. Kenny Phillips has the Darren Sharper NFL comparison. One of the hardest hitting safeties in the league. That's got me intrigued. Alexis Cerna has 97 kick power. 85 accuracy. It's looking like Brian Braun might have some durability issues. His left arm has a 70. Right leg 74. So if he takes a few hits on those specific areas, he could be in danger. Yeah, Brian Braun looks like he could be a twig. Here's our team need. So we absolutely need a right tackle. Right outside linebacker, tight end, right in, left guard, right guard. And then down the list, we need a quarterback as well. I don't think we have a quarterback for the future. Kellen Clemens looks like a band-aid, like I said earlier. But he does bring up a good point. Our offensive line's dookie. Wait, we got Clint Oldenburg. He's one of the Madden developers. That's funny. Very old picture of him. Hope you block well for us, Clint. Jordan Gross. This is a guy we kind of need. I don't even know if we can afford him. We have $21 million and the bidding is at $31 million. We are kind of screwed here. Screw it. We're going to do it. The bidding is over. We'll wait and see if a deal can get done between this difference maker and the, the Jets. The Jets. Why did he say it like that? So the staff change went up by 12. You know what? I'm going to go crazy then. So we got Flazell Adams for a year. We'll give him an incentive if he starts 16 games. So I'm trying to trade for Lorenzo Neal here, a 90 overall fullback. Actually, let's do a sixth round this year and fifth round next year. How about that? We accept the offer. Sweet. So we got Lorenzo Neal now. The New York Jets. Hell yeah, we got Carlos Dansby. We got the sixth overall pick in this draft, and it looks like we don't have a third round, but we have two fourth round picks. We might have to trade back to try and get more. We'll see what we can do. We need somebody who is at least 85 overall. Coach, the scouts need to know what pro day to attend. Okay, so Miami's looking like a good one, because I wanted to look at Calais Campbell and Kenny Phillips. Oh, that rain is pretty calming when I'm doing all these goals. Oh, dang, look at that. We got Dan Quinn as our defensive line coach. Brian Scottenheimer is our offensive coordinator. I'm on the hot seat, and I just got here. <laughs> coach, the scouts need to know what pro day to attend. See, Kentucky would be good because we can take another look at Andre Woodson, who intrigued me a little bit. He's got good awareness and stuff. Coach, the scouts need to know what pro day to attend. I'm going to need you to shut your face. So we finally got to scout more of Matt Ryan. 82 throw accuracy, 76 awareness. 90 throw power, so he clearly looks like the best quarterback in the draft. As far as initially, he's going to be the best quarterback in the draft. NFL comparison is Alex Smith. Don't know his potential yet, though. So Andre Woodson has 97 throw power. That one was a nice surprise. Very good arm. That was not... That, that's an elite arm. His awareness is 68, too. So as long as his potential is something, which we have no idea yet. But he's already better than um, Chad Henney and... Even Joe Flacco, at least as far as his initial starting ratings. Andre Woodson, we're going to keep you on our board, sir. Matt Forte, 52 ball carrier vision. No, like, spin or juke at all. They made him stinky in this game, didn't they? We went to San Diego's Pro Day to check out more of Josh Johnson. He's got 64 throw accuracy, 45 awareness, so it would take a long time for him to, like, develop into anything. He can run, though. Easily the fastest guy in this draft. And our first look at Dennis Dixon, 88 throw power, 81 speed. He's got 69 throw accuracy, 45 awareness. Kind of meh. I really got to find out more about Andre Woodson. I got to know this guy's potential. I scouted about a dozen players for individual workouts, and that unlocked some potential for some of these players. And I got to say, a lot of these are extremely exciting. Like for one, Darren McFadden, he's as good as advertised. His potential is 97. Ball carrier vision is 90. Trucking is 90. Like he's one of the most complete running backs I've ever seen. Hence the NFL comparison of Adrian Peterson. And then you got Chris Long, who looks very, very good. 92 power moves, 91 finesse, 88 block shed, 97 hit power. He's going to go top five for sure. Jack Long looks a little overrated for me. I'm going to stay away from that. We found out more about the quarterbacks. We know Brian Brom is a twig, but he looks like he could be okay. 91 potential. 82 throw accuracy, so he's very accurate from the get-go. But of course, quarterbacks always have a high price tag of like a second round or first round pick. The guy I've been trying to sell this whole time, Andre Woodson. If we let this guy develop, he could be spectacular. 93 potential. 97 throw power. His durability is better than Brian Brom's. He's got perfect size for a quarterback 68 awareness 70 throw accuracy so he's not the most accurate from the get-go but he's got a good learning at 78 brian brahm's learning is 85 though so i can't really decide would you rather go heavy on brian brahm and hope he doesn't get hurt or stick with andre woodson in a later draft pick because i think he could be sneaky personally i like the potential of the 97 throw power with andre woodson myself we found out martellus bennett's 
potential is 83. He's got 80 catching, so he looks like he could be an okay player. We also found out Calais Campbell has 89 potential, and he's going to definitely go later than Chris Long, so we could look to get him later on in the draft. He's got pretty good learning, too, at 75. Budget Chris Long, who could probably end up being better with that kind of speed. 100% scouted on Keith Rivers. He's got 94 potential. Easily the best linebacker in the draft. Maybe the most valuable defensive player. He could play whatever style you want, and he would excel at it. Oh, my. Vernon Golson's a bit of a disappointment. He's only a pass rusher. 99 hit power, though. Extremely quick. Potential's 86, so that's actually not bad potential. But I'm not going to spend a super high draft pick on him. The oldest McKelvin has 87 potential. We finally found out about his coverage, 86 man, which I kind of prefer for my team. 78 zone. Actually not a bad player. Ooh, Kenny Phillips, 92 potential. The Darren Sharper clone. That'd be a good pick. But he looks like he's good enough to play corner if we wanted him to. Still have the season goal of getting a tight end of 85 or higher. I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest. Need to find a sleeper in this year's draft. Draft a player with high potential in a late round. 85 or higher. Select a player with at least 85 potential in the first two rounds. You got it. I'll do my best. So after free agency, our team needs have switched around. Now we need a tight end first. And then a right in, right guard, left outside linebacker, quarterback, and a corner. Next up on the calendar is the NFL draft. All the hard work put in by every GM, coach, and scout comes to a head when teams get the opportunity to draft the best players from the college ranks. Every year, at least one player in the draft can turn around a franchise, so the pressure is intense for every team involved. Thanks for the insight, cartoon Adam Schefter. Now, here we go. This is my favorite part of anything. NFL draft time. And what's cool about these drafts is they get an opportunity to pick the pick. It's not me selecting for the computer. It's me guessing what they're going to pick. And if I get it right, I go up an approval. And if I get it wrong, I don't think I lose any approval. So it's fun for the first 10 or so picks to try and guess what other teams are going to do based on their needs. Who do you think they'll get here? Who do I think they're going to get first overall? I don't think they're going to go Matt Ryan. I think they're going to go with that left tackle with Jake Long. So how about that? We got the first pick correct. This kid out of Michigan has looked like an NFL lineman since his sophomore season. He's got great playing experience, both on the left and the right side, but I think he'll be just fine playing left tackle in the NFL. Scouts love his height and his massive wingspan. He also has long arms and big hands. He shows elite awareness in pass protection, and he does a great job of picking up both blitzes and stunts. He has tremendous intangibles, and he's known as a leader on and off the field. The only concern I have with him is the injuries. He did miss some time with a foot injury in 2005, but since then, he's been on track, and I think he's going to be a superstar at the next level. Let's see if we can guess the second one from the Rams. Oops, didn't didn't do it, but they went for Vernon Golson. I accidentally clicked advanced pick instead of pick to pick. Let's try it again with this one. Let's see if you can guess this one. Well, they went for Matt Ryan in real life, right? But would they go for Darren McFadden? Interesting. Let me guess Matt Ryan. They did. Going back to ATL. Poor guy is cursed. Gonna blow a lead in the Super Bowl in his future. Raiders are on the clock. I really don't want them to get Darren McFadden because I would love him. They, they're not gonna go Ryan Clady, right? They need a right in. Maybe they'll go Chris Long. At least that's my hope, right? Ooh, Glenn Dorsey. So if I were the Chiefs, I'd probably go Chris Long. All right, here we go. We are on the clock at pick six. The draft suggestion is Darren McFadden. If I agree to the GM's draft suggestion, my approval goes up. But he could always make a bad decision. You never know. But we know for a fact that Darren McFadden is awesome. With this pick, I was either going to choose Darren McFadden, Keith Rivers, and if they were both off the board, I was going to trade back. But now that Darren McFadden is on the board, he's one of the draft suggestions. I'm going to go ahead and lock Darren McFadden in, get that approval boost, get one of the guys I wanted, get our Adrian Peterson 2.0 for the future. Big playability. Got the vision got the speed got the size 90 learning which is the highest i've seen so far in this class 90 trucking 95 spin move 97 juke 81 awareness 92 elusiveness let's lock it in guy torrent this back is the most talented player in this year's class and he will be the rookie of the year next year barring injury i know nfl fans are excited about adrian peterson's rookie year but this kid might be even better than peterson he has a bigger burst in the open field, and he's impossible to slow down once he gets going. On top of all that, he can throw the ball, too. Arkansas would line up in the wild hog formation this year, and he'd run or pass the ball. 
His ability to catch, run, return, and play some quarterback on trick plays makes him the highest-rated player in this class and a great pick here. I completely forgot about how good of a Wildcat quarterback he was. That adds so much potential for fun plays because we get to choose and draw up our own plays. So the meme potential and the trick play potential with Darren McFadden is through the roof. I am so glad we locked that in. I don't think we'll have to worry about a running back for the rest of my career. They need an outside linebacker. There is no better guy than Keith Rivers on this board right now. Like, I, I don't see them not going Keith Rivers. Yeah, they went. The rich get freaking richer with New England. Oh, they went McKelvin. They didn't believe in Joe Flacco. I thought they might go McKelvin, but damn, son. Joe Flacco's going to New Orleans. What? <laughs> I think I'm done picking the pick. I've got five incorrect in a row. Ryan Clady goes to Denver. I think that's what happened in real life, too, if I remember. It's been so long. It's almost like it's been over a decade since this draft. Chris Johnson going to the Texans. Oh, my God. Pats went up there in round one. They, yeah, they got Antoine Case on. My God. The Patriots are just getting better and better. They were already so good in, their, in our division, they're going to clap our cheeks every year. Ryan Braum and Andre Woodson are still available. I really want Andre Woodson, but I think he might slip to maybe the second, third, or hopefully even the fourth, but I don't want to risk it because I don't think we have a third round pick, so I might trade up in the third to get him. Oh, there goes Kenny Phillips. That was another guy I really wanted. Excellent player out of Miami. Brandon Flowers, another good player. And I like the fan poll here. Was Brandon Flowers a good pick? Yes. Wasn't he a pro bowler in real life? But Fred Davis went to Seattle. We're two picks away here. Falcons on the clock. They got Matt Ryan with their first pick. <laughs> it's split on his, was Matt Ryan a good pick? <laughs> they got Dwayne Brown, so they got a left tackle for good old Matt Ryan. They want me to draft Brian Brom. I don't know, dude. I mean, he looks like he could develop to be, like, above average quarterback. 91, like, that's nothing to sneeze at. And he would be able to play right away with that kind of accuracy and stuff. I'm going to say no to this. I, I just get bad feelings about Brian Brom. And, like, look at that. He's going to fall apart. He's going to be injured a lot. They want our draft spot. Ooh. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to see what we can do to trade down. We could go back, like... 19 picks and then pick up a sixth and a seventh pick it doesn't really look like a great offer you know those picks are kind of stinky I, I was not impressed with that so we got six minutes to make this pick see the corner i wanted is gone both outside linebackers that i wanted are gone i'm thinking clays campbell has 89 potential we can see that and i think that's more valuable because he looks like he's actually going to be able to play and not get hurt i'm gonna do that because we need a right in pretty badly there's still quarterbacks on the board we can target later so i'm liking this we're gonna go calais campbell with this pick boom approval went up oh fans had an approval change nice going away from my stupid gm avery looked like a good player he was the guy with 100 speed even though they have drew Brees, they got joe flacco and now they have avery who can fly oh there goes felix Arkansas jones oh my god seriously dude i am triggered that the patriots are having such an amazing draft class holy crap not only do they get one of the best linebackers I've maybe have ever seen, then they get Antoine Quezon, who's a solid corner, and then they get Felix Jones, which is a speedy, speedy running back. I'm very salty, man. I'm salty, old man. There goes Brian Braun. So it appears the Packers don't realize they have Aaron Rodgers, one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever live. And then they go and draft Brian Braun, doing typical Packers things. Oh, there goes Chad Henney. I need to, come on, nobody get Andre Woodson or I will poop my pants. I swear to God, Patriots, I will delete my entire save file. Whew. Well, they got Ray Rice. NFL draft day two. Oh, thank goodness. So Andre Woodson is still on the board. So is Josh Johnson. If so, if Andre Woodson goes, Josh Johnson is my next best bet. But I want Andre Woodson, man. Oh, Chad Pennington in the seventh round pick. I'm going to try it. This offer is okay. The three picks is a lot. I'm really trying to get away from the second round pick, but it might be SOL here, boys. Offer is decent. Oh, they took a seventh round, a second round, and a sixth round pick. So seventh this year, second next year, and a sixth round. They want me to get Jermichael Finley, but I think it's... I'm just getting nervous here, okay? I thought the Chiefs were about to draft a quarterback right there. No, I'm gonna go against you. I'm gonna get Andre Woodson, man. We gotta get our boy. It's time. I'm, I'm getting too nervous. I can't wait any longer. I gotta make sure I get him, okay? Third round to get this beast. Third round, pick 66, quarterback of the future, Andre Woodson. This Wildcat quarterback is my favorite prospect still on the board. He's a big kid with a dynamite arm and great decision-making skills. Kentucky did suffer through some tough losses during his senior year, but they wouldn't have been ranked without him. He rarely misses a game as he's shown great durability throughout his career. I spoke to one NFL scout that told me he reminds him a lot of Donovan McNabb. 
This team just drafted their quarterback of the future. We found a sleeper in the draft, Andre Woodson. I was nervous he was going to get picked there for a second. Hopefully Andre Woodson is worth it. Oh, there goes Deshaun Jackson to Philly. Earl Bennett to Chicago, so it's a lot of realistic picks here. How about that? Dennis Dixon goes to Detroit, so somebody was trying to get a quarterback. There goes Jamal Charles. Now uh, there goes Dre Moore. He was, I was hoping I could get him, but... Had to get Andre Woodson first. I mean, so far I'm liking our draft. Darren McFadden, Calais Campbell, Andre Woodson all have had great potential. Darren McFadden, 97 potential, Calais Campbell, 89, and Andre Woodson has 93 potential. In the third round, I feel like it's a discount despite us having to pay the tax of like moving up in the draft. Hopefully it turns out to be worth it. So they want us to draft Jacob Tammy. He looks like a solid player, 77 catching. He has good speed and stuff. Looks pretty durable. Hmm. Do I just agree with him or do I search around with what's left? Yeah, we'll draft him. We'll take Jacob Tammy. <laughs> Only get one approval rating for that. I don't know much about his potential or anything, but he seems like a solid enough tight end, especially for the fourth round. They want us to draft Tavon Branch. I don't know about that. He's got 97 speed, which is awesome, but we don't know anything about his coverage. I'd be irresponsible to just blindly pick that. So we can get back one of our picks. I hate to do it with the Patriots, but... I'm running. I got 15 seconds. I'm going to accept it. So we got a couple of picks back. Sweet. Oh, man. Mario Manningham looked like a really good player. He goes to the Browns. Nice pick. Bo Bell. Man, that's another player I wanted. I thought he would have lasted to the fifth round. And there goes Josh Johnson to the Titans. So they got two speedy quarterbacks. You know what? Athia Rubin looks like a pretty good pick. He seems safer. I mean, the six finesse moves is absolutely terrible, but you don't get a complete player here at the tail end of the fourth round. Draft through four rounds. We got Darren McFadden, Calais Campbell, Andre Woodson. Jacob Tammy, not your Rubin. I suggest we get this kid. Shut up, dude. You always make some dumb suggestions. <laughs> They're getting mad at me. They won our draft spot. Dewan Tribble out of Boston College. He's got 81 man coverage, 80 zone, 71 press. We got 41 learning. I mean, this is the fifth round, so I gotta make a decision quick. Yeah, let's do it. Dewan Tribble. Now it's time to bid on players who slipped through the cracks in yesterday's draft. So we bid on players. We can bid on up to five for these undrafted rookies. See which we got Pierre Garçon, Dorian Bryant. He's got that five awareness, but we're talking about um, undrafted rookies right now. This guy has an NFL comparison of Antonio Gates. You know what? For an undrafted guy, you're gonna get attention for sure. A bid on Andrew Crummy, this right guard. Oh, they bid on him too. At the last second, we got it. Oh, that was too close for comfort. We're just hoping we win these bids. There was a lot of people bidding for Crummy, so I'm hoping that one turns out to be a good player. Nobody outbid me at the last second, or I will fight. Fabora signs with the Jets. Boom! Got all the guys I set out to get. Man, it's been an arduous four hours, but it's been a ton of fun for me, building this new team. So I ran into a speed bump. I had some major issues with the salary cap, so I had to cut a bunch of players. Chad Pennington being at the top of that list, but ironically, he only saved us like maybe like $900,000. When the dude's contract was freaking massive. Signing bonus, 500000 Three years for $2 million. What a freaking steal for, like, our future QB, you know? Gotta increase Jordan Gross's play knowledge of 44%. That seems like a lot. Increase Nick Mangold's play knowledge of 40%. Lorenzo O'Neal's to 39 Add 10 new plays before the preseason is over. Time to choose your game plans for the day. Choosing a game plan prepares your team for the game, and it can give your players a boost when you choose it. I'm going to focus on my top two rookies, Darren McFadden and Andre Woodson. I want them to have the best playbook knowledge they can get, since they're going to be playing the most, I think. Lorenzo Neal is eternally in that low fatigue stage. Awesome. So we got Alexis Cerna's potential. Our kicker could be up to 86. By the way, I cut Mike Nugent last episode. I think I did it off camera, actually. But he's got 97 kick power, 85 accuracy, which was way better than like Mike Nugent's 90 kick power, 80 something accuracy as well. Dorian Bryan, 80 potential. He's like 55 right now. He's got 94 speed, 5 awareness, which is just hard to think about. That is so bad. 80 catching, 85 route running. Oh, Jacob Tammy, only 73 potential. A little dis disappointing. I think overall though he'll be at least be able to stay on the roster. 77 catching. The route running sucks though. 51. 96 carrying. Uh, he's a forgettable player but he'll be on the roster for a little bit. Oh my god. Mike Peterson. 93 speed. 94 acceleration. They were not kidding when they said you were Antonio Gates clone. Gotta find out what his catching and route running is though. I still don't understand the play knowledge things. I I'm just kind of focusing on my rookies. So we're gonna Calais Campbell a little bit. What are our season goals looking like? Play knowledge is at 22%. 18% for Nick Mangold, 19% for Lorenzo Neal. I'm doing the best I can, man. I don't even know how to affect it. I gotta add 10 new plays before the preseason is over. No big deal. This is where I get into the lab and try to make some greatness. Gotta think about certain situations, the personnel we have, and the types of plays that they can potentially run. What's nice about this game is I can 
pick this player, move him around wherever I want. Basically set up any formation you desire. We gotta change the drop from a five-step drop to probably... We'll do three-step drop, I guess. So this one's a doozy. So I figured out how to do the Wildcat to where we have Darren McFadden running the option play with our backup running back. And then we have everybody else blocking. We also have an offensive lineman out blocking on the right side, both of our tight ends and our fullback blocking on the left. And the way I've got it set up, it's basically targeting the AI to where it's always going to focus on Darren McFadden pulling the ball and not handing it off. He's done it basically like nine times out of 10 the past few times I've tested this play. That's what we want. We want the ball in his hands. That's why we drafted him. He's a playmaker. Let's see if it works right here on this test. We'll try it against a couple different coverages. This one is like um, just straight up man blitz. See, he's pulling it. We got the blocks and that's a good chunk of change. About 10 yards. Now we'll test it against a zone blitz and see what works. I mean, again, that might even be better because he's juking people out in the open space. Oh my goodness, this is a money play right here. Everything it's called against, it's worked. I'm keeping that one. That's got to be the play of the day so far. It's the one I'm most excited about. And I already know the name of the play. We're going to call it McOption. I haven't found a good passing play yet. So when you make plays, I don't think you can set up play action, which is kind of disappointing. But at least there's a play creator in general. And who would I be if I didn't bring back the greatest play ever created? The Checkdown. I call this one The Checkdown. Learn it, get it, got it, good. If the check down works, I will poop my pants. It did not work. <laughs> we got sacked. The chances of getting someone open on this play is like negative two. Or he threw a pick. So the check down is easily the worst play we got in the playbook, but I'll just let the tape decide. I'm really just trying to like completely mess up the front seven because I feel like the run blocking is kind of goofy in this game. So I got two pulling guards. <laughs> my tight end running a streak block up the middle oh my god it's actually gonna work most of the time he runs to the left like he should occasionally he'll just like run it up the middle i don't even know if the plays i'm calling are legal because look at this this is just like some houdini witchcraft in the backfield oh my god it worked again i'm about to call this play the game breaker but not for a good reason i think it just it's like a houdini witchcraft Oh my god, Darren McFadden is so good. Did you see that move? Okay, I'm committing to this play now. I'm calling it the game breaker. So we got our 10 plays finally created. Took me legitimately two hours, but... So the way this is going to work is I'm going to simulate the preseason games because I only like playing regular season. And I don't want this series to be 8,000 episodes. So we're going to do a lot of simulating in this series because, I mean, even in the game, it's still simulated. It's just you get a live view of it. So we're going to dismiss this first item, and we lost the first game. But my uh, approval went up. Oh, because the goal completion. The players and the staff like it that I made the new plays. They must like the memes. Andre Woodson got a lot of action there. Both Kellen Clemens and whoever Smith is got two interceptions but Woodson had one touchdown 105 yards 66% completion percentage looking good young dude McFadden had three attempts for 19 yards Lorenzo Neal five for 21 Carlos Dansby 10 tackles new addition kicker made both his field goals nice we should have some cuts coming up soon progress report Ooh, Andrew Crummy turns out to have 87 potential but his learning grade is five yeah I don't think he's ever gonna reach his full potential oh his impact blocking is 46 Ooh, run blocking 44 yeah I what can this guy even do god yeah he has a lot of holes in his game <laughs> That's why he's 58 overall. Just out of curiosity, a look at Darren McFadden. His throw power is 76, throw accuracy 65. Pretty cool to see. Oh no, one of our receivers got hurt. Three to five weeks. Oh god. We got another injury. Bruised hip, out four to six months. We gotta play some on IR. Hey, we won that game. Kellen Clemens did well. Andre Woodson, 74 yards, no touchdown though. Ooh, 5 of 15. We're learning more about Mike Peterson. What's his catching grading? Ooh, he's got 80 catching. 69 route running. Mike Peterson's a beast. Another injury. Bruv. I'm just gonna ignore it. Not my problem, you busted up your knee. I don't care that you broke your elbow. <coughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick, 23 years old. Wow, this game is old. He doesn't even have his beard yet. Darren McFadden has a mild head trauma. What is this blitz the league out three to five months? Let me just back out real quick. I can't deal with that. Oh my God, Kellen Clemens, you suck. 
So we got blown out 27 to three in our third preseason game. Darren McFadden, 2.3 yards per carry. Holy crap, Mike Peterson, 86 potential. Another undrafted free agent turning out to be a legend. I mean, we found our starting tight end right here at a Northwestern Missouri State. So I made a change. I moved Calais Campbell over to left outside linebacker since we're playing the 3-4. That way he's on the field a little bit more and in the more correct position, you know? The more I think about it, I think our kind of uh, defensive system is a little bit of a mess, but uh, we can work on that. Look at that game break play art. It looks so goofy, but maybe it actually works. And Another loss for our team in the preseason. But it looks like Andre Woodson's going to be our starting quarterback. Kellen Clemens looks like butt cheeks. To be honest, none of them look really impressive, but we got to develop Andre Woodson. Darren McFadden's actually not averaging a lot of yards per carry. It's been like two or three per carry every single game. We can promise to win this Super Bowl. That's not going to happen. The owner expects us to finish below 500. I'm on the hot seat, so I got to have to agree with him. See, approval's going to go down, but it's the most realistic one. So he's he's going to be not mad, but disappointed. Winning at least three games, we might not even do that, but finishing below 500, it's more of a broad range. I don't think we'll win half our games. Probably going to be lower than that, so I'm going to stick with that. We're going to name Andre Woodson the starter for week one. Just fun to start the rookies. New season goals. The fans want you to crush the Dolphins in week one. Beat Chargers on Monday night in week three for the fans. Win three out of my first four games. And the owner thinks we should re-sign Flazelle Adams. Also carry Rhodes. Have an approval rating of 65 or more by the end of the season. All extremely tough goals for when I just got here. This is going to be an uphill battle. That's what it... The thing about NFL head coach is it's very unforgiving. The chances of you keeping your first job are very, very low, unless you're an absolute boss. Draft preview for the new draft. Three stars for the quarterbacks. Overrated player M. Barnes, sleeper P. Lacey. I'm guessing this is all fictional players by this point. Three-star running back, four-star wide receivers, three-star tight ends, five-star defensive tackles. <laughs> the corners are literally zero stars. There's no talent in this one. That kind of sucks because we could have used like a third corner. But now, like, I don't even think I'm going to look at the corners. Yeah, we're going to need a receiver in this draft, too. We kind of messed up on the last one. Didn't really take it full advantage of it. Oh, yeah, and safeties, too. We need a safety. Finally, at long last, after a grueling offseason and prep for the year, it is time to begin the new season. We are starting Andre Woodson in his first ever NFL game. Same thing with Darren McFadden. We believe in these young players. Hopefully they'll get it done. 48 approval right now, starting my career on the hot seat. That's how I love to do it. We're going to kick this ball off first because I like getting it in second half. Kick middle. <laughs> Great play calling right there. Good eyes, ref. Good eyes. What do you mean? Nothing happened. He just kneeled it down. Jesus, Lorenzo Neal, you're starting this game with 46% fatigue. What happened to you, man? I guess you're 35 out there. Trainer says let him play. Yep. He's near the back end of his career anyway, so there's not great camera angles in this game. This is actually the best one. It's just overhead. Can we tackle Ronnie Brown? And we do. That wasn't good. Hey, I'm happy. They didn't score a touchdown on their first play. It's a win in my book. I have one created play for defense. Yes, I know I can edit plays on the fly. I don't even control that one. He's running up the gut. Hit him low, and that's going to be first down. It it's been two plays, buddy. Calm down. we got to remain chill. Get him, Calais. Play broke down. Oh, almost a pick by Darrell Revis. Snaps it. He's got a guy open on that slant. Break on it. Almost another pick. That one's Justin Miller, I think is his name. I got to learn my own players' names, man. I'm a terrible head coach. You make good plays. I'll know your name. Trying this man blitz. We've been working on it all weekend. It hits our defender's face. Way to go, Carlos Dansby. Can we get a punt return? Just call a fair catch, please. Thank you. There you go, Miller. You're the man who swatted it down earlier. Making a name for yourself. So we're going to stick with my created plays first because I'm a narcissist and I only trust me. Let's start with McOption. Yeah, let Darren McFadden run this show. Let's just look at him in this goofy position. He's keeping it. Gutting it up the middle. There we go. That's a positive gain of five yards. I don't know if this is really running up the gut play. We're doing game breaker. Look at Andre Woodson, number three. Handing it off. Oh, four yards for Darren McFadden. He's already got nine on the game. Third and one, it's time for a fullback run. Classic oh, Drewski moves. Oh, go Lorenzo Neal. What an adjustment. He saw the man coming, clogging the hole, and he ran to the outside. Worth every penny to trade for you. See, if you get a good fullback, you will win games. Let's try a halfback screen. I'm amped. We've got the momentum. Get rid of it. There you go, Andre, and that's going to be a loss of yards. Let's hit him with the going out. 
Oh, he's going to get sacked. Andre Woodson not looking sharp. <laughs> well, it's going to be ugly because the camera angles in this game are kind of dookie. Nothing takes me off more than when they mess up my play. Woo! Oh, no, he dropped it. Damn. Andre Woodson put that on the money. So running game looked good early. Passing game was a stinker. These are the worst camera angles in probably any football game ever. Like, I can't get a sense of the field at all. We're just going to run pinch me until it doesn't work. Pinch me when my play stops working. Look at that. Knowledge. Bust through. Oh, what horrible tackling. Oh, but he popped it loose. Justin Miller with the fumble recovery. Looking good, my man. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I don't know how you're going to react to my emotions here. Some players react better when you remain calm. Some like it when you get hyped for them. I guess it depends on the situation and the player. I just don't know my players that well yet. It's gotta be on them. Uh, oh, it's on us? Ah, nuts. <laughs> ah, nuts. Oh, go Darren McFadden. He's got an open lane. This is why we drafted you at number six. Is he gone? He is. First touchdown of the year for the New York Jets. Put the special skills into my offensive line. Drafted Darren McFadden, and he's already shown us why he's going to be a Hall of Famer. He dropped it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's try a little crib play. Right across the middle. Oh, my. That was awful. That was really bad, Andre. Yeah, we're going to try Game Breaker real quick. See if we can get a couple yards here on second down. Good blocking. Darren McFadden's doing his thing. Got a guy open in the flats. He got there. He caught it. There you go. Just slow the game down. I don't think his play knowledge is very high. That's why he's playing like a doofus. Oh, God. Darren McFadden looks tired. I really don't want him to get hurt. That would be devastating. So we will sub him out pretty soon. Oh, he took a nasty oh, hit. On. Dink's not one of my strongest plays, and clearly we don't have the knowledge for it. But we got to give Darren McFadden some rest. Good read. Let's post and toast him. Got a guy over the middle. Oh, he's chucking it for the end zone. Swatted down. Dang. Andre wanted it all. Yeah, let's try the field goal. Why not? We got the young guy. He's got 97 kick power. And it looks like he missed it. <laughs> It's all right, champ. I'm going to remain calm. That just looked like a pretty tough one. Play action. Almost sacked him. Can we get the pick? Swatted down by Darrell Revis. Can we get to him? It's not really... You know what? We don't have as much pressure as I'd like. Darrell Revis still smothering him. Yeah, man. Justin Miller has been impressing me. Darrell Revis shutting everybody down. Yeah, that did. <laughs> Wait, that was Miller. He's had a good game up until then. Shut up. I believe in my guys. I mean, we got the lead here, and I didn't think we would do this. When I played this game before, I don't think I ever won a game. I barely scored a field goal in my first couple games. Ooh. Tackle him. Come on, guys. We're stinking it up. Get to him. Darrell Revis. John Beck. I can't say I remember much about him. They got Chad Henney in this draft. Oh, swatted down. That's Calais Campbell. Forgive me for the camera angles. There's not really anything I can do. You either got this one, which is like just a weird angle, and this one, you can see the field, but it's pretty far away. So I think I like this one more. Oh, well, that's a good throw for the first down. Bust up the run. Get in the backfield. Hey, no touchdown. Oh, he's juking to the outside. Such a bonehead decision by Ronnie Brown Good right there. The coach. The Sam and Will are putting all kinds of pressure on their run game. Guy across the middle, get there. He's throwing it. Oh, swatted down in the end zone. They're booing him. Because our defense is great. I don't know if this is the best camera angle or what. And he got it. 7-3. Yeah, let's try a simple halfback dive and see how it works for us. Oh, they're coming at us. Darren McFadden, though, is breaking tackles. Oh, my goodness. Nobody blocked him. All right, it's time we bamboozled him, even though our play knowledge is in the toilet. Sending him in motion by design. Throwing it. That was just not a good read. Okay, Andre Woodson, you've been a disappointment. Gotta say that. Oh, my. What is with the horrible tackling? Play action. Beck's throwing it across the middle to his man. Can't say I know who that is. Settle down, guys. It's not over yet. 
We have the lead. You're making no sense. The defense has been tremendous, yet you're complaining every play. There goes Ronnie Brown. Wait, who got injured? I just ignored it. <laughs> I got a game to coach here. I can't worry about injuries. Is he going to toss it? He's chucking it to the end zone. He's got a man. Oh, he dropped it. I thought he got the touchdown and was celebrating, but wow, the rain got him. Made his hands slippery. Boy goofed. So he's going to try for this field goal. That is a dagger straight down the middle. Good kick. <laughs> Why am I so angry? We still got the lead. Everybody calm down. Oh, he slipped in the rain. Yeah, this camera angle is so far away, you can barely even tell which numbers are on the players. I want to see Darren McFadden just go off right here. Oh, he got shut down. He made plays earlier. He's already got a touchdown under his belt. Post route. Ooh! Fitted in between the linebacker. Call, that wasn't the call. That was a good throw by our man, Andre. Go, baby, go. Good blocking. I'm trying these different camera angles. He drops it short, and that's not going to get many yards. Just three. Maybe I'll just stick with overhead. You guys let me know which camera angle you like the best. Do you like the low sideline one? Or do you like the overhead? Or do you like the weird cinematic one? I can't think you'd want that one. Find that man on the outside. And he's still going. Breaking tackles that's up past the 20. Right You're damn right that's how it's supposed to be run. Nice job, Andre. Yeah, that word, that deserves a fist pump. Good blocking on the left side. Oh, if he breaks that one, that's another touchdown for him. Today, but I, need him running smart. I thought that was a pretty smart run. He just got unlucky. Let's go by play knowledge. Mastered. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I like the boot plays, but... Fine, we'll give it a go. Ooh, the play action did get him. Throw. Oh, a little bit too much off target. It was open, though. Andre's going to hit that when he develops his accuracy a little bit. I chose this play because it has some pretty good play knowledge. It's not one of my created plays, though. Third down and 11. Let's try and get some yards. Hopefully a first down. Come on, what play is he running? He's open. Tight end, touchdown. Mike Peterson, undrafted free agent. Wow, boys, what a play. See, Mike Peterson likes it when I stay calm, too. Okay. But, man, that was hype. I was really excited for you, buddy. So, offense is looking good. Defense is looking tremendous. Like, I, I have no complaints right now, and I thought I was going to be screwed. Because, for real, like, the first time I played this game, it was very, very difficult. We're cooking with magic here. I'm really sad that this upcoming class is full of terrible corners, because... I'd love to just get like one or two more and just really unload on him with good corners. Lorenzo Neal, left arm injury, out for game, x-rays pending. Damn it, man. He's just too old. He's just been tired and in pain the whole time. Oh, what a play! Oh, it's on us? Ah, nuts! Personal foul. Or is it face mask? Boo. To be honest, I'm actually really enjoying not controlling the players. Because it makes them feel a little bit more real and the ratings start to matter a lot more. What a weird throw. He charged that thing back. Oh my. Thank goodness we had somebody back. back Why is Calais Campbell on coverage? Yeah, I, I don't like that. Please, no. He's got a guy open on the left. Almost picked off by the linebacker. Oh, but if they go to the corners, we're screwed. Yeah, he's got a guy open over there. Make a play on the ball. He did not. Come on, guys. Relax. I gotta remain calm. See, how did he react to me remaining calm? Please tell me it's positive. Oh, wow. A lot of people got pissed at me. Because I remain calm, everyone's just triggered. Interesting. They're just gonna take the extra point. And they got it. So we still got our one-point lead. We're gonna finish out the half with a Mick option. Guy coming around the corner. Spin move. Yep. Come on, guys. You gotta block okay, for him. Guys, let's get it started. Come on. Oh, no. McFadden's not moving. Is he dead? Let's see if we can put up six points before halftime. What do you- what? What are we talking about? There's like two seconds left in this half. I'm going to punt it because that's the only sane thing to do in this situation. So you just go out of bounds, it's the end of the half. Sometimes this game wilding. Defining moment in weird situations. Hey, but good half for us, 14 points. 
Andre Woodson, 100 QB rating, one passing touchdown, 87 yards, 7 to 13. Not bad. And then you have Darren McFadden averaging seven yards per carry. Dude's been a beast. And how about Mike Peterson, the tight end? Love it. Loving everything about the team so far. Oh, based on the outcome of the defining moment because nothing happened and I punted it. Okay, it came back. So they realized I was the one who was not stupid <laughs> because their logic did not make sense. Oh God, Darren McFadden, lower back bruise, out three to five plays. Um, let's try halfback dive with the backup then. Nothing takes me off more than when they mess up my play. Dude, they didn't mess it up. Good play offense. You just contradicted yourself on the same play. Oh, I can't believe they messed up my play. Good play defense. Oh, get rid of it, get rid of it. No, the left side butt naked got sacked again. Need a big play, Andre. Ah, he screwed up my play. He's open and he almost threw a pick. Hopper crying out loud. I can't believe he hasn't completed a pass. Well, in this half, he cre completed a lot of passes in the other half. Well, I didn't expect to play action right there, and he Second overthrew him, almost picked off. Oh, there was so many random oh, movements by our corner. Anyway. Darren McFadden's back. He bruised his back, right? Let's hopefully he doesn't get slaughtered. Oh my, they're swarming him. I hate everything. Let's do it, Woodson. Oh my god, Not the left side has got to get better at blocking. Oh, he threw it off his back foot. Jesus. Yeah, get this out of my face. <laughs> Did you hear that guy? I could not believe this. Oh, no, he's going to get the punt return. We need the punter to save the day. Yes. You there you go, it. champ. Throwing it to the corner. Pick that off. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> what the? We should see more sacks. Pause. I don't want to see more sacks in my life. Pick that. Oh, Darrell Revis just got mossed. And now they're going to go for two. He throws it short. He's not going to get it. So they only have a five point lead now. Oh, why did you, you got to cut in on that? Have we gotten a positive play in a, like an entire quarter. <laughs> what? We just really pooped the bed. Good block pickup. That was the worst pass I've ever seen, though. Yeah, he has not completed a pass this entire quarter. If this one doesn't at least get a completion, then I don't know what, man. At least we completed a pass. We're going to go for it here because I got big balls in my pants. We're going to go dink. Get rid of it quick. Those out routes. Oh, you love to see it. Big plays. Perfect. Great play. Mick optional. What the? Power toss to the right. Give me those blocks. Good juke. Go, Darren. Go, Darren. That's a big time run. Down on the ground game, coach. Oh, the post. You should have hit the post. Fourth and seven is just a very big risk. So if we get a field goal and then another field goal later, we'll beat him. He got it. Sweet. I thought he was going to miss it for a second. <laughs> it's only a good idea if we make the field goal. So proud of you. Oh, oh, another chance at a pick. Good pressure. Swats it out again. Is that the rookie? Just in case they fake it. We're in his zone. Punts it towards the corner. What? A, he shanked it. Make a man miss. That's That was a good run, McFadden. This one's actually going so to Jacob Tammy. To Holy, he just got clocked. I think he got enough for the first. Oh, went for the ankles. We got a second and long here. Got to get rid of it quick. Rolling out. Oh, come on, Jacob Tammy. Oh, it's picked off. Can he go for the touchdown? Going out of bounds, but what a play. All right, who got the pick? Kerry Rhodes. I'm going to get hyped for that. Okay, Kerry Rhodes does not like it when I get hyped for him. I'll try to remember that for the future. We've got all the style points, right? Time to unleash the game breaker. Let Darren McFadden get his second rushing touchdown of the game. Nope, he's going to get shoved down. 
who's open in the corner touchdown there you go taking the lead second passing touchdown of the game for Andre Woodson I'm gonna remain calm same guy again they just got wrecked get over there oh come on wake up come on Darrell Revis you are fantastic in coverage but that was abysmal attempt at trying to tackle him I've never seen someone look so stupid since I've tried to use her people in a video game. Oh, did he fumble it? We scooped it up. That's another turnover for our defense. Third one of the game. That's more than solid. That was epic. McFadden's open. I don't think he caught that. I'm going to try this meme play. It's literally just called Yeet. And it's just a post route. That's it. Everybody else is blocking. If this works, I'm going to go crazy. Oh my god, is he going to get open? No, <laughs> only I'm one guy to cover. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> no, that's, it wasn't a good play. I don't think we've sacked him yet. We're looking rough. Everyone's so tired. Oh, almost another pick. John Beck's looking like a scrub. Oh my, he was so open. As long as we stay in man defense. Swatted away from Darrell Revis. Oh, try to go for the pick. I, I, first and goal. Okay. Oh my, who just busted through like that? Chris Jenkins, what a beast move. If we hold him to a field goal because of that, you sir are getting a raise. Good tackles, lads. He did a flip, but that's going to be a touchdown. Oh, come on, defense. I just assumed. So they're going to take the lead here, 26-25. They want me to run the ball. Man, we need to get points. Okay, we're passing. Their commentary does not add a lot of anything, does it? Oh, I didn't even see that guy open. Good thing Andre did. Yeah, we got a post, and we have a corner on the other side. I have no idea who number 11 is. Yeah, drop it off to the running back. McFadden will do the rest, spinning across everybody. Oh, I did not call this play. I accidentally clicked through it, so hopefully it's a good play. Oh, he's going to get sacked. Stupid offensive coordinator calling a stupid play. I might go for it on fourth down in this territory. Just get a couple yards here. Nice post route. Good catch. Folks are slipping in the mud. Hopefully McFadden has energy to do this. I've got no clue what the end's doing right now. Go. That's enough for the first down. Let's go, McFadden. He's going to get Rookie of the Year just from, like, he's got 100 rushing yards already. Ooh. That's a, oh, I thought it was going to be a touchdown. Let's see if we can't get a rushing touchdown here. So we could just do a QB run in, but I want to give it to Darren McFadden, who's had a great game. Two-minute warning, fellas. Cool. We've got a lot of players dragging tail once they get out of position. Look, you might accept mediocrity, but not on my team. Want to add one of these plays to our playbook? Did your voice just change? Gonna use that speed with McFadden. Tossing it to the outside. And he's got the lane. Second rushing touchdown of the game for him. Taking the lead here in the fourth quarter. So we got a five-point lead. I actually can count this time. I'm gonna get it hyped for him. I don't believe what I just saw. That was amazing. He doesn't like it. <laughs> what? We got McFadden. He didn't look at him. Oh, now he did, but he's going to be short of it. Not good. Of that play. This one's intense for my opening game. Make a play. Love it. I am in love with our secondary. And Darrell Revis is a god. I'm throwing at him again. Oh, I tried to swat it. No, that's not Darrell Revis. That's the rookie. It's hard to tell when you're so far away, but this is the only camera angle that really works. Let them take their time. Force him into a mistake. Who is not covering over there? He's open deep. Number 42 got burned. Everyone's very upset at that. Are they going to go for it here? You got to be up by three. This is a massive two-point conversion. We should have it locked up. Punch down. There you go. So if we drive down, set up for your field goal, we can win it. Oh, go! 
You had the sidelines on the left side. Just need Andre to lead us to victory now. We've still got all three timeouts. Got a long way to go. But he's getting sacked. Yikes, Chief. I accidentally clicked through it. So this is all like the offensive coordinator calling it. Who knows what play he called. Oh, it actually worked though. Huge first down. Oh, that was so dangerous. Got a couple. Got to bamboozle them. Our kicker will not make it from this range. They're open. Keep going. He's still going. Inside the 20. Yeah, they called timeouts, but we're going to try to get this clock down a little bit. Okay. They blew another timeout. But I need him running smart. I need you to shut up. Let's get us re-centered. Oh my. No. How did that just happen? That is really bad. So now we're at the 24. Now we might lose the game because of that. Give me a couple yards. That might be more than a couple yards. That might be a touchdown. Into the end zone. We don't even have to worry about the field goal unit. Oh my god, is he injured? He really laid his body on the line for the team. Andre Woodson, what a star. Hit that drag. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, he got a man and he dropped it. No! That means we have a chance to lose. Was that Darren McFadden? Bro. Everyone's so tired. We had to go to the running back at receiver. It's scary now. 19 seconds. Who knows what could happen? He's going to kneel down the kick return. No, that's good news. Yeah, just stay in the prevent. Keep everything in front of you. They have to get a touchdown. Can we sack him? That looks like a face mask. But they're not going to call it. That could be the game. Big time sack. Well, that's the game. And that's going to be it. Sweet victory. The Jets are 1-0. and I can't believe it. Darren McFadden and Andre Woodson are the future. It was by no means a pretty game, dude. It was a lot of fun, though. 37-32 high scoring. Andre Woodson, three passing touchdowns, 110 QB rating, 287 passing yards, 22-37, 59% completion percentage. He was sacked six times, though. We got to work on that. Rushing attack. Darren McFadden, you are a star. 22 attempts, 104 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns. Average of 4.7 yards per carry. His longest run was 51 yards. Kotri got 224 receiving yards, one touchdown. Insane. I mean, nobody else really did anything because it was a lot of dinking and dunking. We have got to get some new receivers next year. Our only sack of the game was that last one at the end. But Jenkins had two TFLs. Barrett had one. Dansby had one. Oh my goodness. Kerry Road, seven tackles, one interception, one forced fumble. Justin Miller, one forced fumble as well. And he also had a fumble recovery. It even keeps track of QB hurries. I love that. Blocks defeated, missed tackles, big hits. Darrell Revis allowed a 37% catch rate. These stats are awesome. Why is this not in other games? Kicker, one of two for his field goals on the day. I'm glad we didn't have to rest on him for the game winner. Debut game was huge. We win a game in the division. It was one of the key moments for my team, in fact. So my approval, it went up by like 10. Fans love it. They're like, wow, we actually won a damn game. Players went down for whatever reason. Sean Ellis, torn ACL. He's out for the season. Yeah, we got to place him on IR. <laughs> he's not coming back. Who should I focus on? So we don't need a quarterback because I think Andre Woodson is the future. He started off a little slow, but he, I mean, he turned out and won the game for us. It was clutch. Don't need a running back either. Let's look at the receivers, though. I'd love to add some more weapons for Andre Woodson. Oh, no. We have the Patriots next week. Easily the best team in the league. Best team in our division. They had a fantastic draft class. All in all, terrible for us. Dang, Andre Woodson is now an 85 after that game. His confidence must be through the roof. Darren McFadden is a 90. Head coach approval is 91. But why, though? What did I do to him? This has to be one of the coolest skill trees I've seen in like a sports game. There's so many cool things here. Educator permanently increases every skill level by one for every coach except the head coach. This effect only occurs once at the time the skill is purchased. 51,000 is very valuable, but it's pretty cool. So I think I might add the charm special skill makes the effects of all emotional reaction decisions slightly more positive in terms of approval. Just want my players to like me, you know? I feel bad when I just can't understand them. Let's purchase that bad boy. My overall skill is now 14. So I think Andre Woodson's awareness went up by one. Accuracy did not change. But his overall went from 
what, 75 to 85 in one game? Maybe it's his production grade. That's probably what it is. 73. But I found a problem in our game last week. We don't have any good plays for the two-minute drill. Everything's like dink and dunk type plays. So I'm about to draw up a play that can get us down the field quick. And we have an invisible Darren McFadden. There you go. Thanks for showing up. So with this play, I'm basically trying to get the zones in the middle spread out with my two out routes out here. The deep out is going to be in like the middle parts of the zone. And the streak is basically just to take away the blue deep zones. And McFadden is there to take away like the flats so can hopefully get that out route open if that doesn't work well i mean the main priority target is our crossing route across the middle but if that doesn't work let's say they're running man defense that's where our out routes come in hopefully they can beat their one-on-one -on -one coverage at least that's our hope let's try against the cover three and then we'll try a cover two and see how it looks say yep my theory was correct look at that crossing route wide open let's test this play against cover two so cover two, they back up as well. It's not as clean. He actually throws the out route, so that's an option there, and he's down the field. So honestly, even better. A little bit more dangerous. Now let's try it against man coverage. That out route's looking great. I'm not going to call this a money play yet, but there's a lot of options for our quarterback as long as they make the correct read. So we're going to keep that play. I don't know what else to call this, so I'm just going to call it Ligma. Game simulated for us, and probably going to take the L, yeah. Not going to beat the Patriots. Lost some approval. Everybody's triggered, but no one's surprised. So we lost 31 to 7. Oh man, Andre Woodson, one touchdown, three interceptions. Rough day for you, buddy. Darren McFadden, 21 attempts for 68 yards, average 3.2. I mean, against the Patriots, that's not terrible. Ooh, the newly added free agent, Cedric Wilson, three catches, 67 yards, and a touchdown. Four pancakes for Flazelle Adams. Darrell Revis with another interception. Look on the bright side, though. We didn't get shut out, so I'm happy. Jacob Tammy broke his fibula. He's out four to six weeks. Oof. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get a tight end. Delaney Walker. Oh, but he's out here, 24 years old. He's got 42 awareness, 66 catching. It's so sad to see, like, good players before they really broke out, and they just don't get the respect they deserve. Let's just get this guy. Looks like he can block. <laughs> we have so many injuries. How are we even fielding a team right now? Oh, God. We need to give them some energy back. So now it's time to scout some players. Would be fun to get another corner, right? Let's look at the big school corners. 299 overall receivers out here. Wait, what the heck? One of them's a corner. Demario Waddle. Is this a Iron Man athlete? That'd be freaking awesome. Well, I'm instantly excited about this class. I'd love to play against the Chargers. Antonio Gates, Ladanian Tomlinson, Phillip Rivers. It's a fun team. Let's cancel practice today. Let's get everybody rested up and healthy because everybody's in pain. Yeah, they have a positive approval change from that. Yeah, we're going to still start Andre Woodson this game. Oh, his accuracy went up by one. Wait, why is Darren McFadden injured? What happened to him? His torso is 75%. So we can't have Darren McFadden in this game. Well, looks like we're going to be throwing the ball a lot. Can we sign somebody like right before game day? How meme would this be? Actually, we don't even have time. We got to play the game. Fine. We'll just have to go in with one running back. Hopefully on Washington doesn't die this game. All right, I'm going to defer to kick off for the second half. It's just the way I roll. Get a good win today, boys. We're one and one. <laughs> yeah, there is. Already a face mask. Lorenzo Neal, every game he's asking to be subbed out. This man just needs to go ahead and retire. 28 fatigue. He could get injured and ruin his career at any moment. We're going to let him play, though. Ooh, hitting him early. This is such a fun Chargers team. Antonio Gates, LaDainian Tomlinson. Oh, gosh. Somebody get LT. He's gone. Tackle him, please. There goes LT. Touchdown. All right, D, come on. I mean, he's the best running back in the game by far. What are you going to do? Hall of Famer. It's time to test out some new plays. Where's our good old... We got Ligma. Yep. He's taking the snap. No Darren McFadden today. And he's going to lose like seven yards. <laughs> Holy crap. Sub him out. But why? Is he already tired? He's got to play. He's like our only running back. Let's try Ligma. Completely unlearned, but we're going to learn today. Crossing route is open. Just how we drew it up. Good job. Now, that's how you do it. now we're going to try going out. This one is meant to just get a couple of yards. Oh, no, we're going to get sacked. That stinks. Ooh, guy open on the left. There you go. And he almost threw a pick. Eric Weddle was there. We have a blip of knowledge after that first time running the play. Basically drew it up last night, but look, it's open again. And he's going to throw it into coverage and almost throw a pick when he had guys open. Just no knowledge of the play. 
Oh, he shanked it. Get in the backfield. There you go. Oh, he missed him. All right, Leon Washington. Don't die, please. Oh, my. My left guard just got shredded. Come on. What play is he He's running? open. What are you... Oh, it's Jesus. This is so frustrating. I got to stay calm. I got to stay calm. Cedric Wilson, the free agent. You, buddy. That might have just got you cut. We send out the tight end who is lined up at running back right now, by the way. Now you throw it. Good catch. Nice. Hell yeah. It's open. Oh, and he dropped it again, Cedric Wilson. Bud, you want to get cut? Third and long. We made a play just for this type of situation, right? Ligma. And it's open. It just takes him a while to just pay attention. Play action when we have no running game established. But he makes it work. There goes Mike Peterson for a big gain. Definitely my favorite tight end on the team so far. We're running it, and... Ooh, go Leon Washington, get us something. Good job. It's honestly a miracle whenever our running game does anything. We got Dorian Bryan at running back right now because of so many injuries. Rifles it over to a receiver on that slant. That had some heat on it. We got a guy open. Ooh, threw it into coverage. Should have hit the tight end in the end zone. Let's try it. Dorian Bryant with the Mick option. This is going to be interesting. Two wide receivers running this option play. He doesn't know what's going on right now. No, he doesn't. But Dorian Bryant, go, baby! To the two. Yeah, we're going to pitch it with Leon Washington. Third and goal. Running game is kind of shite for our team, but I believe in Leon Washington right here. Get to the outside. That's going to lose us, like every yard we just gained on the last one. So what do they want us to do here on this defining moment? Go for the touchdown. Everybody's gonna like it. Fans are gonna go crazy. Owner's gonna stay the same. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? Can I go with one of my custom plays, please? This play has 100% success score. Average play of 19 yards. This could come back to bite us, though. Let's keep that in mind. Eight yards away. Cross your fingers. Andre... And is that... No, that's Mike Peterson dropping that one. So I don't think that helps our approval. Yep, it goes right back down since it was unsuccessful. I'm not going to blame Mike Peterson for that. Oh, it's all good, mate. All good. Boom! Big place from the defense. If we get a safety, we're right back in this. They're definitely running it. He's doing a lot of moves. Going and zigzagging around. The running AI in this game is kind of bad. They want me to blitz man or zone. I was going to blitz anyway. I like going aggressive. Oh, we almost got the pick, so it's going to work. You don't pull any punches, do you? Yay, approval will go up to 72. It worked out for us. Let's see how much it affected everybody. Fans went up by 17. Owner by 5. Media by 16. Sweet. We're going to go back to our created place. We're going to run McOption again. And we're going to keep it with Dorian Bryant. Dorian Bryant did very well in the first time he tried it. This guy mainly has speed and that's it. Oh no, it's going to not work. Yikes. Okay. It's open. And he just... Ugh. I, this is pain. Okay, they're blitzing us, giving us free open targets and we just can't get it done. Oh, that crossing route's going to be there. It's there, it's going to be short, and we're going to go for this one. We should have known better than to call that. Shut up. Nothing else works, okay? Lorenzo Neal got poked in the eye. This guy needs to retire. This man's soft. Please work. Keep it short. They're blitzing again. Off the offensive lineman's head! Come on, guys! Why are we so bad? Oh my! Untouched! Ooh, dangerous territory. Fourth Excellent down again. So besides the huge play we gave up at the beginning of the game, defense has been pretty good. We really need Darren McFadden back. These guys are scrubbing it up. Actually, this is a good block. Well, he fumbled it, and we got it back. Nice way to pick it up. What was that? I need to see it again. What was that? That was pain. That's what that was. Oh, he found the man. He Mike Peterson. He had the guy in the flats. Oh, what? Way too late. Way too late. 
Oh, he almost threw a pick. What's the point of running in this game? Does it even work? <laughs> My guy is so mad. He's like, uh. I'm going to try a couple of plays down on the field here. Oh, we're going to get the sack. Carlos Dansby. I kind of like this camera angle only for a few things. Like if they're running it, yeah. And we get a stop in the backfield, it's awesome. Wow. There we go. Calais Campbell, the rookie. That D line's doing a heck of a job containing him. Across the middle. There you go. Good break Excellent on the ball. On We're trying to running back screen for the first time, I think, ever. He didn't even get it off. He got swatted down in his face. How about just a simple run up the gut? Oh my god, why is he running so hard in this game? Sean Marion, let me live. Oh, another defining moment. We know I'm an aggressive man, so I'm going to go for it. The fans love me. They love how crazy I am. Somebody's got to get open. And he made the catch. That's what we love to see around here. Approval is 85. They're going to keep me around if I keep doing this. It's the 10-pound balls in my pants. We got guys open everywhere. Oh, no. He dropped it again. I cannot believe this. This play. Bamboozle has gotten guys open several times, but they just can't get it done. Cedric Wilson, third pass of the day. I'm flipping out. What was that? I moved him around the formation, too. They just won't cover him because they know he's just going to drop it. Cedric Wilson will not be on this team by next week. Yeah, Darrell Rivas, you're going out at receiver because I just can't trust Cedric Wilson anymore. <laughs> at least I got my approval from my defining moment. Oh, my gosh. Chambers, is that who it is? Man, and I thought we were going to be a decent football team after beating the Dolphins. We look like butt. Woo! Carlos Dansby almost killed that man. Again, Carlos Dansby is Not his bad. daddy. Not bad at all, but we could do better. We could do better? Did we just see the same play? When in doubt, full back it out, which we have Leon Washington in that position, but whatever. Clint Oldenburg, the Madden dev blocking, and he didn't do his job. Hold on. We had holding on that, too. Running back's open. Whoa, come on. What are you that throwing it to? Good. Again, double coverage. Does he have a guy? He freaking does. For the touchdown, the Hail Mary worked. I want to die. Was that Darren Sproles who did that? We suck. We actually suck. Just let the offensive coordinator call this play because uh, I'm depressed. Dorian Bryan at running back. <laughs> we suck so bad. We have so many injuries, too. I think we're missing our right tackle, which is our best player on the roster, by the way. Got a little wheel route. It's open. He didn't see him, but we still made a play. Drag route worked. Wait, is that Cedric Wilson making that catch? No, that's Coles. Good. Oh, it's open. Keep running. Dorian Bryant's got the speed. We have Kellen Clemens running a route right now. I repeat, Kellen Clemens is running a route. I can't even get mad at Kellen Clemens because he's a quarterback running routes. Do we have any quarterbacks running routes? No, not on this play. Good. I've got no clue what the end's doing right now. Oh, he's got him on the out route. Nice. All right. The passing unit's doing a great job moving the chains. We didn't even move the chains. What are you saying? Hey, show him how to run this play. He's throwing a dangerous pass. He threw a pick. And that could be a pick six. That was so bad. I can't believe it. It's going to be 21 nothing. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with this. Why is Leon Washington so tired if he hasn't done anything? This guy's just been sitting in the backfield losing yards. I'm just hoping for a singular point on the board at the end of this game. The post. The post. Oh, it's what this play is designed for, and he actually threw it. It's another play where Andre Woodson is blocking. Oh, and he does well. Go, Dorian Bryant. That's a first down. What the? Quarterbacks can block, too. This is a wacky game, man. We've been put into such weird positions. Throwing it off of his back foot, almost picked off again. We got to call Adamo. Fullback dive for the win. Leon Washington freaking sucks. 
All right, we're going to do a quick pass here on fourth and one. Just some slants. He's off sides. Why would you throw in a triple coverage, Andre? Sack him. Pick it off. Oh, he made the catch. Oh, he's butt naked again. Get him, Calais Campbell. 28 to nothing. Oh, come on, defense. Dorian Bryant's done a better job than Leon Washington. Oh my gosh, he sticks to the outside way better than our other running backs. Good job, baby. Leon Washington has 10 attempts for negative 14 yards. Dorian Bryant has like 5 for like 10. Oh, I don't know how he didn't get sacked right there. And he, I don't know how he caught that either. Just keep doing it, Dorian Bryant. We're going to give you a contract extension if you keep getting us yards. Oh my gosh. He got three yards again. Sub player out, Leon Washington. Yeah, we're keeping Dorian Bryant in. It's, he's streaking down the middle. Go. Nothing takes me off more than when they mess up my play. He's open now. Throw it. Oh, that guy's open too. I'll take it. First down. Well, something finally went our way. Yeah. <laughs> Just run it in. Run it in. Run it in. Run it in. You, 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 oh, stupid. Kellen Clemens at tight end again just because we're so thin. <laughs> there you go. Put the QB in motion. <laughs> yeah, we're hopeless, man. Six yards away. Come on. Get us some points. Dropping it short. Dorian Bryant. Two yards away. We just passed it in the red zone. This has got to work. Fourth and goal from the two. Obviously, we're going for it. It gets a deflected. We're not going to get it. I am so mad. We're going to get shut out. We're going to send a ton of pressure here. I want to get the safety. I want to get some points on the board. So we wrapped him up. Oh, they got the backups in. We're kicking our butts so hard. He's just sitting in the end zone. Throws it off his back foot to Darren Sproles. Fourth and inches. Cedric Wilson making a catch. Andre Woodson has 300 yards. Well, who cares? We're losing this game. Oh my god, they're so open. Thank you. I saved that creative play. We're going to call it Yeet because it's just our last ditch effort. Cedric Wilson's open. He caught this one. Yes. Touchdown. We're not going to get shut out today. Well, obviously, we're going for the onside kick. Oh, big boy got it. I wonder if their second string will blow this game. Throws it off his back foot. Nearly picked out by Kerry Rhodes. I'm not giving up on this game yet. It's only three scores. We got six minutes. If we score quick enough and we get in there in the backfield with Calais Campbell, who's had a terrific game. They've been here the whole game. Wrap him up. It's going to be cutting it close, but if we just keep calling Yeet, maybe we're going to have a chance. Call that fair catch. Yeet will be our saving grace. Just keep on eating like you've never yeeted before or get sacked. What was that? Someone's got to be open. He's got a man down the sidelines. Go, Dorian Bryant. You've had a big game. I'll cheer if I see another one of those. Well, you will because we're just going to keep yeeting. Yeet! That should have been picked. Good read. Good read. Another first down. I ground the sidelines again. Do Dorian Bryant is impressed. Right, some heads up the heads up coaching. I'm just calling basically a Hail Mary. Ah, oh, too much arm strength. Everything on the left is open. Good read. Oh, Cedric Wilson just got knocked out. We might have thrown it 50 times this game, maybe more. But if you saw our running game, you understand why. Ooh. <laughs> oh, brother. Fourth and two. I believe in the team. Oh, he made the catch. Dorian Bryant to the end zone. Oh, my God. Great team effort. He did it. Yeet for days, baby. Extra point is good. Two possession game. Three minutes to go. And we still got all three timeouts, man. I was going to go for the onside kick anyway. Defining moment. 
Oh, LT got it. I thought he was going to bring it back to the house. It's going to go down anyway. I mean, I was going to do the onside kick no matter what. Everybody get off my back. Get there. Booyah! Carlos Dansby. Our outside linebackers are killing it. Get to him. He's just going to run it up the middle. Oh, they're going to kick the field goal. This is a long one. He's not going to get it. Hell yeah, bro. Haven't even hit the two-minute warning yet. We got the ball back. It's time to yeet. Injuries. I don't want to see it right now. I want to see touchdowns. I want to see big plays like that. Get it off before the two-minute warning. Okay. Third and four. Get us a new set of downs. And some more. He's going deep. There goes the tight end, Mike Peterson. Look for Kotri over the middle on that angle route. Oh, oh, he tried to hit Dorian Bryan again. Is that his new favorite target? The post. The post. Oh, to the corner. Dorian Bryan again. We got a touchdown. Oh, my goodness, man. We got to get hype. Onside kick, of course. What else would we do? Everybody cross your fingers. But even if we don't get it, we got three timeouts. There's still a chance. Oh, that's a big hop. They got it. Their offensive lineman got it again. Oh, yes! Carlos Dansby, man. I'm glad we picked him up this offseason. He's been a big help. It's because they switched to their second string offense. That's what's really helped us. They slowed down so much. And Carlos Dansby's doing it again! Let's just hope they run it again here on third down. So we can stop this clock, get the ball back, send it to OT. Oh, he's running all over the place. What a dummy. This is great news. Chargers about to blow a 28-point lead. And I've never had so much fun watching a game before. Go, Justin Miller. Up to the 40. We have no timeouts, but there's only one play I want to call. It has got us this far. Why would we switch up from it? Dorian Bryant, he's just got the speed on that right side. He's got him again. Oh, my. Dorian Bryant, how are you even catching these? Oh, pocket movement. He's going down. Guy. Oh, up the middle. Go, go, go. We got a chance at the 22. Come on, we gotta get it in the end zone. 35 seconds. 500 yards. I don't have time to react right now. One heck of a play. Get that defining moment crap out of my face. You see him open, right? Oh my. Dorian Bryant does it again. Let's get the ball to our playmakers and finish strong. Last chance, really. Guys, he's open. He's open. Oh, did Dorian Bryant do it again? Second and goal. Okay, we got a... Uh, two seconds left. I'm pooping my pants. We, it said we've mastered this play. Uh, you know what? Do it. Oh, please, somebody get open. Kellen Clemens. I forgot he's running a freaking route right now. Throw it. Oh, throw it to Kellen Clemens. That's going to be ball game. We yeeted our way all the way down the field just to... Lose because we have an inactive tight end. Too many damn injuries. <laughs> that was still a blast to watch. Do you want to add Yeet? Oh, am I dumb? Of course I'm adding it. And yes, I am dumb. Man. 534 yards, 65 pass attempts for Andre Woodson. But we scored 21 points there in that fourth quarter. We were about to come back and tie it, send it to OT. I don't understand the running game. Like, how does it negative 14 yards? Like, how are we this bad? Dorian Bryant, two touchdown catches. Katri, another 200 receiving yard game. Mike Peterson's good too. 82 receiving yards. Five TFLs for Dansby. Four TFLs for Calais Campbell. We didn't force any turnovers though. We failed so many goals that game. Approval went down to 68. Ugh, I gotta sign some more tight ends. Or fix the depth chart or something. It's not looking good. So we finished with negative rushing yards as a team that game. Horrible. Inexcusable. We need Darren McFadden back. This guy's approval is one. Well, Cedric Wilson, if you're gonna feel like that, we'll just cut you, bruh. If you don't want to be a part of this team. <laughs> Dorian Bryant's rating is warm body. Shouldn't be on a roster. So I'm gonna cut Cedric Wilson after his complaining last week. I'm gonna sign this old fart, Keenan McArdle. <laughs> this man's health is 50. We're gonna have to cut him. Yay, Darren McFadden is active again. Jacob Tammy's still injured. Yeah, so we're not gonna play this one. We're just gonna simulate it. Andre Woodson, zero touchdowns, one interception, 154 yards, eight of 17. And it looks like we ran the ball quite a bit. Leon Washington did not get negative rushing yards in the simulation. He got two rushing touchdowns. Free agent we picked up this week, Tryon, got one rushing touchdown. Another injury alert. David Bowen's out five to eight weeks. Lace him on IR.
Good news though, Andre Woodson is up for Offensive Rookie of the Year right now. Hey, so is Dorian Bryant. So we have some points that we can upgrade some of our coaches. Defensive coordinator. So do we go for a special skill? It seems pretty expensive. Let's go with the performance one. Running backs coach. Performance is only one. No wonder we stink. In the backfield. Woo, fumbled it. We got it. you love to see it. More than solid, that was epic. Hey, now that we have Darren McFadden back, thank goodness, we can actually run these running plays. At least we hope. If somebody could freaking block. That was painful to watch. Yeah, it was. Game breaker, it's working. There we go. This play was money. It was the only reason we were able to come back last time. Wide open. What a bullet. So we cut Cedric Wilson last week, by the way. I don't know if I showed that on camera, but he was annoying me. So I got him out of there. Tight ends open. There goes Mike Peterson. What a play. Well, we worked on this. Let's go by agenda. We're going to do improved goal line. Flip that play to the left. Counter play. Darren McFadden gets like nothing. He actually loses a yard. Get into the end zone, McFadden. Go, go, go. We got six. So I guess the game planning is pretty damn important because we didn't do any of the game planning against the Chargers and we kind of got screwed. Good old Carson Palmer. He's going to go for the handoff. We got an injury already. Oh my. We are laying the hits today. Oh, we can't make that tackle. Oh, he fumbled it again. They got it back. Dude's already fumbled nice. it twice today. That's not what, I what, forcing a fumble? That's hype. Pick it off. Oh, you scrub. That is Chad Johnson just derping on you, but that was embarrassing. Wipe those dumb looks off your faces and get on these guys. I'm so mad. I cannot believe that just happened. Third and 14, so we got to go yeet. And he's sending it. <laughs> Again, Chad Johnson down the sidelines. We don't make a great play next time. I'll hold you personally responsible. Lorenzo Neal, head injury out for the game. Come on, man. Wasted a lot to go pick you up and trade for you. Didn't really help us at all. Ooh. There you go, baby. Oh, Chad Johnson, we can't cover him. Again, he smokes us. Second touchdown of the game. Why do we have Andre Woodson blocking? Are we that thin at tight end right now? Oh, there goes Darren McFadden. Andre Woodson lay at the block. Middle. Good read. Yeet works. Good, good. Nice job, offense. Oh, he actually made a different read. That's a nice play. The pickup, Roydell Williams. He was a free agent like five days ago, making a catch for us right here. Oh, it's looking good. Oh my, did you see that horrible blocking? That guy just ran away from him for no reason. You know where to throw it. Good job. Oh, we got one of the young tight ends doing it. Fullback dive, it worked. What a call, coach. If 61 could freaking block on this play, it would be a touchdown on par again. He's not even going to give the handoff because they're already in the backfield. He's open. Oh, that guy's open too. That's okay. We gotta do it. Underneath. Underneath. Touchdown. Nice job, yes. Nice job. Oh, my. Throw it into coverage. That's a pick. The cover three is going to work. Can it be a pick six? There goes Darrell Revis. Dancing his way to the end zone. That's what we needed from our defense. Oh, we got the ball back. Nice Forcing another nice job, fumble. Gotta keep getting off the field. Gets rid of it. Oh, what a grab. Breaks the tackle. Let's go, Darren McFadden. Second rushing touchdown of the game for him. Can we force another turnover? 
We've already forced two in back-to-back -back drives. Oh, almost got that tackle. Tried to dive at him. <laughs> Everybody's diving at him. Oh, smack the boy. Get him. He's got that out route. No, he's chucking it deep. Picked off again. Three turnovers from the defense. Or maybe more. Yeah, baby. Nice play. Carry Rhodes, Darrell Revis, best combo in football. Oh, he's sending it deep. Almost threw a pick. Oh, he's getting loose. Jeez, what a bullet. They might get some points. Again over the middle. Back up. Nobody talk to me. Nobody get near me. <laughs> Come on, guys, relax. You just freaked out, told no one to go near you, and then you told everybody to relax. Watch old Chad Johnson. That man is dangerous. It's in the end zone. Oh, they got hey, it. Talk to our DBs and get them into position. I'm trying, bruv. I'm trying. Carson Palmer's got a cannon. Okay, hustle to the locker room, boys. No, save your energy. What are you talking about? How? Like, nobody blocked at all. This game is busted, man. Oh, I swear. My at? I've never seen such bad tackling attempts. That's been happening a lot lately. They're going to take the three, so 28 to 24. Still holding on to our lead. Why are they flopping on the floor? It's a field goal. The overreactions are just ridiculous in this game. Kellen Clemens just had a great lead block. What the heck? I thought we switched him out. You gotta get rid of it. You got a guy open. There goes the tight end. Breaking tackles. Inside the 20. Yeet is the only play we know how to do. Good blocking for a second. Let's stop shooting ourselves in the foot and start making plays. Good catch. Fullback dive worked again. Oh, Darren, what are you doing, buddy? What was that? He fumbled it. They got it. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Bust through. Woo! Laid him down. Send the blitz. Hey, the blitz worked. That's huge for my approval. Hey, it went up to 80. Found the man. Oh, look at the tight end. He's running the wrong play. Oh, go Darren McFadden. Finally made a good decision. Post. Oh, that works too. The angle route. It's cash. God, Jordan Gross. Torso injury. Out for the game. Oh, one-handed pick. Yeet has failed us for the first time. It's going to be a pick six. That guy is so quick. That's all right. We'll get him next time. He's open, and he can't even complete it. Why would you throw that one? Come on, champ. Angle route is money. Oh, my goodness. It is working. Yes. We're going to charge down with the Adamo play. He's getting a good chunk of yards. Four yards on that carry. Good read. All right, they got a penalty. Screw the penalty. We got a first down. He's got guys over the middle. He's going to get sacked. Middle's open. And it's going to get deflected at the line. We're going right, to take guys, the three here. The field goal. At least hope he makes it. It's a chip shot up the middle. Like 37 yards. He got it. Well done. So we tied the game at 31. Need the defense to make some big plays. Pick that off. Ooh. In the backfield. Oh, he fumbled it. We got the ball. Big boy. To the end zone. Touchdown. Yeah, that's how we do it. That is hype. The defense, two defensive touchdowns in this game. They forced like five turnovers. I don't believe what I just saw. Is he down? I can't even see it thanks to all this crap in my way. He's clearly down. 
but that was still fun to watch. Fat man touchdowns, whether they count or not, are awesome to see. Got to step up. Force a stop. Cross the middle. He still caught that. They haven't won it yet. It's still tied. We got to keep that in mind so I can calm down a little bit. Get to the backfield. Big hit. Get there. Oh, pick that off on his back. Cover it up. We only got three guys blitzing. Over the middle, he gets it again. Oh, it's on us! Ah, nuts! You want to add one of these plays to our playbook? Ooh, yes, I do want to add these plays. Scram right, 826 corner? I like that. We're sending a lot of pressure. Don't give him time to throw. Boom! Running at him. Again in the backfield. Fourth down. Calling a timeout. They're going for the field goal. He's not going to get it. One minute to go and we got a chance to win it. You know what play we're calling. Yeet is our bread and butter. It's going to get us down the field at least within field goal range. And then we're going to win this game. Throw that bad boy short. That angle route all day. Boom. Is the kicker ready? Let's hope the kicker's ready. Angle route. Oh, oh he missed him. Yeah, guy's open on the left. He sees him. 50-50 ball. All right. Looks like they're in man defense now. This is me first down. We're not in field goal range yet. Not a safe field goal, at least. Not with the kickers in this game. That might have been the worst pass I've ever seen. Get the kicker ready. We're almost there. This boy just lobbed it at him. So they want me to run the ball here, but I don't know. So we're looking at a, like a 40 yard field goal to win, but to do that, we need to get this clock down a bit. So I guess I will run it. Good blocking so far. Fourth and inches. Let that clock tick down. Alexis Cerna. Okay, timeout, three seconds. Send out the kicker. You got it, buddy. For the win. Right down Main Street. Let's go. go. A few more yards and we're in range. What are you talking about? We just won the game. 34-31. That was a roller coaster ride of a game. Andre Woodson, 267 passing yards in this game. One touchdown, one interception. 20-32, 62% completion percentage. Darren McFadden had 62 rushing yards, but he averaged 2.2 yards per carry, man. Rough day at the office for him, but he did get two touchdowns. Cotri had 13 catches, 164 yards, and one touchdown. Kerry Rhodes had 11 tackles. We had no sacks on this game. We had two picks. Kerry Rhodes and Darrell Rivas, actually, which was a pick six for him. Two fumble recoveries as well. One for Tom and one for Dansby, who had another multiple TFL game. So my approval went up a couple of points. Fans went up by five, owners by seven. Two and three now on the year. Oh no, Mike Peterson got hurt. Poor his triceps. He's out for the season. That's my favorite tight end too. That's really depressing. You know how many guys we have on IR? All right, we're going to try to re-sign Kerry Rhodes right here. He's had a good season so far, but he's going to be asking for a lot of money. We got 50 seconds to decide here. Let's try the lowest. Do I look like someone who will just accept the first garbage offer that comes along? Try again. So he still wants the top one. We got to go quick. 20 seconds. He said, I'm out of here. Oh, no. And we re-signed Flazell Adams. That's one of our goals for the season. Got our approval up to 90. It's pretty hype. Owner went up by 34 because of that. Offensive coordinator has an upgrade potential. Let's get him the run blocking one because we just can't seem to figure that one out. Wide receivers coach. Let's do this one. Increases receiver stats related to catching. I'm Romeo Crennel, and you're watching NFL Network. <laughs> I'm Romeo Crennel. <laughs> so we're going to simulate this game again. I don't feel like playing this one as well. We already played one earlier in this episode, so... We're going to probably lose. Oh, we won the game! Wow! Approval to 93. Andre Woodson, two touchdowns, two interceptions, 245 passing yards. Darren McFadden, three point yards per carry. Roy Dale Williams, five catches, 101 yards, one receiving touchdown. Darren McFadden had a receiving touchdown as well. Let's we'll see, Carlos Dansby, seven tackles, a lot of tackles for loss. Four sacks, Mosley, Rubin, Thompson, Campbell. So Kerry Rhodes wants to re-sign, but he wants very expensive offers, but we're gonna try this package. He wants package 18, fine, we'll do that. It took a lot of budging, but eventually we got there. Another approval change, we signed Kerry Rhodes once again. Six-year contract, by the way, but he's a young player, so hopefully he'll be good for a long time. Justin Miller wants to re-sign. I'll do it for if the price is right. I'd rather re-sign Darrell Revis if possible. 
because you're going to be pricey. All right, we're going to simulate this game as well, and we lost this one. There goes my approval. Two touchdowns, one pick for Andre Woodson, 170 yards. There's Darren McFadden, increasing his yards per carry again to four and a half. 86 yards on this game. He has not gotten over 100 since game one. Coles had 96 receiving yards, two touchdowns. 10 tackles for Carlos Dansby, one pick for Justin Miller. Let's sim this game against the Bills. Can we win it? No, we're going to lose it. Approval down to 82. Oh man, Andre Woodson, three interceptions in this game. We lost 24 to 21, pretty close to Darren McFadden over 110 yards finally. Leon Washington with a rushing touchdown. Jacob Tammy with a receiving touchdown and same thing for Coles. Eight pancakes for Nick Mangold, holy. Seven tackles for Harris, three interceptions in this game. We are three and five on the season right here in week nine. About to start week 10 against the St. Louis Rams. A lot of close games, a lot of simulated games. Oh wow, it says my job status doing a great job. I thought at this point in the season i'd be about to be fired but we've done okay and now we have enough skill points to upgrade a few coaches need to take advantage of that i'm gonna use my 5,000 skill points on boosting the performance to level three when we started this series we invested heavily in the special skills but i'm sure performance goes a long way qb coach also has about 4,000 skill points we're gonna spend that on performance as well our running back coach only has one performance max Kind of disappointing. Let's see if he's got any special skills he can get. Actually, with our running back coach, I think I'm going to save these points. Game film analysis doesn't seem like it's going to add much to it. We already upgraded the wide receiver coach's special skill to increase catching. Oh my gosh, the offensive line coach definitely needs a performance boost. We're going there. Defensive line coach performance, Dan Quinn. Actually be worth something. Defensive back coach. I mean, the defensive backs have been pretty good, actually. I'm going to save my points on the GM as well because these special skills actually look pretty nice. Major school insider unlocks additional scouting information about players from major schools during scouting process. Probably would have a smaller chance of missing things as well. Like you could probably scout more players overall. Man, if you unlock the farthest one, instantly unlock scouting information for every projected first round draft pick. That would be OP. Actually, instead of the scouting one, because I think I can manage, trade negotiation and contract negotiation seem pretty important. If we max out his trade negotiation, we could probably do some trading back in the draft this year or something. Now I'm a level 15. It took us this long to get there. The glow up. Looking at our approval so far, it's actually all right. Everybody but the staff is above 80. The fans love us. Andre Woodson is up for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Kerry Rhodes looks like he might make the Pro Bowl. He's the only one on our team who has any votes at the moment. He's got three interceptions on the year. He's got 30 tackles, three interceptions, one TFL, seven deflections. Andre Woodson is seventh in passing yards this season. He does have 12 interceptions, though. He's tied for ninth in passing touchdowns, QB rating of 79. All in all, pretty good rookie year for him so far. Just got to work on the interceptions. Darren McFadden's kind of been disappointing. Three and a half yards per carry, only four touchdowns. He needs a little over 500 rushing yards to get to that 1,000 yard mark for the season. Leading receiver Jericho Cotchery has been pretty good. 47 catches. Almost 700 yards, two touchdowns. Cotchery's probably going to get himself a new contract at the end of this year if he continues to be our leading guy. Coles has been a disappointment. He started off as an 89 this season, but hasn't really had the production of someone rated that high. We might look to trade him. Carlos Dansby has been a huge pickup for us. 53 tackles this year, 12 TFLs, one sack, one pick. We got a lot of players with low fatigue. We might look to cancel practice one of these days to help them recover a bit. Yeah, we're going to cancel our first practice this week. Approval goes up. Players love it when we do that so they can have a chance chance to recover and not be hurt. And we've had a ton of injuries this season, so we need more of that. Strategy can take a back seat. Doesn't matter how good your game planning is if you have, like, third stringers playing for you. We don't really have a great shot of making playoffs 23rd in the league, 3-5, and five, but we're not last in the division. Donnie Pryor wants contract. I don't even know who you are. We're gonna improve the running game, because that's always been an issue for us. I think the Lorenzo Neal experiment might be coming to an end soon. He hasn't played that well, and he's always tired. I'm not going to... Actually, I don't want to release him. I'm going to try to find a way to put him on the trade block. <laughs> actually, you know what? I just realized we're past the trade deadline. We signed Jerome Felton just because Lorenzo Neal is, like, eternally tired because he's 35 years old. Contract talks for Mike Peterson. Favorite tight end on the team, and it's not even close. So I'm going to give him the money. So he wants the max one. Everyone always does. I'm going to try to offer him the lowest one. Nope. How about this offer? Sonny boy, you could be on the free agency wire real quick. All right. I got him on the one right next to the top one. 720000 for two years. I doubt Mike Peterson will ever hit his potential, but it's nice to have a good receiving tight end like that. I love it when it rains in this game. It, it reminds me of like Halo 3 ODST. Very calming. Good vibes. Who's good to go? Who's inactive? Look how many injuries we have. David Harris. Two tight ends are out. Thompson is out. We got all three running backs backs that's good it was a nightmare when we tried to run with just like one we have to set four inactive though so we got to keep that in mind damn two tight ends are injured what happened in practice 
We're gonna have to change up the depth chart a bit then. I'm gonna make my some of my corners inactive. We don't even have a right end who's active. Do we even have enough players to field a team today? Why do we have to set so many inactive players? Wow, we're gonna- <laughs> we're coming in with not many players at all. This is so brutal. We got people coming off the street to play tight end for us this week. This is a dang shame, man. I've gone through so many tight ends, I just keep getting injured. I'm gonna choose the old school uniforms today. I feel like those look the best. All right, so we get the ball first. We're gonna use our improved pitch plays. It's our game plan today. I just realized we're pitching to the left when we're on the left hash. Don't know if that's always a bright idea, but let's see if it works. Good blocking so far. Darren McFadden. You could have kept running north. Could have got way more yards, but I'll take the first down. Let's try make option. It says we have this play mastered, and I'd love to get more yards for Darren McFadden. Oh, you gotta block him. Who was that that just missed it? You just let him run butt naked. Yeah, hit that out route. Go upfield. Go, go, go. Keep running. Can he make it all the way? That's a touchdown off of a short out route. Wow. How about Kotri taking it the distance? He's been the re leading receiver for our team this year. That's a good way to start the game. Huge run. A little short pass that goes all the way. We got the lead here against the Rams. We've started out very well, but can we keep this pressure on the whole game? Getting in the backfield. And we're throwing him to the ground. Get there. Hell yeah, boys. Solid, solid play defense. He's throwing it short, and he's going to have the first down. No, he's out of bounds. Take that, Mark Bolger. Let's go back to our agenda again, do another pitch play. This might not work with them in zone in their corner, just kind of out there already. No, he's running into the inside. So we're going to get a couple. So if they're going to sit in like a cover two, basically. Yeah, I think coach has the right idea here running a post route. So they switch it up more of a cover three look now, but he's open across the middle. Oh, and we got another catch. Go Coles. First down. Andre Woodson is on his game today. Just simple halfback dive. We haven't mastered. They're pressing up. They might be reading it. Good job, McFadden. Got four there. And now we're going to go play action. Keep them on their toes. See if Coles can get a big catch downfield. He's the main read. Woodson has the arm to get it there. Oh, and he stepped back for it. I like that. It's not even a design comeback. He just threw it short. He got four yards the last time. If we can keep that going. McFadden's going to get more, and he fumbled it. Yikes. He fumbled the ball. How do we want to react to it? I guess we'll stay calm. But I'm sure McFadden likes to be perfect. He had one positive. Still a good drive down the field, despite his fumbling it. He took a nasty hit. It's only his second fumble of the year. And he's going down. Steven Jackson playing like a bum today. Get that pressure on him. Pick that off. Swatted down by the linebacker, Carlos Dansby. Great pickup from this offseason. I love these defining moments because it's very simple for me. It's, do you want to call Manor Zone? No, we always send the blitz. Worst case scenario is they get a first down, whatever. Best case scenario, we tackle them. I get a huge approval bonus. Defining moments are always good for me. Oh, yeah, we're going to tackle him in the back, but that's going to be a sack. Look at the approval going up to 90. And we're getting the ball back. Oh, it's going up to 92 as well. Everybody loves it. Owner's a huge fan. Moments like that helps us be bulletproof down the line. So we could try some of the new plays I've added. Play of the day could be McGon and stuff, but I'm learning that running unlearned plays is not a good idea, especially when you have the momentum on your side. Like, okay, Adamo has... Let's do a quick sub, actually. So, yeah, Adamo could be a good play because it's mastered. Oh, delay a game. Back. Oops, that's on me. I'm trying to do a YouTube video here. I'm trying to explain to the folks about how to do the play calls. Try and game breaker instead. There you go. Go up the middle. We're getting all those yards back. We might even get a first down right there. Ooh, he's flexing on him. I, I, my creative plays look so weird when they line up. But McFadden's breaking tackles. Woo, he's looking good today. Playing like the six overall pick that he is. Everyone's been damn near perfect on offense besides that one fumble. Hey, hey, good call, Rip. Oh, that was ugly. Is that pass interference? Pass interference. Yeah, it is. First down. We'll win this thing one inch at a time. I'll win your mom one inch at a time. Oh, that did not work. Okay, fine. We'll do They See Me Rolling. New play. This could be play of the day if it works. It's called They See Me Rolling because we have two wheel routes on the right side. It's kind of designed to go to the running back. 
and he's wide open. He threw it late, but we got a catch downfield, and that should be a touchdown. It worked. They see me rolling. That should be the play of the day. How about that one? It's always a risk when you run unlearned plays. Most of the time it ends in an interception, but that time it ended in a touchdown. Oh, he fumbled it. We got it back. Calais Campbell falls on it. Yeah, dude, we're smacking them today. I, I'm loving this. Pressing up against the line. They know we're running it. McFadden's trucking people down, though, and he's making people miss. He's going to go all the way. Look at this offense today, man. This is the most fired up I've seen us. 21 points in the first quarter. Yeah, I'm going to clap. It's like, yep, it's definitely all my coaching. It's just not my boys making plays out there. I'm just kidding. It's all of them just balling out. Uh-oh. Pitch play could be gone for them. Get there, 21. Steven Jackson starting to pick it up. Clay's Campbell almost ripped it out again. Oh, please keep telling them to run the wrong play because we just got another TFL. They got their backup quarterback in. Not sure who that is. Or Bauman. I can't even remember. That. Oh, he just threw that to Darrell Revis. Threw it to the ground. What a bum. Oh, go McFadden. Holy crap. Where has this That's come from? Nice He's already got 100 rushing yards in the first quarter. I'm getting That's emotional for that. Play. How did they react to it, though? He, minus two. He expects to be this good, I guess. We're going to give him a little bit of a break here, though. We got our free agent running back, Jaquan Tryon, and Leon Washington running this option. Yeah, he just doesn't have the speed to get out there quick enough. If you didn't know, there's actually no difficulty slider in this game, so it's kind of chaotic when things just randomly happen. We got another out route. Kotri looks like a face mask, but I don't think they're going to call that. Just a little third and short play. Lorenzo Neal's running the wrong way. I'm going to be a mad lad here and actually going to throw for it. He's wide open again. This guy doesn't drop passes. And he's got a ton of speed. He's going to do it again. Kotri, you, sir, are getting a huge contract extension after this game. That's got to be well over 100 receiving yards already. 28 to 0. Pick that off. Oh, what a grab. This is the most fun I've had playing this game so far, man. Oh, there goes Steven Jackson, though. Play action play. Pick that off. Or just at least do something. Come on. Great play next time. I'll hold you personally responsible. Got a lot of short kickoffs from them. Justin Miller bang that outside. Keep going, Justin Miller. Man, he's had some great returns for us. Gonna throw it here on first down. Tied him with an awful route. Oh, but he just popped that guy off. What was that about? That dude just tripped on a blade of grass and fell down 50 feet behind him. I actually haven't had a lot of success when the fullback is back there and blocking. See, like he just doesn't do his job, but McFadden does his job. We're looking like a championship football team today. Good read. You gotta get out there, Lorenzo Neal. Get that block. Go, McFadden. To the end zone, another touchdown. Nice job, son. Nice job. I'm so hyped. So this is why we drafted Darren McFadden. Oh, oh, almost got a pick there. The guy across the middle is probably his guy. Oh, he got snagged on by Steven Jackson. That's the two minute warning. Oh my goodness, we slaughtered him. Fumble. We got it. That's going to be our football on the three-yard line. Let's try to not go backwards. Lorenzo Neal, please block. Do your job. He didn't do his job. Dude's open again. He's killing whoever's covering him. They can't stop it, man. Kotri's going to break a freaking record out here, man. He's gone. 95 yards. This is ridiculous, man. All right. It's the first time we've scored 40 points, I think, this entire season. And we did it all in the first half. They must have crazy injuries or something, because Kotri's killing him. He already has 221 receiving yards on the game. Quarterback falling backwards. He's breaking tackles. Pick that off. Oh, he throw it to the ground. This backup quarterback can't do anything today. Another fourth down for him. It's going to be 42 to 10 at halftime. Unless he misses this one. Nope. Straight down the middle. 
That might be the greatest offensive half of football ever played. Let's go check the stats from the first half. Andre Woodson has a perfect QB rating right now. Four touchdowns, 303 passing yards, 9 of 11. Darren McFadden, 13 attempts, 193 yards, two touchdowns, 10.6 yards per carry. On the receiving end, Kotchery. This man is getting a max contract ASAP. Four catches, 223 yards, three touchdowns. With a long of 95. Defense, we've sacked him. We haven't, wait, we haven't got an interception, no, but we forced two fumbles, recovered one of them. 360 no scoping the Rams at every turn. Oh my god, look at this defense! He's throwing it in coverage again and we're blowing it. If they come back in this game, I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, let me just chew out 62. Is that Clint? I was like, hey man, can we fix franchise in Madden, please? Good blocking downfield. Wide receivers hooking me up. Go, McFadden. You know you got the speed. A crossing route should have been it. Oh, it did work. He threw it very late, though. Look at that drag on the left. Or the right. That works, too. Oh, there's so many open players there. I love that play. That might be the play of the day. This might be our favorite running play we have, and it's so simple. Just halfback dive. Just nothing crazy. Keep the AI simple and let Darren McFadden get his third rushing touchdown of the game. I am a happy coach today. We're putting up 50. Just call me offensive genius, big old Drewski. Took us halfway through the season for getting stuff to click, but it's working today. Pick that off right to Darrell Revis. Can he go all the way? Not gonna be touched. Pick six for Darrell Rivas, second one of the season. I feel like a proud dad, like my son's just having the greatest day of his life, but all of my sons are everyone on this football team. Now, if we could just repeat this every game, we would be champions. Pick that off again, swatted down by Darrell Rivas. This man's going crazy. Approval is about to be 100 after this game. You get it together. They just got a pick six the last drive, man. Yeah, they're giving up a ton of rushing yards, but I don't even care. Oh no. Pick that off again. Carry Rhodes. Is it going to be another pick six? Oh my gosh. Two drives back to back. Pick sixes. We got the best secondary on that side. The right side with Kerry Rhodes and Darrell Rivas. Best combo in football. They're going to sign me to a, like an 80 year contract. Is this FCS? What the? How did he complete that pass? What was that? Oh! Almost another interception. That thing was just hanging out in the air. DB's out of position. Make that tackle. There you go. If I can get McFadden in 200 rushing yards, then I'm going to do a backflip. Good run. Darren McFadden just spinning everywhere. Yeah, that's going to not get a first down. Tossing it out. We should be all over it. Good moves from the running back, Steven Jackson. That was nice. Oh my goodness, McFadden can't be stopped today. They can't even tackle him in the backfield. Here you go, McFadden. That's going to get it. That's got to be it. Show me 200 rushing yards. That is awesome. Got to get high for that. Darren McFadden loves it. And I think that'll be time to pull him. Got your milestone, but I don't want you to get hurt. Jerome Felton signed off the street this week. Nope, it's a turnover on downs. Yeah, he could have just gone north, but it was an unlearned play, so they make stupid decisions. Oh, what a throw. Ride these guys, will you? We work too hard to throw it away now. What? Ride these guys? I'm good, fam. Nope, oh, Steven Jackson's about to get another touchdown. Oh, another pick. Are you mad, lads? Three picks, two fumbles for us today. You know what? Put in the first team. <laughs> we got to get our boys more touchdowns. Felton's so tired, we got Washington blocking for him. 
Let's go, McFadden. That'll make it four rushing touchdowns, breaking those tackles in the backfield. Dropping 70 on them. Forced five turnovers today. Two of them returned for touchdowns. Everybody, I am buying dinner for the whole squad. Ten touchdowns for a team. Yeah, I'd say that's a good day at the office. Holy, that guy is so wide open. We're not going to catch him. I've never seen a guy so wide open in my entire life. I've got no clue what the end's doing right now. Oh, another fumble. They're falling on it. Oh my, another touchdown. It's going to be 45 to 70. There's got to be something messed up. Like, why are we scoring so many points on both sides? 70 to 45. A record-setting game in all areas. Never in my life did I think this was possible. You're talking about a game that does not have a difficulty slider. We scored 21 points in each of the first three quarters. Andre Woodson, a perfect QB rating. Four touchdowns, 343 passing yards. McFadden, 22 attempts, 207 rushing yards, four touchdowns. An average of 9.4 yards per carry. And the receiving was mostly Cotri, who had six catches, 236 yards for three touchdowns, including that long and 95. A lot of TFLs across the board. We had two sacks, three interceptions. Revis and Rhodes took him back for touchdowns the other way. We had two fumble recoveries. That was the most fun I've had playing this game yet. And we're also going to look at some college scouting as well. I'm going to look at right guards because we do need to upgrade that at some point. We got both the offensive and defensive player of the week for the AFC. And just like that, Darren McFadden shoots up to number two offensive rookie of the year award. Andre Woodson at the top, of course. Kerry Rhodes, DB of the year. Can we develop staff? Yes, we can. Running back coach, you killed it last week. Special skills time. And we're going to add it to speed training. Make Darren McFadden even faster than he already is at like the max level. Let's work with the physical development of defensive backs. Let's go learning development with the running back. Get that up to three. Let's go with physical development for quarterbacks. Keep building up uh, Andre Woodson's accuracy. Got 72 throw accuracy now, 71 awareness. So he's been moving up these past few games. Up to an 85 overall. McFadden up to a 91 overall. How is Kotri only 81 overall? This guy is so good. Dude catching 89, route running 85. Like what else do I need? Dude's so good. 26, we'll keep him around for a couple more years. So game reminder, this is one of the ones we're gonna sim. We probably wouldn't beat the Patriots anyway. So I'm expecting a loss and there it is. Approval goes down to 89. Andre Woodson, no touchdowns, one pick, 180 yards. We scored three points. McFadden wasn't even there for game day. 20 attempts for Leon Washington, 28 yards. Darren McFadden is healthy. I don't know why he didn't play last game then. New York's head coach has been excited about a new book he picked up over the weekend. The book, How to Be an Effective Leader in the NFL, seems to have opened his eyes to some alternative leadership techniques. One would imagine that will contribute to his development. Game changer. One of your staff has gained skill points. Just reading a book. Who gained skill points? Hold on. That's a cool random event. I don't know who got it because no one got any like significant amount of things. Still pretty neat. This game surprises me at every corner. Jacob Tammy, this man stays hurt. He's out for the season. Oh my god. I might have to cut this dude because we've gone through so many freaking tight ends. Jacob Tammy was cut. Dude just kept getting hurt. One of our draft picks. I just can't deal with someone who's going to be constantly hurt. Sim in another game here. This one's against the Tennessee Titans. And we lost another one. Damn. My approval's going down. Owner is pissed. We scored 10 points in this game. Two interceptions. A 6 QB rating for Andre Woodson. Good lord. When you simulate these games, he does not do well. McFadden, 48 rushing yards, one touchdown. So over these next couple games, we're going to actually like jump into the Super Sim instead of just simming it straight away from this screen. More college scouting. Why don't we only have 40% of the big school scouted? All right, last game of the episode. We're going to super sim this one, so we're going to be able to jump in whenever. We're going to kick off first. I've never seen it this way. It's kind of an ugly screen, to be honest, but if it gets the job done, we can call the play. It immediately works out for us. Jeremy Fadden, five-yard play. Let's do it again. Improve run plays. Let's do a toss play. Seven yards. Yeah, let's try a stretch. Two yards. 13-yard pass to Cotchery. This is kind of a fun way to do it, I guess. Seven-yard rush by Washington on the option play. So it works a little bit in the Super Sim, but in the actual game, no. And that was a 28-yard pass to Darren McFadden on that they see me rolling play. I love that play. Let's see. Let's try that one. Unlearn play. Sacked for nine yards. Well, crap. Let's do a play we actually know then. Let's go for Yee. Another big play. Pass to Darren McFadden. He's already got like 50 receiving yards on the game. So we're like on the one-yard line now. 11-yard pass to Coles. Let's try Game Breaker. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. There you go, champ. 
Yeah, we'll do the rest of the games like this. No more like just simming in at the main menu. It'll make these videos very long, but I feel like this is way more enjoyable because I have a little bit more control. I punt it again. Okay, let's see what coach calls. Play action on the first play, Coles. 55-yard field goal, no good. Let's try Game Breaker. Four-yard rush. Looks to have a leg injury. Bro. 35-yard field goal for Cerna. Kotri looks to have a head injury. All my best players are falling apart in the simulation. Pending injury report for Darren McFadden. Let's go, Leon Washington with the touchdown. So he simulated that game and we ended up winning it. Zero touchdowns, zero picks for Andre Woodson, 231 yards. Leon Washington. McFadden had two catches for 50 yards. Roy Dell Williams led us with 55. Let's see. Two picks. Kerry Rhodes and Darrell Rivas again. That tandem is so good. I gotta know the health of Darren McFadden. He's not even on the list. What happened to him? So Darren McFadden got hurt and his potential is now 96. His left leg, but it never told me what happened. Bruce thigh, he's out 46 days, okay. I was worried there for a second. When you said left leg injury, I thought we were talking about like an ACL or something like what happened to Sean Ellis. With four games left to go in the season, we got Andre Woodson, 80 QB rating, 18 touchdowns, 15 picks, almost 3,000 passing yards. On the ground, we got Darren McFadden, 759 rushing yards off of 179 carries. That's an average of 4.2 yards per carry. 10 rushing touchdowns. Leon Washington has four touchdowns behind him. Jericho Cotri, already a 1,000-yard receiver on the year. 59 catches, five touchdowns. Yeah, without a doubt, he's going to be the one who gets the contract. We might look to move Coles because he's been kind of disappointing. And then everybody else is pretty expendable. Might look to draft a wide receiver, actually. Need somebody to pair with Kotri. He's more a guy who gets catches like in the short passing game, but we need somebody who can go deep. Tansby with 18 TFLs, three sacks, leading the team in both of those. Six interceptions for Darrell Rivas this season, five for Kerry Rhodes. They're both worth all the money we're paying him. Ten deflections, one fumble, three fumbles for Kerry Rhodes. Three touchdowns between them. I mean, they're nasty. They're like our entire defense. CERN has been pretty good. He's missed five kicks all year. Let's check on Calais Campbell. He has 52 tackles, nine TFLs, three deflections, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. So he's been pretty darn good. And thankfully in this game, you get to see QB hurries as well. He's had 21, which is half as much as Dansby, but Clays Campbell's also a first year guy. Yeah, Dansby's been great for us. Clays Campbell's been solid. It's pretty much dead set that we're going to win offensive rookie of the year. It's either going to be Andre Woodson or Darren McFadden. This play is completely wacky. It's designed to give everybody on the right side a bit of an aneurysm because there's so much happening. We have a streak from the tight end position, and right next to him, we have a medium in, an angle route, and then the primary target is the wheel route with Coles. We just have a guy running a medium post just kind of as an extra distraction, but it's all designed to get that wheel route open. And of course, let me set a three-step drop for Woodson. Let's see how this works. My hypothesis is that this will only work against zone because there's really no man beaters at all in this play. But it's all designed to get that open space. Look how beautiful that is. This safety is tucked deep. Everybody in the middle is pinched up. Works beautifully. Because it's going to give the defense a headache, we're going to call this play Advil. You'd be surprised how long it took me to make that play. This game loves to crash in the middle right as I finish my play. Probably made it about a dozen times. My job status says I'm doing a great job even though we're not going to make playoffs, but I only promised that we would be below 500. So we're actually knocking on the door of being close to 500. So if we beat those goals, I might get a contract extension or something. I don't know. As long as I still have my job, I'll be good. I'm going to focus on the intangible development for my quarterback. It's only up to level two now. Still very low, but I don't have that many points. My overall is 16, so how much can you expect from me? Defensive coordinator has 4,000 points. Gonna spend his 4,000 points on the game film analysis skill. That way it increases the intangible player stats, which impact the ability to assess the situation on the field and remain aware of the opponent's maneuvering. Ah, sweet, we got enough to upgrade performance for the special teams coordinator. We'll take that. We have got to get a new running back coach next year. I mean, he's maxed out in the mental and he's pretty good in the physical and playbook knowledge, but his performance level is only one. We're gonna use our wide receivers coach's points to dump it into performance, max him out, even though it's only to level two. So Dorian Bryant wants to re-sign with us. We can probably get him extremely cheap, so we're going to at least try to get him the lowest offer and see what happens. Nope. I mean, his production's been pretty good for us, despite him being 57 overall and having 5 awareness. Fine, we got him for not much money. If he starts in 16 games, he gets an incentive, but that's probably unlikely. San Francisco! So 
We're currently 5-7 on the year start in this game. If we get up to 500, that would be huge for me. My, at least my owner would be very happy. But we're not making playoffs, so we also got to keep in mind our draft position. So are we semi-tanking? I don't know. I'm always going to try to get the win. Because you never know what could happen. We have got to get rid of Lorenzo Neal in the offseason. He's just too old. He'll probably retire, to be honest. We're going to let him play. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> We're going to try this broadcast angle. You can't see much of the field here, but it's closer, so I can at least read the numbers. But we're blitzing them, and we're hitting them over the middle. Oh, yeah, that's right. They got Alex Smith. Oh, my goodness. We all got in the backfield. Good yes, job, lads. It, baby. Nice play. Oh, nice catch, dude. Hey, defense, would you get it together? Oh, he almost threw a pick to Darrell Revis. He's been excellent this season. One of my favorite players on the team. Third and one. We got to get in there and get to the quarterback. 63, the big man. I don't even know who that is. We've been rocking with this broadcast angle for a while. You let me know in the comments. Do you prefer broadcast or overhead? Let's stick with this angle. Because we're just running right up the gut with Darren McFadden. Ugh, come on. Sometimes he just runs straight into the defense. It's frustrating. We got an injury, but I'm going to just ignore that right now. Got to get rid of it, Andre. Held on to it for days. Need another look at that. Third and 21. Rough start. Find Dorian Bryant. You got to check it to somebody. Almost threw a pick, but that'll be the end of our drive. We're going to have to punt it right back to him. We're getting a lot of pressure back there. What a catch. He's rolling out. Look at Alex Smith go. He's breaking tackles. Calais Campbell had to drag him out at the edge. Alex Smith moving. Does not have that messed up leg in this series. He's got all day to throw. Oh, a good break on the ball, Darrell. What a toss from Alex Smith. What do you want from me? defensive coordinator i'm doing my best out here in fact you're calling most of these plays not me you're the one on the hot seat that's right they got frank gore too but they're gonna pass it and that's gonna be a mistake because we're gonna sack him and i dig that we're gonna blitz him again but they're gonna likely have a guy open in the back throws it quickly on the slant touchdown back up nobody talk to me nobody get near me i uh, got pretty mad at that but i think most of them like it when i get emotional when I, the other team scores so i'm gonna keep doing that on defense now is the first time we're gonna unleash advil let's see how big brain this play actually is i like to stick in this camera angle for the passing plays just so we can see it all play out and they're running man and actually got a guy open i'm surprised it's a zone beater that's what we worked on this week go mcfadden good blocks on the outside big time run <laughs> he threw the ball on the defender, too. Good block from the guard. Blocking well today, but didn't get much blocking on the edge. We're going to try. They see me rolling. The two wheel routes on the right side. It looks open, but he's going to the left, and that'll work, too. First down. That's a nice play. McFadden's really tired. Crossing route looks open. Actually, the out route, and he threw that a mile over his head don't know what that was all about got a lot of space on the right side and they have a lot of guys in zone on the left so this could work look at how it's always open but he's chucking it to the sky and it's going to be picked off just because it's not learned yet terrible throw well that's what you got to do when you run these plays if they're unlearned high likelihood of it getting intercepted it's okay buddy you're still a rookie you're gonna learn get that sack 71 Woo, good hit from Darrell Reeves. So I'm going to go out on a limit. I don't think we're going to score 70 points this game. <laughs> but we're learning. We're a project. We're, sometimes we're incredible. Sometimes we're awful. You never know what Jets team you're going to get. We're getting good pressure, and I don't know why my corner just left him alone. Oh, almost a pick. Minter. He's one of the free agents we picked up. We've had to pick up so many free agents because of all our dang injuries. All day to throw, and he's getting another first down. Swatted down. Nice job, Justin Miller. 
Oh, he's rolling out again. Since when has Alex Smith done this? Are we not going to catch him? Jesus. He's much faster than I remember. Pick that off. Oh, so close. Is he out of bounds? Yep, no catch here. Third down. All right, we've got to get sit back in coverage. Might actually need a QB spy on Alex Smith. He's done pretty well. So he's not going to be able to scramble out, but we're definitely not going to sack him. But that's going out of bounds. He's short. Well, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. What? What did I say? Did he miss it? No, he got it. Ten-point game. We're still in this, lads. And if we lose, better draft pick. So, win-win for us. Looking short. That's McFadden. Good catch. He's actually not the best with his hands. No pause. Hopefully that short angle route gets open. And he's tossing it deep. And that's going to be picked off by the safety. Should have just took the first down, mate. Andre is not on his game today. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Andre woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Another pick? <laughs> Sometimes I love the messages. <laughs> he got angry. But I mean, you're the one who threw the interception, not me, lad. I'm letting the coordinator call the rest of the place for this half. Get to him, Calais Campbell in his face. What a snag. First and goal. We got guys coming at him, but that guy is wide open. Come on, man. Keep your focus. Don't let it haunt you. Oh, it's haunting me, defensive coordinator. It's haunting me big time. We got to get some points back, so we got to start throwing the ball more. Everybody's covered. He's going to the out. Way to stay on the sidelines. Throwing Kotri back. Why would we switch that angle? But there goes McFadden. Let's try play action. They're blitzing. That post route, or that guy's open too. Guy open on the left. Spinning off of him. Good effort. Right. Fourth and three. Kotri's getting tired, but yeah, we're going to kick this field goal. Get some points back. Alexis Serna right down the middle. Beautiful kick. Oh, he's throwing in the coverage. That should have been a pick six. We've got it covered up right now. We just got to make the play in the air. Swat it down. Got to turn that into an interception next time, though. Get back there to Alex Smith. Don't let him roll out. We don't have a QB spy, but we got pressure coming up the middle, and we're laying him down. That's exactly what we were going for. We're going to get the ball back here. Throwing it across the middle. He usually does not do that. One inch at a time, fellas. Whoa, broke the tackle. He's got room on the left. That was a good run. Please don't throw a pick here. Just find the open man. Oh, and he threw a pick. I should have known. I should have not called this play. Uh, Ad Advil might give me a headache because this one's going to be a pick six. Throw this play in the trash can. I mean, it's me calling terrible plays. I know we can do better than this, but everyone's going to love it if I bench him. The game is on the line. Yeah, let's try Kellen Clemens out just because everybody else wants me to do that. My approval's going to go up. Job's on the line here, Andre. I know you're the future, but you're just not getting it done right now, even though it's my fault. <laughs> that was 100% a crappy play call, and everybody knows it. Kellen Clemens in the game. Near the two-minute warning, too, so we're going to throw this ball a lot. Hit that man short, dude. Finally. Let's see, if Kellen Clemens wins this game, I'll be proud of him. Trying a bunch of learn plays here. Plays that we don't have mastered to try and get some more. And he ran a false start. Let's try this again. C route. I saw it too. Good catch. Coles is breaking it. First down. To the out. Kotri dropped it. He looks tired. Come on. What play is he running? Got guys open. Try to hit the running back. Good idea. Find the guy, Kellen Clemens. Oh, such a dangerous pass. Definitely going to punt this one. Don't want to make this score worse than it already is. Not a good punt at all. Jesus. Ooh, get to him. He's making some dangerous throws. We're making some big hits, but we're not getting turnovers. Ooh, what a bad throw. I like blitzing here on third down. It's very aggressive. Gets it off quick, that little slant route. That's going to get him the first down. Wipe those dumb looks off your faces. Oh, oh my goodness. What a wallop. Stop him. Good. 
Halftime stats not looking so hot. Andre Woodson, three interceptions, most of them because I'm calling terrible plays. But we're going to pick it up in the second half with Kellen Clemens because his uh, confidence is a little bit higher. Darren McFadden averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Honestly, we've had worse games, but he needs to pick it up as well. Need him to make some big plays to get us back in it. As usual, Kotri is leading us in receiving. Dude's amazing. Definitely going to be on the team as long as possible. Got three sacks, two of them with David Harris. One with Thompson, one with Campbell. But we need some interceptions. We've had a bunch of deflections, especially from Darrell Revis. Needs to turn that into points the other way. Start this off with a good run, please. Good spin move. Darren McFadden off to the races. What a call, coach. Come on, make a miss. There you go, McFadden again. He's going. He could be gone. Let me get the right camera angle for him when he's running in. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. We're not subbing him out. He's the only good player we have right now. This is what I was saying. We needed these big plays from you, Darren McFadden, and you showed up. Now let's see if you can get like three more. Hit him. Throwing it off of his back foot, and he still completes it. You know what I just thought about? With Andre and his three interception game today, he's hurting his chances for rookie of the year significantly. But even in the simulated games, he's, he plays like this, so he just needs time to develop. Somebody hit this man. Make him fumble, please. Well, <laughs> hit the guy in the chest. He's scrambling again. We're waking up, but we still can't tackle him. When did Alex Smith become Tim Tebow? Make a play on the ball. We're running out of time. Oh, never mind. That's going to be fourth down. Darren McFadden, carry us to victory, man. Oh, they always get on his back. That wasn't pretty. Oh, another interception. No. The wheel routes just stink in this game, I guess. Four interceptions for our offense. He's throwing it in a coverage. Oh, I thought that was a touchdown for a second. Same guy can't catch it. We're going to blitz. I always play aggressive, and at least initially they like it, so my approval is pretty high. I can't see it right now. Oh, but we get the pick. Carry Rhodes. Tackled by Alex Smith, but that's going to work go, out. 93 go. approval right now. And if we manage to come back, get this win with Kellen Clemens, it's going to be huge. Oh, no. Patrick Willis was in his face. We need a miracle from Kellen Clemens on this third and 14. Just find the open guy, Dorian Bryant. Oh, no. He dropped it. This punter booted it straight for once. Can we get the tackle, though? Near midfield. Oh, he got snagged on. This play is money against the run, but if they're throwing it, it's probably automatic touchdown. Oh, swatted down at the line. Hell of a play. Please don't run it. Should have it covered up. We sack him. He fumbled it. We got it. Another turnover in the red zone. So defense is making it happen. Need Kellen Clemens to lead us to victory so I can keep my approval. And also, you know, winning is nice, too. Throwing that post route. Oh, he has a terrible arm. That What's thing was a duck, but we got the catch. Yeah, I am not running the wheel route the rest of this game. It is not doing well for us. Passing. Wheel route has accounted for, what, four interceptions for our offense? Stinky, if you ask me. Way to be patient. Please get us a first. And some more. Oh, we're getting good blocks, though. And there goes Darren McFadden, first down. He's starting to pick it up even more. Trying to balance out the carries a little bit more in this game. Leon Washington going to the outside. It was supposed to be a run at the middle, but he's getting a good chunk of yards there. How come it takes us until the fourth quarter to learn how to run the football? Oh, Leon Washington trying to do way too much. Play action time. Trying it from the on-field one. He's got a guy open across the middle. Roy Dale Williams with the first down. We're moving the ball. This might be Leon Washington's last run if he doesn't get a yard. Yep. Go left. Keep going, Darren. You're the big playmaker we need. Oh, God. Lorenzo Neal. His old ass is in the game, and we're going to get Somebody sacked. Find out why the heck we're throwing like high school kids. He didn't even throw the ball. Shut up. Get upfield. Got up to the eight. 
Got guys open quickly, throwing it almost through a pick, dude. Cannot have that here. We gotta go for it right here. Hopefully this is a defining moment, so hopefully we get the touchdown too. Only a pea brain would kick the field goal here. We're going for the touchdown. Can I go created plays, please? I cannot. We're gonna go shotgun pass. See, this is actually a pretty good play. I don't know if Slants can get it done. We're gonna go with this play. I know it has a high success score. See, what what yard line are we on? It, it would help if it told me that. Hopefully the C route gets open. So we're eight yards away. This play averages five. Look for the C route on the right side. It's not open. Way to adjust, but we got the touchdown. Let's go, Kellen Clemens. Defining moment and all is working out. Everybody's happy. Been a good comeback. The long play from Darren McFadden. Defense making two turnovers in the red zone. Been good. Just takes us a while to get it going. <laughs> Everyone wants to go to the onside kick. I mean, in most cases, I would not. We'll beat them the old-fashioned way. We need to score points as quickly as possible. I mean, they're going to hate me initially, but it, it works out for us. So if the defining moment works out in the end, I'm going to stick with the regular kickoff right here. I'm going to trust my own judgment. Everybody else might get a little ticked initially, but so be it. Well, they'll start farther down the field. But we have a better chance of stopping them. Still like 10 minutes left in the game. We don't have to rush it. Like a lot of people got pissed at us after that, but it'll work out in the end if we get the W. Look at that. <laughs> Dan Quinn's approval go down. They like it when I'm aggressive, but that one's just kind of crazy with 10 minutes left in the game. I think you guys are the ones out of pocket there, not me. Oh, got to wrap him up. Oh, man. Calais Campbell, I love you. Oh, how do you even catch that? Wrap him up. Fourth down. Good job, defense. Stepping up when it matters most. Into the end zone for the touchback. This is not a good play for Kellen Clemens, but I hope it works out. Oh, he had the right read, but he just does not have the accuracy. Dookie. Come on, Ligma. Get us a first. Ligma. For the first down. Hell yeah. Do that thing, McFadden. Do that thing. Oh, Darren McFadden ripping another one. He's got the speed to go all the way, too. Two rushing touchdowns on the game for him, and he's tying it up here in the fourth quarter with four minutes left. Does that get our approval back, coach? Nice, nice, very nice. That was outstanding. What, I got hype for Darren McFadden and he had a negative two approval change? I guess he's just used to being this amazing. I don't know how he came back and tied this up. Mainly just Darren McFadden and some luck. The defense and Darren McFadden. <laughs> they wanted me to do the onside kick, please. If we get the win, they'll see. They'll all see. Oh my, he didn't even get to hand it off. He's switching up. He wants to pass. No, wait, he's... Maybe he does want to pass. We've got linebackers in coverage. Oh, we should have got the sack. Terrell Revis making a quick tackle with hey, third and five. What happened there. He's throwing it. He dropped it. Fourth and five. We're getting the ball back with three and a half minutes to go. Kellen Clemens is going to drive down, get us this victory. Darren McFadden getting open space again. That O-line is doing its job. Short runs here. I'm not really in a rush. As long as we get the first downs, of course. Leon Washington's got it in some more. Oh, they busted through. That's... Yikes. Get to the outside. Oh, breaking a tackle. First down. I love it when Kotri gets an open space. Come on, just stay in field goal range. Work this clock. Get some extra yards, McFadden. Make a miss. I think he got another first down. Second and inches, even better. We're going to take our time calling this play. 200 rushing yard game again. Yeah, I'm going to stay calm. I want to see how he reacts to that. I think he likes it. No, he gets mad at that. He got mad when he scored the touchdown. I got hype for him, but he gets mad when I'm calm as well. This game is so confusing. Just because McFadden's getting tired, don't want him to get hurt. Need to balance out those carries. Dude's already got 200 rushing yards. Then there goes Leon Washington. They're taking terrible angles. They got to be tired on that defense. We're taking our time. I don't want it to be on our kicker, though. Lorenzo Neal, third pancake block. Let's get hype for him, the old fart. The old fart doesn't like it when I get hype. Whatever, I hate all of you. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice, okay? Whatever you do, do not fumble it. McFadden, is that a touchdown? Nope. The kicker ready? Oh, look at the tight end. Tossed it out. Darren McFadden. 
Oh no, we're gonna lose some yards. I would love to get a touchdown here, but I'm not gonna force it. They're down running back. We're gonna stick with McFadden, but we're gonna wait to call this play. Okay, timeout, timeout. No, we're not calling a timeout. We have a full minute left in the game. Just gonna stare at this play calling sheet for another 20 seconds, and then we'll blow a timeout. Close it out, Darren McFadden. Get your third rushing touchdown of the game. You're the MVP by far. Good block, Lorenzo Neal. Breaking off of it. Is he in? All right. He is not. Get that kicker warmed up. I'm kicking the field goal here. Don't give me this defining moment crap. It isn't worth the risk. And we can use the three points. Yeah, what are you talking about, guys? Of course we're going to kick it. I can't call a timeout, nothing. It, it's just stuck on this one. So hopefully they take their time and kick it near the end. But make sure you get it off this time. Because one time they never kicked it. Come on, guys, kick it. You got 10 seconds left. Kick it. Hike the ball. I can't even call timeout. Five. Come on, please hike the ball. Thank goodness he made it. Okay. I've had it glitch up before where he doesn't kick it. <laughs> this game is so confusing sometimes. My approval goes down when I do the conservative options there. But we win the game with the last second field goal. I am happy. Kellen Clemens got it done. Even though he does not have an impressive stat line. One touchdown, one interception, 123 passing yards. Basically a game manager because the guy who got it done was Darren McFadden. A pretty mediocre first half, but the second half he came out running like crazy, dude. 23 attempts, 211 yards, two touchdowns, 9.1 yards per carry. Most of it came off of two huge runs. Cotri getting it done again. Eight catches, 114 receiving yards, one touchdown. And Lorenzo Neal actually led us in pancakes today with two. Proud of you, champ. I don't know how we came back and won that game, because look at the first half. We had three points, and we shut them out in the second half. They were close to scoring. Defense got two turnovers in the red zone. Very clutch. Interception by Kerry Rhodes. Alexis Serna, perfect on field goals today, including the game winner. Absolute champ. Balanced attack there. 246 rushing yards, 206 passing yards. I'm a happy coach. Hey, approval went back up to 85. So the players went down by eight, but we won the game. Why are they so cranky? The owner doesn't care. <laughs> That's so weird. You kick the game winning field goal and people get butt hurt about it. But we also should have the positive change from like, because it worked out switching out Kellen Clemens. He ended up throwing an interception later, but he got the win. Some people liked it, some didn't. Can't please everybody. Darren McFadden's second 200 rushing yard game of the season. This one gets him player of the week once again. McFadden's approval of me is 76, but he's thriving in my system right now. So we have a change up. Darren McFadden is looking like he's going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year now. Andre Woodson has dropped to third. I mean, if you look at the stats this season, 18 touchdowns, 18 interceptions, almost 3,000 passing yards. He's been hit or miss some games. Like some games, it's amazing and he's unstoppable. Some games, he's just really, really bad. Darren McFadden is 30 yards away from 1,000 rushing yards on the season, 12 rushing touchdowns, only fumbled three times. Really hit his stride here in the second half of the season too. Alexis Cerna is moving up for kicker of the year right now. He has a couple of game winners. 10 of 15. He's been good in the games I've played. Looking like Darrell Rivas actually might make the Pro Bowl. Well deserved. Dude's been awesome. And of course, Kerry Rhodes has been excellent as well. Week 15 game against the Bills. They've won like 10 games this season, so I'm expecting us to get slaughtered here. This is back when they had Marsha and Lynch. Already got an interception. I'm doing like the super sim way so I can actually call all of the plays, but I'm not down on the field watching it live. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to see the end result, but I'm going to go through the same process myself. I just like to do it this way so I know what's being called and know who's getting the ball how many times. Oh, Kotri looks to have a back injury. No. <sighs> Come on, guys. Please catch this. Pass thrown away fourth and 10 on the 26. And we'll take another field goal. Cern has got two this game. At least he's going to be getting closer to, like, Pro Bowl material. 17-yard rush for McFadden. A lot of drop passes out here. This is frustrating. Pass deflected. Third and 15. Let's try check down. Oh, it actually got a completion. Oh, my goodness. Six yards for Darren McFadden. He's driving us down the field. Let's throw it again. Coles for 15 yards. Let's try this play. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. He's got 65 Rushing yards and one touchdown in this game so far. We skipped most of the defense. We got the lead again, 13-10. I know it's not the best play call screen. Forced him to punt again. Good. Keep feeding McFadden, but we don't want him to get hurt. Keep in mind, I wish there would be a way to take him out, so I don't want him to get the ball every time. So they got the lead back, 17-13, fourth quarter now. Interception. We got the ball right back. Fumble scooped up by Carlos Dansby. Pass to Darren McFadden. That doesn't happen often. Two-yard rush by Andre Woodson. That also doesn't happen often. But he's throwing the ball well now. 
12 yard rush. Another pass to Derry McFadden. Touchdown, Andre Woodson to Delaney Walker. Picked him up from free agency. Look at all those incompletions. So we got the lead back. If we somehow beat the Bills, that'll be crazy. They only got a minute and a half to go now. Nine seconds left. They made the field goal. Going to overtime now. Of course we want to receive the ball. McFadden returns it. Man, he's doing everything for us. I'll start. Come on, Nick Mangold. You're one of our better players. Interception. Come on, Andre Woodson. Third one of the game for him. He's got 21 interceptions on the year now. <laughs> Fourth and 10. So we got the ball back, thankfully. Haven't lost it yet. 80-yard rush from who? Jaquan Tryon. Whoa, the free agent just won us the game in overtime. What a crazy run. Wow, we upset the Bills 26 to 20. We're at 500 now. Darren McFadden, another 100-yard rushing game. What a story. The third string running back, Jaquan Tryon. My goodness, what a legend. That would have been cool to see play out, but Andre Woodson, three picks this game. He's not getting rookie of the year with all these interceptions, but Darren McFadden might. How many yards he's getting? And he got 44 receiving yards this game, which would not happen when we play it live. He's got a thousand rushing yards on the year. Calais Campbell, 10 tackles, one sack, CJ Mosley, two interceptions for David Harris this game. One fumble recovery for Carlos Dansby. Approval goes up to 89. I mean, we beat a team with 10 wins right there. We're 500 on the year. So, I mean, our draft spot's hurting. David Harris picks up defensive player of the week. He's been helping us a lot. Two games left in the season. This one is against the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to be another one we simulate. Let me know, do you find it boring when I simulate it like this? But I guess you could always just skip ahead in the video. I always have those time codes for you. I'll do my best to talk over it, but it's just a screen. <laughs> it's not going to be able to move or anything. Touchdown, Matt Hasselbeck. If we could finish 500, that'd be huge for me. Another interception from Andre Woodson. Another <laughs> touchdown, 14 nothing already. We're going to get blown out. There you go. Roydell Williams downfield. It proves to me that we need to get a receiver in this draft. Let's just punch it in. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Got to get him rookie of the year now. He's our new target since Andre Woodson has fallen off the map. They're moving it down pretty quickly. Or they're about to score here again. Third touchdown of the game for Matt Hasselbeck. Deflected. My goodness. They are prepared to stop us this game, aren't they? We got the ball back. Nice. David Harris has been very productive. Dropped by Coles. Deflected. Oh my goodness. Let's try Yeet then. Incomplete. Another three and out. Start running the ball again. Okay. Finally completing a pass down there. Let's toss it. Get a touchdown here. Darren McFadden, second one of the game. Oh, returned. Nate Burleson returns the kickoff. 104 yards for the touchdown. Bruh. Ooh. Andre Woodson's picking it up. Touchdown, Andre Woodson. 31-21. We get ball first, second half. Yeah, we'll throw it first down to Delaney Walker. Let's go with going out. Touchdown. Intercepted. How many is that on the game? Two interceptions. Another multi-interception game for the rookie. Field goal no good. Okay, three-point game. Let's keep the ball on the ground. 41-yard pass to Roydell Williams. Let's try this short passing play. Touchdown, Andre Woodson. So he's got three passing touchdowns, two interceptions. But if we get the win... That's all we care about, right? Interception from Dansby. We got the first down. That should be the ball game. Way to go, Jaquan Tryon. That'll do it. Another victory for us. 35-31 against the Seahawks. I am blown away by this team. Downside, though, is Darren McFadden got a leg injury, so we don't know how he's doing right now. Kind of an ugly game for Andre Woodson, but he still managed to get the win. Three passing touchdowns, two interceptions, 250 yards. Darren McFadden, almost another 100 rushing yard game. 24 attempts, 93 yards, two touchdowns. Dudes carrying us every single game. Roydell Williams was very good today. Six catches, 149 yards, and a touchdown. One for Cotri and one for Coles. Carlos Dansby, another interception. Checking out the injury report, though. Oh, no, his right leg is 0% right now. Is he, like, done for the year? Please tell me it's not as bad as it looks. 0% is pretty bad. Oh no, Darren, please don't be dead. My approval is 93. We're going to finish the year at 500 or above. Everybody's a fan of it. The owner doesn't care. The fans love it. Staff loves it. Media loves it. New York's trainer ran a few more tests, but the results remain oh, unchanged. Oh no. It appears that one of their players will be sidelined for some time with a torn ACL and PCL. Oh no, Darren McFadden torn ACL and PCL. We got to place him on the IR. That means we got to win with Jaquan Tryon and Leon Washington. <laughs> Poor Darren McFadden, we run him into the ground. We're going to have to look at other running backs because when I go in these games, we're going to need to be able to survive. So that actually lowered Darren McFadden's long-term potential because he tore his ACL and PCL. 
I don't know the timetable of when he'll return because his right leg is at 1% for probably a long time. He's out for the rest of the year, but hopefully in the offseason he can recover. Because we're going to need him if we're going to do anything in this series. I'm hearing that the coaches for one NFL team are excited about the player's progress in the film room. His position coach believes that this breakthrough is unexpected, but encouraging. I'm Norv Turner. Whoa. Did you hear that from Adam Schefter? We have a game changer breakthrough. Kenyon Coleman has a development breakthrough. I don't know what that means. What position does he even play? <laughs> That's bad that I don't know who he is. Oh, there he is. He's on IR. He's our right end. He had a breakthrough in playbook knowledge, but it's not going to really affect much. Of all the breakthroughs, that's probably one of the weaker ones. Breakthrough sounds kind of cool, but that one in specific was not very impressive. Yeah, looking at the standings, we are not going to make playoffs or anything here. But if I win the game, I will finish 9-7 and seven on the year, above 500. And we can stick it to the Dolphins for sweeping them this year. Here's the final Pro Bowl voting of the year. Darren McFadden is actually going to make the Pro Bowl even though he's on IR with a torn ACL and PCL. Let's look at his final stats for the season. 1,100 rushing yards, 15 rushing touchdowns, an average of 4.7 yards per carry, 4 fumbles, 145 receiving yards, 1 touchdown as well. Darrell Revis dropped out of the cornerback voting, but Kerry Rhodes is still in there for the Pro Bowl. Let's get this dub against the Dolphins. They've won 5 games this year, we've won 8. Oh, looks to have an arm injury. We can't afford injuries. Well, I mean, the, the season's... This is over. Like, we're not making playoffs. This is all for pride at this point. Maybe a draft spot. Let's just throw the ball a lot. We don't have a Darren McFadden today. Wait, Cole's through that pass. Interesting. Let's see if this play-action play will work in the red zone. Touchdown. Let's try to not throw an interception here. Touchdown, Andre Woodson. Another interception, dude. He's getting multiple interceptions the past, like, four games. Actually, every single game today. I'm just going to simulate to the end of the game since we pretty much all got it wrapped up now. 24-6. to six, We stomped him. Andre Woodson, two touchdowns, two picks. I don't know why Coles threw a pass, but he did. Completed for six yards. Jaquan Tryon, a decent effort. Leon Washington, they both had about 44 yards. One touchdown for Tryon. Coles had 100 32 receiving yards in this game. Delaney Walker, another receiving touchdown. Holy, look at all these sacks. One for Dansby Campbell, Mosley, Mincy, Ward, Thompson. Approval at 94. So our approval at the end of the year is actually 94. That is light years above of where I expected it to be. I thought I was going to be below the 65 mark. We, we managed to do it. The only goals we failed this year is get like a couple of players to certain things, but it doesn't matter. Where we are right now is in the clouds. Like we did very, very well. But we won our last four games, mainly because I stepped in to simulate and choose the plays myself. But I think that's the way to do it from now on if we want to win our games. Now that's pretty cool. We can look at our approval after each game through the season. So in week one against the Dolphins, we were at 58 when we won. Then we lost when I simulated against the Patriots, 51, 68. And then we got all the way up to 90 against the Bengals. There were so many defining moments in that game. It boosted me up nearly like 30 points. Dropped down slowly, and then we had that 70-point game against the Rams up to 93. The defining moments is what really does it. Everything else, like if you win, yeah, you'll stay in the right direction, but that's not the main thing. If you win the game and have defining moments in it, that's how you boost your approval. Winning the last four games of the season was very unexpected, but I'm proud of the team. Individual leaders. Andre Woodson, obviously, 3,700 passing yards, 24 touchdowns for him. Awesome rookie season. Well, wait until we look at the interceptions, though. Darren McFadden, over 1,000 rushing yards, 15 touchdowns. Kotri, 76 catches, 1,200 receiving yards. He will be back with this team next season. Seven receiving touchdowns for him as well. Carlos Dansby, almost 100 tackles. Four sacks, six interceptions for Kerry Rhodes, two TDs for Darrell Rivas. One kick return for a touchdown for Justin Miller. I'm glad that it gives us a little recap of this. So winning that game actually does give us a pretty stinky draft pick, though, because we're in the middle of the road. NFL MVP, who got it? Tom Brady. I don't know why these are going so fast. Offensive Player of the Year, Reggie Bush. Defensive Player of the Year, Lance Briggs. Rookie of the Year, Darren McFadden, who's on IR right now. <laughs> Defensive Rookie of the Year, Brandon Flowers. Coach of the Year, Big Old Drewski. No, I'm just kidding. This has been a long episode, but it's been good. Darren McFadden was named Offensive Rookie of the Year today, and his coaches and teammates were thrilled to hear the news. Without him, they never would have had the season they did. Darren McFadden is a legend. I hope he's okay for next season. So my approval change went up seven by completing my goal this year. We were actually above 500 when I expected us to be below 500. He wants me to stay, obviously. 
I'm gonna stay with my team. I drafted these guys, of course. Why would I? Why would I leave? If you're not satisfied with any of your coaches, now's your opportunity to make the change. All right, we're getting into off-season stuff now. Unfortunately, we lost the entire off-season in my past recording. I guess the Elgato recording software just can't handle five-plus-hour recordings because when I've done like four-hour recordings, it's fine. But the past two times I've hit the five-hour mark, I've lost everything and unfortunately this time it auto saved after the draft so we were unable to redo it and i mean we lost everything the coaching changes free agency scouting the draft which is incredibly depressing because it's my favorite part and i'm sure it's a lot of people's favorite part to watch as well i'll do my best to recap it but there's only so much i can do after the fact so i don't know if i mentioned it in the previous episode but my strategy was to try to trade down and the best offer i got was two second round picks from my first round pick because we had the 19th pick in the draft and I did not see the player that I wanted. Waddle was the guy that was gonna be a huge star. Everybody knew it. He's the cornerback who played both sides of the ball. Another thing, Chris Essex was drafted by the Dolphins, so they have a new starting quarterback for the future. We were projected to draft this free safety out of Notre Dame, but he ended up getting drafted by the Cowboys four picks above us. So at pick 19, I decided to trade back with the Falcons and we ended up getting two second round picks. And unfortunately, pick 35 was an unfortunate spot for us to be. There was only a handful of good wide receivers in this draft. The earliest Blake Walton went at 13, then Kennison went behind him at 14. Roscoe Lester was probably the only quality receiver left in the entire draft. So I ended up trading entirely too much for it, but I did not want the 49ers to take Roscoe Lester because I wanted that guy on my team. But with our two second round picks, we got Roscoe Lester and Sanrick Reigns, a free safety out of Alabama. We don't know his full potential yet, but judging by his base ability, Abilities, he looked pretty darn good. In the third round, we got a right guard in Sean Fogarty. And after this, I really didn't know much about the players because our GM is pretty bad at scouting. You didn't see it in the first draft because they kind of helped you out with the, the scouting side of it. But you are very limited in future drafts. You're at the mercy of your GM. Our GM is only like 60 overall. He has a lot to develop. I kind of like it though because you have to target specifically the positions you want. You can't dilly dally around and I'm going to remember that for future drafts. Or think about the draft position we had because I started scouting guys at the top of the list which I had no shot of getting. But anyways, we got a fullback in the fourth round, a defensive tackle in the sixth, a small halfback that's going to be our third string in the seventh, and we also had another seventh round pick, just Ruben Black, another free safety. This past offseason was the first time I had the ability to change coaching staffs. I made a few changes, I ended up firing my defensive coordinator, and I didn't know what I was doing, so I don't think I made the best decision here, but we ended up promoting our linebacker coach to our defensive coordinator position. Again, this is not what I intended to do, I just did it because it sounded cool at the time. When in reality, he's not the highest overall guy, so he's probably not going to be here too long. We're just going to hope there's better options in the offseason and we'll hire somebody from outside. But the draft was not the only way we ended up finding players. We were able to upgrade our tight end this offseason through free agency by signing Tony Gonzalez, the future Hall of Famer. He's kind of old at 33. He's got 80 speed now, so he's on the decline for that. Still got 99 awareness, 94 catch, 97 route running, 95 spec catch, 96 catch in traffic. So obviously, he's still very productive. You don't really need that much speed in this game as far as a tight end is concerned. I think it'll be nice to have have him on the team as long as he can stay healthy that's for sure then of course we got mike peterson behind him hopefully he'll develop a little bit because i think he's also a good player the other guy we signed is chris gamble an 82 overall cornerback we needed some help there and i didn't think we were going to be able to get some guy in the draft at least not somebody that i really wanted besides the mario waddle this cornerback class was terrible so i'm glad we picked up somebody in free agency and i really hope the next class is loaded with corners so we can pick up another guy because you can't always fix it in free agency guys are very expensive i was able to swindle a trade for Flazelle Adams. He was getting kind of old and his contract year was about to be up. Every time I checked the health and fatigue last year, he was always at the bottom of the list, hurting pretty badly. He's still an awesome player, like very, very talented. But in this game, staying healthy is extremely important. And if he's always tired and hurt, he's not really helping the team no matter how talented he is. But on the bright side, he was so talented, I was actually able to get a pretty decent pick out of him. We replaced him with Langston Walker, a free agent pickup. He's 80 overall. He's going to be a band-aid for it for a little bit. Not a long-term option, just there until we can draft somebody else. And also we had Brian Leftwich on our team because like it auto fills during training camp and stuff. So I ended up trading him and I got Brandon Stokely out of it, which is a crazy deal. So we got another solid receiver on the team just like that, basically for free. Crazy, like I've never seen a straight up trade in this game until that happened. Never forget Brandon Stokely down the sidelines. Stokely down the sideline! Stokely, wow! 
What, we got a trade offer for Stokely. Let's see what they'll offer. I wonder if we could get a higher one. If we get like a fourth round or something, I might consider it. <laughs> Your request is absurd. Nah, I'll just keep Brandon Stokely. They're only gonna wanna offer fifth and sixth round picks. A 25 year old Andrew Whitworth, wow. So I'm not gonna show many of the preseason games because I don't think many people find them that entertaining, but my strategy here is just to run a lot of unlearned plays since the games really don't matter. That way we can get our play knowledge up and be prepared for the season. So that's cool. We've gotten to the point on defense where we don't have any unlearned plays anymore since I've just been running only unlearned plays so far. Now it's be nice if we could get them all mastered, but I think it takes way longer to get them mastered. I don't care about the outcome of this game, but it's kind of fun to see this play out. <laughs> that first showing was terrible, yeah. Calling a bunch of unlearned plays, not a good strategy, but that's why we do it in the preseason so they can learn how to play. Probably gonna hurt their confidence a little bit, but in the long run, it's gonna work out. So it turns out all those turned out to be pretty good picks. Roscoe Lester, Sandrick Reigns and Sean Fogarty, our first three draft picks all have 88 potential or above. Assuming they can reach their potential, of course, because this game, they could have the, all the potential in the world, but they have like terrible learning or they just never reach it for whatever reason. So keep that in mind. Just because he has 91 potential doesn't mean we'll ever see him at 91 in this series. 90 catching, so he's going to be getting a ton of picks. I wonder if we can play him on the offensive side too. And that means we officially drafted a sleeper because we got Fogarty in the third round, 88 potential. Approval is at 95 right now. All things are good. So how's Kellen Clemens doing? He has a sprained knee out three to five weeks. Yeah, we're gonna need a backup quarterback. It's looking like a JP Losman out of Tulane for $1 million. $1.1 $1 million, sure. 80 overall at 22 years old. He's got 82 potential. Durability 96, 67 learning. All the man coverage at 36. I didn't realize that we have so many penalties that next year we're gonna have $24 million in penalties. That's gonna hurt the team big time. So to be honest, the really only way we can rebuild this team is through the draft. We can't afford to go any other way. So we actually ended up winning this game and it seems like the team is getting better with these plays. So I've been running, again, only unlearned plays. Andre Woodson almost 100 QB rating and same with JP Losman, good for him. Dedrick Webb got a 70 yard rushing touchdown in this game in the third quarter. Tony Gonzalez looked pretty good, got himself a touchdown in this game and so did Redmond. Oh, I just got an achievement. We idolize you. Get an approval rating of 95 after one season. No way. Ruben Black has 85 potential. So we hit a home run on both of our free safeties. This guy was like Mr. Irrelevant. 70 man coverage, 76 zone, 90 speed. I mean, his learning is 85, that's impressive. Dang, so we actually got some pretty good free safeties. I mean, obviously we should be starting Sandrick Reigns, but it's saying Ruben Black is the better player like straight up right now. Getting better every single week. Andre Woodson, 143.9 QB rating in this one, and we lost 41 to 22 against the Bengals, which they're actually a pretty good team. 186 passing yards, 14 to 19. Good day at the office for him. JP Losman was, uh, yeah, he showed up as well. <laughs> he was uh, on the team. Diedrich Webb, 24 yards. McFadden, 24 yards on five carries. Tony Gonzalez, he's going to be a star for our team. Chris Gamble now has two interceptions this preseason. He's been a good pickup for us. Approval up to 97 now. Because I played Ruben Black 50 downs in the preseason. Last preseason game of the year did not go very well, but who cares about the scoreboard? It's all about what we learned along the way. And McFadden's healthy, so that's what really matters. Chris Gamble's a beast, though. This guy has three interceptions in his first four games. Now it's time for the preseason promise. The owner expects us to make the playoffs, and I think I have to agree with him. I don't think we're going to win a Super Bowl this year. We just don't have that quality of a team. I don't think we're going to make a Super Bowl this year, but I think we could contend for playoffs. Probably not win the division with the freaking Patriots in here, but maybe we can grab a wild card spot. We finished 9-7 and seven last year, after all. Holy crap, we went down a lot. We went down 11 points because we failed all those goals. <laughs> the players are pissed, the staff's pissed. It's because we didn't make any new plays and we didn't get them to like the percentage of the playbook learned, which I still don't fully understand that. He did not reach 25% learned or mastered of the playbook. I don't know how you do that in just four games. I did the best I could. Well, we can only be at 97 for so long. <laughs> they want us to win three out of our first four games. That's going to be a tough challenge. Fans want us to crush the Dolphins in week nine. I think we can do that. Beat Chiefs on Monday night in week 10 for the fans. Okay. I don't know thinks we should re-sign Lavernius Coles. I, I don't know if we should do that, man. He's getting older. I'd rather draft a guy personally, but if it'll keep the owner happy... Maybe. 
I'd rather re-sign Nick Mangold. He's going to be the future. Ooh, hire a new college coach. I'll do that for sure. That sounds pretty cool. I don't really know how to do it, but if I can figure it out, we'll do it. Awesome. It's time for the draft preview so we can look at the new draft class, at least on paper. Wade Appling. So we got a five-star quarterback class. He's a sleeper. We got to keep that in mind because we might have to draft a backup quarterback with Kellen Clemens potentially leaving. Don't know if I want to re-sign him. Not sure if it's worth it. Good offensive lineman class. That's good to know. Defensive tackle. That's not really what we need. Linebackers weak class. That's disappointing. Same thing with corners and safeties. Heading into the first game of the season, Andre Woodson is now 87 overall. His learning grade has actually improved to 86. Throw power is still 97. Throw accuracy and awareness have improved to 76. Darren McFadden is a 91. We're starting the rookie fullback Sean Holmberg, mainly because he was cheaper to keep on the team. Wide receiver depth chart is Coles at the top, Cotri at the two, Lester at the three, Stokely at the four, and Dorian Bryant at number five. Dona Gonzalez first game with us, and Mike Peterson is right behind him. Offensive line still looking good. We got the new Langston Walker at left guard, Nick Mangold at center. Rookie right guard, Sean Fogarty first game. Jordan Gross still great. Sean Ellis, and then the rookie Harry Juckett. Defensive tackle Ataba Ruben, though. At middle linebacker, we got David Harris and Brandon Seiler. Carlos Dansby at right outside linebacker corners. Darrell Rivas, Chris Gamble, J.R. Bender. Free safety, we're starting the rookie Sandrick Reigns, and behind him, Ruben Black will be backing him up. Gary Rhodes at strong safety, coming off a Pro Bowl season. Kicker Alexis Serna, and punter is Ben Graham. Game one against the Jaguars, we got him at home in a rainstorm. Let's have a good year this season, trying to make playoffs. I just wanted to say I'm more excited about this team than any team I've been with. Hey, that's sweet of you, assistant coach. Rookie fullback Sean Holberg is already tired, but at least he's not like Lorenzo Neal who would start the game with like 40 fatigue and like 20 health. I'm kind of glad he retired this past offseason. Oh, there goes Maurice Jones-Drew. Breaking tackles. Oh no, on the first play. We can't tackle this guy. I just wanted to say I'm more excited about this team than any other team I've been with. We're going to have one heck of a year. All right, guys, just stay calm. Well, you, you repeated the same line, but even more angrily. And then you just said, that everybody stay calm. I think you're losing it, man. So we did pretty well in the preseason. I uh, simulated it like in the game. So I was calling all of the plays. We called a bunch of unlearned plays. So now there's actually not many unlearned plays left. I love our tight end game. Tony Gonzalez on the right, Mike Peterson on the left. Is every coach going to tell me that? It's like the fifth one in a row. Should be open. We hit him on the first time and he drops it. Wow. All that money for Tony Gonzalez. I'm going to stay calm. But inside, I'm hurt. Okay, he, he liked it that I stayed calm. For defense, is even more exciting because we have zero unlearned plays. So whatever coach wants to call, it's already learned and has a good chance of working. Just based on play knowledge, at least. Hit David Garrard, please. Wow, they're getting big yardage and early. Throwing it over the middle. Defense looking soft. Get pressure to him. Everybody lock up. 1v1. Chris Gamble gets snagged on. He had three interceptions in the preseason, but here, giving up a touchdown in the first quarter. Go McFadden all day. Trucking him down. I love to see McFadden run. Just give us two. Look at the opening. That O-line doing work too. Oh, breaking tackles. Leon Washington. Good running. That should get open. Or guy in the flats. Overthrew him. Come on, Andre. Oh, look at the tight end. He's running the wrong play. Oh, he is. Tony Gonzalez doesn't know the play, but we still got a first down. We've been running the ball a lot, and I am not mad. Makes it easy as a play caller. Big guys up front can get it done, and that one's not doing well. Going backwards. Leon Washington is hurt, too. Hopefully, Tony Gonzalez can get open on the post. Or that short route. It's open. You didn't see him. Threw it over the middle, made the catch. That is Roscoe Lester, the rookie. Wait, Andre Woodson on the option play? Not intended. He should not be doing that. We got an injury. Leon Washington out one to two quarters. Stomach cramps. Is he PMSing? What's happening? Looks like he missed it. Alexis Serna, who was great last season, opening up this year with a miss. 
Can we get a stop? Got some pressure on him, hitting the quarterback, swarming him. And they're going to have to punt it back to us. Find him. Get that first. Oh, he's breaking tackles. McFadden and Stokely running the option. New guy on the team. McFadden's going down. Yet option plays looks like they're not going to work. We just lost five yards, so now it's third and long. Make it happen, Andre. And he tried to go for the first. I like the effort. Should have somebody open here. He threw it into all sorts of coverage, and he completes the pass. Kotri made it happen. Hell yeah. Man in motion. Why is he forcing it deep? Over the middle, the tight end. Oh, he's forcing it into double coverage. Oh, nearly intercepted in the end zone. Drills this kick. Get over there, Chris Gamble, come on. Maurice Jones drew out in the open. Sandrick Reigns, that's supposed to be your job. Just flailing out, he completely whiffed. He's trying to scramble out, that's not gonna work. 51, dragging him down. Nice tackle, David Harris. Yeah, that's it, baby. Nice play. We're sending, what, seven people? Has to throw it immediately, and that's going out of bounds. Got in his head. David Gerard can't handle the pressure. Now nah, he gets this one through 17 to 3. Still two minutes to go. We can get some points. Slants. He found the man. This should get Tony Gonzalez open again. Oh, unless we get sacked. What do you guys think? Do we stop shooting ourselves in the foot and start making some plays? Oh my, we made the catch. Fourth and three. I'm going for it. I don't care. Yeah, I was going to go for it anyway. Somebody's got to get open here. He got sacked. Oh no. That'll drop the approval. <laughs> Down to 82. We lost five approval because we failed. Oh, how did he get so wide open? Throwing it into coverage, nearly picked off. Come on, Gamble. Oh my gosh, he stiff-armed the life out of that man. Another touchdown for Maurice Jones-Drew. 24-3 going into the locker room. Andre Woodson, zero touchdowns, 124 passing yards, 10 of 18. Darren McFadden's been excellent, though. Got to get back to running the football. That's what we're doing very well. Kotri's production is always up. I don't understand, no matter what position he's in. Second half team. We've come back from huge deficits all the time. Oh, he fumbled it. Well, that was an awful call. Who's the DB covering? Doesn't matter who he's covering, because we got the ball right back. David Harris scoops it up. That D-line's doing a heck of a job containing Please tell me he wasn't down. Okay, obviously he was. That's going to be their ball. Bringing him down for the sack, though. Big play from Chris Gamble. Yeah, defense, all right. So now they're going to have to punt it back to us. That is a beautiful punt. Out at the six. Go, McFadden. Go, McFadden. I thought he was going to break loose there for a second. Play out. Hold the line. Get upfield. Let's go with a fullback run since it's so short. See if Sean Holmberg can do it. First down for Sean Holmberg. Look at that spin move. This man is carrying the team. Got a man in the corner. C route, threw it off the offensive lineman. We do that way too often in this game. Andre Woodson is 6'5", too. You feel like this wouldn't happen as often as it does. Go, Mike Peterson. Trucking him down. We're going with play action. And I don't think we fooled him at all. And another drop from Tony Gonzalez. Tony blocked the middle linebacker. Actually, who cares? McFadden can make it happen anyway. Down on the ground game, coach. Uh, 
to the corner. Kotrif always finding a way to get open. The most productive receiver on the team, and it's not even close. Whoa, it's all piled up. I could see that pre-snap, but you can't really do much pre-snap in this game. Like, I can't get down on the field and switch it up on him. And if the way you can, it's so slow. Tony Gonzalez, please shed that man. Get open and cross the middle. Over his head. Just a bad throw. Cross the middle. Or the C route. And we got a catch. Touchdown, Coles. Threw it off of his back foot, completing the pass. Maurice Jones-Drew is killing us every chance he gets. You gotta force a fumble or something. It hit you in the back. Come on, Kerry Rhodes. You're a damn pro bowler. The AI in this game, man. Sometimes it's just goofy. Sack him. Good wrap up there, buddy. Oh, he dropped it. Poor Maurice Jones Rue. I'll try it with a fullback this time. See if he can plug up the middle. Got that middle linebacker. Breaking the tackle. McFadden's breaking another one. First down. Ooh, throws the dangerous slants. Good blocking. Leon Washington in open field getting wrecked. He should drop it off left to Roscoe Lester with that speed. And he gets it out there. Roscoe Lester toasted him. That's a linebacker on him. Oh, again off of the offensive lineman's head. Andre, explain yourself. Why does this keep happening? Try and play action here. Two times in a row off the offensive lineman's head. Post route. Just dropping it off on third and ten. Why? See if Roscoe Lester can get open deep. He ran the wrong route. He was supposed to run the out, not the in. Yikes. We swatted that one down. Come on, pick that off. It's right in your face. That would have been a pick six. Need to stop here. He's running it left. Get out there, Kerry Rhodes. Chris Gamble diving on him. Just need a few inches here. Ducking under him. McFadden. Huge play. Tony Gonzalez running the incorrect route again. Oh, I, that was almost picked. There's a flag out. Leon Washington run north. Do not force it. Oh, guy coming back and he threw it at his feet. Tony Gonzalez is open. And so is Brandon Stokely. Typically, I would go fullback dive. Oh, he dove forward. Any other running back would have been plowed backwards. Cross the middle. I saw him too. Roscoe Lester. Again, off of the offensive. Like, I don't even know what to do about it. Because it's not even like we're just running short routes. Like, he's way downfield. Fourth and three. Don't let me down. We got robbed on that last one. Caught the pass. Kotri. Very reliable. Please, McFadden. Give us six. Good block from the fullback. And he's going north for the touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Seven point game. We still got three timeouts. Four minutes to go. Making good time. Wait a minute. They want me to kick the onside? We need to score some points as quickly as possible. No. I think it would be silly to do that. They did this in a previous game. I'm doing a regular kickoff. I don't care if everyone hates it. There's still four minutes left in the game. It's way too early to do an onside. All the way down to 75. I lost, what, like seven approval off of that alone. But we'll get it back if we win this game. Right, the linebacker blew his assignment. Oh no! Maurice Jones threw again. Catch up to him, Darrell Rivas, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind, maybe we, losing the approval was... On brand. They've given up 200 rushing yards to Maurice Jones Drew. Come on! What the heck is going on here? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? They like it when I yell at them. They're a bunch of failures right now. I swat it down at the line. I'm gonna lose it, man. Oh, what a catch. I don't know how you did that, Coles. Oh, he dropped it! 
No! Come on! You're killing me, guys. Absolutely killing me. They're hiking it fairly quickly for the situation they're in. They're in range. They're going to get a field goal. Boots it through. 17 point game in one minute. I don't think we're coming back. Why are we trying to calm down the crowd right now? What is that going to do for anybody? Nice grab, Roscoe. Nice angle route, and he's breaking the tackle. Got it to somebody. I'm just letting them call the plays at this point. Got a guy open deep. Can we get a touchdown for the memes? They're going to have to sprint to the line. I don't think they're going to get it off. One second ago, and Andre's just trotting down the field. All right, that's the end of the quarter. Not just the end of the quarter, that's the end of the game, mate. <laughs> 34-17 final score. Andre Woodson, 363 passing yards, one touchdown, 31 of 51. We were behind since the beginning. Their first possession, actually their first run of the game went for a touchdown. And ever since then, we were just trying to claw our way back. Darren McFadden was excellent. 19 attempts, 118 yards, one touchdown. Kotri, 10 catches, 118 yards receiving. Cole, 7, 87 and a touchdown. Roscoe Lester. Welcome to the team, buddy. Six catches, 88 yards. Tony Gonzalez was actually pretty disappointing. He only had three catches, and he had two drops. Two sacks on this game, Savage and Siler, guys who aren't even really big playmakers for us. We forced zero turnovers this game, and that's one of the reasons why we lost. Maurice Jones-Drew had 237 rushing yards. We gotta do better than that. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Holy crap, approval is now 57. Fans hate me, media hates me, the owner hates me, the players actually kind of like me. You lose one game. I guess just starting out the season with a loss is just disappointing across the board. But holy moly, we have got to find a way to get rid of Sean Ellis. This man is entirely too expensive for us. Can we beat the Titans in this super sim? They're on the six, the four, the one. They got a field goal. Let's try this. 10-yard play. We got the first. Just tossing it to Darren McFadden, and he's getting a ton of receiving yards. Two receptions, 41 yards, and a touchdown. Oh, they just returned that kick for a touchdown. Jesus. Let's try that play. Touchdown. Two touchdowns for Andre so far in this game. Doing much better in the simulation. They got a first down, first and goal. Oh, they went backwards, and they got the touchdown. Dookie. 56-yard field goal, no good. Worth a try, dude has 97 kick power. For whatever reason, They See Me Rolling is just an amazing play. As far as in the, oh, it finally got deflected. As I said that, I just jinxed it. 28 yards to Mike Peterson for a touchdown. Three touchdowns on this game for Andre Woodson. Okie dokie, will the defense stop him? They have not stopped him all game. Oh, they just stopped him right there. Intercept, bruh. They scored immediately. So they got the lead back, start of the fourth quarter. I gotta call this quick, there it is. That's a good play. It usually gets him. Good yardage. Touchdown to Tony Gonzalez. Four passing touchdowns, 300 passing yards, and one interception for Andre Woodson. Third and five, 47 seconds. Oh no. At the 23. They scored a touchdown with 14 seconds left. Let's go down on the field to witness this last play. Jump to game play. We still got all three timeouts. Could you imagine if we came back and won this? We need some crazy play. Or just an insane kick return. Nah, I was hoping for the best there. Make it happen, Andre. Win us the game. For my job's sake. Almost threw a pick. Five seconds left. For all the marbles. Good blocking so far. He's got a man deep. And he freaking dropped it. Not like it would have mattered anyway. Shut up, coach. You're so stupid. Yes, that's all she wrote. So we're 0-2 to start this season. I'm failing so many goals. I might get fired. Like, not even joking. Four touchdowns, 304 passing yards. Like, I felt like everybody was playing pretty well. Darren McFadden only 62 rushing yards. But he did have 97 receiving yards. Holy moly. He led the team in receiving yards. 12 tackles for Carlos Dansby. We have got to force some turnovers. That's where we're losing it. <laughs> oh no, my approval is 49. Fast start. Yeah, that was absolutely a failure. We've got a trade. For Langston Walker, okay. Ooh, a fourth round pick. They've made a better offer, a third round pick. I wonder if they'd go for a third this year. I'd take a third for him. 
That sounds good. We'll match that offer. Wow, we're going to get a third round pick for this guy we cited in free agency just a few weeks ago. That's worth it in my mind. Accept that offer real quick. Not to worry though, because we also signed Mario Floyd from free agency, who's 79 overall right now with 81 potential. He's a rookie. Like, he just came out of nowhere. So he's going to be able to jump into the starting lineup right away. And I'm not even going to feel bad about it. This is shaping up to be an epic draft class for us, just based on the amount of picks we have anyway. We got two third round picks, two second round picks. And I mean, we're hoping to get even more because I have a lot of people on the trade block. So I might think about getting even more players. 0-2 oh, on the season. We really got to figure out how to beat the Patriots. I'll start calling some defensive plays this time to see if we can beat them. Defensive holding, yes. Another 25-yard pass. We're on a roll. They see me rolling his money. Darren McFadden's getting all the catches, but I don't want him to get hurt. Try a boot play. Touchdown. There we go. Touchdown. Looks to have a back injury. Come on, Coles. Get it together. If anyone should have a back injury, it should be McFadden because he's carrying this whole team. He's throwing to McFadden quite a bit today, which is strange because he's not really known as being a good receiver, at least in this game. Andre Woodson has only one incompletion today. 26 yard. Darren McFadden's going to be a receiving god if we keep running this play. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. He keeps checking it down, and Darren McFadden's got like 10 plus catches today. Seven catches, 135 yards, and a touchdown. Lester for 31. Let's try this play. Tony Gonzalez. That's what I wanted. Try another toss play. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. He's averaging 2.1 yards per carry, but it doesn't matter with how many receiving yards he has. He's blowing it out the water. Who cares about rushing yards when you're killing it all on the other areas? Let's ask the coach. Just kick this field goal. 31-7. This might be a day we actually win a game against the Patriots, and it came at a desperate time for us, too. We got an interception. Ruben Black, the backup free safety. 25 yards. That's what happens when we go for it. Touchdown. And that's going to be the game. We whooped them 38 to 7. Andre Woodson was amazing today. 143.4 QB rating, three touchdowns, 366 passing yards, 24 of 32. Darren McFadden, he had 56 rushing yards, average of 2.8 per carry, but he got a touchdown. So did Diedrich Webb. And he just exploded in the receiving game. Nine catches, 147 yards, and a touchdown. I don't know why he just goes off. I, I guess Andre loves to check it down in the simulations. But he's racking up the yards. Calais Campbell, nine tackles, three TFLs for Sean Ellis. Two QB sacks for him. Finally got our first interception thanks to Ruben Black. Approval went up to 62. Nice to know people are starting to trust me again. Playing the Bucks in this one. Defensive holding. Decline that one for the touchdown. They scored a touchdown, so we got a tie game again. Touchdown, Brian Greasy. Interception, Chris Gamble. This man is a beast in the simulations, but not the actual game. Roscoe Lester for the touchdown. Oh my, 32 yards downfield. Touchdown already. 57 seconds left, no timeouts. Let's go watch this. Got Tony Gonzalez or Cotri down the middle. It's all in the offensive coordinator, because I just got to click out of it at this point. Got a guy down on the sidelines, and that's a good throw, but he's out of bounds. Good throw. Called it quickly. Got him open. Down the sidelines. He's going to go. Roscoe Lester into the end zone. First downs, and we're there. Plenty of time. But dude, you always have something incorrect and weird to say. Okay, we need a successful play here. We need to get this two-point conversion. It would come down to this two-point conversion. Cotteries should be open on the left. It's a zone play. Look for somebody in the back of the end zone, and he Have got it. Why is he warming up the kicker? We just tied this game with 19 seconds left, and you have nothing else to say? That's amazing. We forced this game to overtime, and you better believe I'm going to be playing this gameplay live. I think this is a fun way to do it. This is like a little treat for the people that stick around to the end of the video, you know? It'd be a shame if we ended up just losing this game anyway, after all that excitement. Come on, win this game. Get a turnover or something defense. That'd be huge. Ruben Black throwing him to the turf. I believe this! What are you talking about? It's third down. This is hype. Hit him. He threw it to the ground. Fourth down. See, he shanked it. This is awesome. We're going to get the ball near midfield. Oh, somebody block him, please. Oh, God. Don't need that at all in any scenario. Oh, such a dangerous pass. Sean Holmberg. Good running, son. You know, you might be my favorite fullback we've had so far. 
Good broken tackle, but he's going to end up losing yards. Oh, he threw a pick. Oh, no. That's going to be a pick six. Derek Brooks. Good tackle, Darren McFadden, saving the game. We still got a chance, but it's not looking good. I think they just got to kick a field goal at this point. Yeah, they're just going to kick the field goal. Got to ice him. It's not over yet. Yeah, it's about to be, though. <laughs> that's so frustrating, man. Got a touchdown with 19 seconds left in the game just for this to happen. Oh, we missed it! Let's go! The ice worked. I can't believe it. This is the most realistic gameplay of all time. Oh my god. Oh, the dude just ran away. He ran to the opposite side of Darren McFadden. He would have had a free shot at him. We're number 42 at running back. What a legend. Oh my god. He's so tiny and he got wrecked. But he got nine yards on that carry. Keep pounding the rock O-line. Hell yeah. Just don't fumble it. That's the only thing we're asking for. Oh, Diedrich Webb. Big time play. See, nice in the preseason, play. he got us a game-winning touchdown in overtime with like an 80-yard run. And he's looking pretty good right now, to be honest. Running game's looking good. That was a very weird angle, and I thought he was going to fumble it for a second. Should be a good angle for him to see it. Just over here on the left, and he's running the wrong route. Come on, Mike. You've been on this team for so long. You still got the pass, though. Throws it quickly, and Cotri's going to be sloppy. short. Real sloppy. Fourth and three at the 32. Do we trust? Ooh, they want to kick the field goal. You know what? Alexis Cerna, go out and win us this game. It's a very long kick. I'll see it from this angle first. Kick it from here. And it looks like it's going to be far left. Yikes. Ugh. I mean, he had the leg strength. He just whiffed it. This might end in a tie. Might be the first tie of my career. Unless the defense can make a huge play. Get some pressure on him. Calais Campbell was busting through, and he caught it out of bounds. Make a play on the ball. Oh, come on, Darrell Revis. Good tackle. They're looking to run it now, and he's getting a ton of space. Yeah, they oh, might win on, it now. Defense. Can't call a timeout or anything. You think he'll miss it twice? He did miss it twice! He doinked it! It's gonna be a tie here soon. There's two minutes left in the game, but we got it. The last chance to win it. I'm telling you, this is the most... Re this reminds me of a couple years ago when they tied, like, basically the same way in real life. I think it was a Cardinals game. I don't know who they were playing, but... There was so many missed field goals. It's just hilarious to see it happen again. Just get down the field. Good read. Okay, it's all in the offensive coordinator column plays now. Made this play on the spot. It's probably not good because it took me two seconds. What? Nothing changed. Oh, we got Tony Gonzalez out of bounds, though. We're so lucky he went out of bounds. Usually Andre throws it to the middle of the field. Nothing takes me off more than when they mess up my play. Oh, we got sacked. The worst possible thing to happen in a situation like this. Why would you call play action, coach? There you go. Just run the Hail Mary. Almost threw a pick, but the clock stops. I'm calling Audi again just for the freaking hoping. Oh, he threw another pick. Come on, man. <laughs> that's the roast of the year right there. Two interceptions in overtime. It's That's marvelous. That's something. Now we need the defense to try and get an interception or something or force a fumble. The running back looks tired. Somebody give a big hit on him. Oh, no, no, no. Please tackle him. He's breaking it. They're in field goal range again. I love it for them to try another field goal and miss it again. They're about to spike it right here. Oh, he fake spiked. And he's getting sacked. That's going to push him back even more. But they centered it, so it might be good for them. Will they fake spike it again? Okay, he actually spikes this one. What a wild turn of events. That's good news, I suppose. They're going to be running it. What? It's on the right hash, which the kicker has missed twice at this spot. I think this is the closest one yet, but 
If this dude misses a third time, I'm gonna flip out. Okay, he makes this one. But let's be real, would you rather lose or tie? I know tying technically is better, but I'd rather lose. Especially after throwing two picks in overtime, we deserve to lose. Three interception game for Andre Woodson. 53 pass attempts, man. Darren McFadden, 27 attempts, 103 yards. Kotri, nine catches, 100 yards, but he went out with an injury. Lester, two touchdowns in this game, including one in the fourth quarter with 19 seconds left to send us to overtime, which we, you all saw that and how embarrassing that was. So far through four games, here's our season stats. Andre Woodson, 93 QB rating, 11 passing touchdowns, four picks, 56% completion percentage. On the ground, Darren McFadden has 83 attempts for 339 yards and two touchdowns, average of four yards per carry. Kotri still leading us in receiving yards, 354, one touchdown. Roscoe Lester right behind him, 15 catches, 263 yards, two touchdowns. McColls has the most touchdowns with four. Most of those coming in the super sim. Sean Ellis is actually leading us in QB sacks with four. Ruben Black and Chris Gamble are the only ones with interceptions and we have not recovered a fumble yet. Alexis Cernus kind of stinking it up this year. Two field goals out of six attempts. And he missed the freaking game winner in overtime last week, even though it was a long field goal. Still need him to make those. Finally, we have enough points for our general manager to unlock Major School Insider, which unlocks additional scouting information about players from major schools during the scouting process. Gonna be very valuable in the draft classes. Especially because we have, what, four picks in the first three rounds? We got all the prerequisites for discipline, routine, speed training, and strength training. When I have more points later on in the season, I'll put that either into the game plan analysis or discipline routine so we can get closer to Innovator, which is what I really want. I think I might want to create a new play as well. I haven't done it in a while. Need a new play of the day. I think this is called a drive concept, or maybe it's levels, I can't remember. But yeah, it's just high-low reads, I guess, trying to target the tight end in this position. Oh, he actually threw it down the middle. That'll work for me. And we got guys going on the outside. I think this is a simple play for Andre Woodson. I'm going to keep it. We're going to call this one Drunk Driver. Taking on the Patriots here in game one. That's been too long for me. It's been like two weeks since I've recorded this series. I miss it. We're coming straight at you today, Tom Brady. Sending a blitz on the very first play. They're running it. We're in the backfield. We missed two tackles. Make that three. And there goes their running back. On the first play, that's a shame. We just can't wrap up. That's really bad. That's horrible. Maybe I should have known better and called a different play, but they were in the right position to make the play. They just couldn't get it done. I'm gonna stick with overhead on offense for most of the time. See if Darren McFadden can bust loose. Just two yards. At least he's always falling forward for an extra couple. Oh, he wants game breaker? I haven't called game breaker in a while. Oh my gosh! That wasn't good. No, it was not. Let's go work with our quarterback. We could run Dink. I, yeah, we got to run a master play. Andre Woodson, make it happen, bub. Got that out route, and he's throwing it to a guy who is covered, but he still managed to catch it. You make me nervous, Andre. You really do. Big old beefy Sean Holmberg ready to plug up the holes here. Still, the offensive line not doing its job out here. This makes me nervous, though. This play works really well in the simulated games, but Andre Woodson has thrown an absurd amount of interceptions on this play in the actual game. And that looks out of bounds. It was. Let's go with Yeet. Guy open on the left. He didn't see him, but guy open on the right. That's Tony Gonzalez. First down. I and mean, they're stacking the box right there. But Darren McFadden's just way too good. And he fumbled it. We got it. No, we lost That's it. Hard. Get him next time. Big time mismatch out here. This is not going to end well. He's wide open. He's going to be gone. I went with the offensive coordinator calling on that one. I should have called a timeout because it was looking bad from the line. 14-0. Right, we got to stop calling like goal line blitzes out in the middle of the field. That's not going to work at ever. The way this season has gone, it's looking like we're going to have a way better draft pick than we ever expected. And that's the only positive thing I can really say so far. That was a great return, though. Near midfield. I'm going to try this camera angle. Throws it. Whoa, wildly over him. That's an interception. That was really bad. And I do not like that camera angle either. That was kind of jarring. Well, this has just been a nightmare from the start. The difficulty feels like it just spiked out of nowhere. That's coming back. Personal foul. Face back. Defense. 
Face mask on top of that. So, wow, they're about to score again. It's going to be 21-0 in the first quarter. This game is a lot sometimes. Oh, can we not tackle this guy? That wasn't good. No, that was not good. I've, I'm about to just make you run laps at practice, all of you. We're going to try it from the defensive angle. This is kind of weird. The field goal posts are just blocking our view. And now we're just looking in the stands, but they got the touchdown. Another doo-doo angle in this game. I'm like trying to smile through the pain, but all I have is pain right now. Yeah, we can put in Sandrick Reigns. He's got 90 catching. I want to try this out. Um, Let's put him ahead of Dorian Bryant. We got a holding anyways. See, this play is completely worthless. Yeah, fourth receiver, Sandrick Reigns, free safety rookie see if that can work out for us in this game you got sandrick reigns out there on the right please just find the open man we're just running yeet got a guy in the middle and we freaking drop it nope get that out of here check down is just like we already know we lost this game so let's just send it full send baby he's testing him and we make the catch there you go check down Negative three for getting hype after that play. I hate it here. <laughs> Nobody likes me. Find the open man, Andre. We need another first. You know what? I'm going to go for it on fourth down if we don't get it. We got guys wide open. There you go. Give me the block, Tony Gonzalez. Nice job. This one's for Diedrich Webb up the middle. Good blocking. There you go, Diedrich Webb. We got the That's fire now. Supposed to be run right there. I've got no clue what the end's doing right now. Oh my goodness. That was a disaster. Play action time on third down. And we can't even get past the handoff. End of the quarter, 21 nothing. I'm in pain. Nobody likes me when I get hyped for them either. I'm just sad. We've had some pretty epic comebacks in this series though. I don't know what it is, but later in the game it just turns on. They want me to punt it? What do I look like? Gotta find this tight end across the middle. Tight end's running the wrong route. We got a guy open, though. Tony Gonzalez not going to get the first down. If you would just run the correct route, Tony. We paid you all this money, and you're just, you can't even run the right plays. I know you're just your first year on the team, but it's pretty disappointing. A Hall of Famer can't learn how to run a freaking post route. Annihilate him. That D line's doing a heck of a job containing him. Are they? Do you see the scoreboard? We're going to try some cover two right here. We're not really built for it, mainly built for like man and blitzes. But that worked. We're all over it. And we almost got the pick. Yeah, yeah we're like going to stick with cover three. Like Main defense is not going to work against Tom Brady in these routes. But they're probably going to get a field goal here. Yeah, they do. But at least we stopped them from getting another touchdown. I guess small victory. 24 to nothing versus 28 to nothing. Good broken tackle. I mean, McFadden's doing his best. It's the old line needs to do something. No picks, Andre Woodson. You're a pick machine. That one, again, he's just sailing it over. Well, you got McFadden across the middle. Or actually, he underthrew that. Why'd he back up a mile to try to throw it? The only agenda play that we had that looked good for right now is this. But, I mean, I didn't want it to be play action. But as long as he gets a completion. And he dropped it. No. Ugh. Oh. Part of me just wants to send the rest of this game. It feels hopeless. They're in this formation again. I'm thinking cover three. We got to get at least one interception from this. All right, just hit the dude in the face. I'll take that. Oh, we tried to make a play on it and still got snagged on. Freaking Randy Moss. Hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Get us a pick six or something. Get us back into this game. The corner. He's going out of bounds. Yeah, defense, all right. I mean, we still have like a full half of football left to go, so I'm not going to jump into simulation stuff yet. I think we can come back if we just like start going crazy. We need Darren McFadden to rip off like an 80 yarder right now. Another pick from Andre Somebody Woodson. Find out why the heck we're throwing like high school kids. It makes me consider, is it time to move on from Andre Woodson? He's still developing a little bit, but he's just looking very slow. Like He's just overthrowing go, people like crazy, making bad decisions. I'm getting impatient with him. He got beat by Randy Moss. Touchdown. Let's try Drunk Driver for the first time today. It's completely unlearned, though, so I don't expect a lot of success. Or just a first down. 
First attempt works for me. Can we block? Oh, wait, McFadden's breaking it for a huge gain. Got him open down the middle. There you go. Go, Roscoe Lester. We got a touchdown. I don't think we're going to win this game, but that was pretty. So we go into the locker rooms, 34 to 7. Just getting spanked right now. They already have 366 yards of total offense. Andre Woodson already two picks on the game. Darren McFadden, I mean, he's doing okay. He's got a fumble. He just can't get any breathing room. Two drops from Cotri, which is usually the most consistent player on our team. Roscoe Lester, one catch for a touchdown. Proud of him. Just need positive yards. Looking good. Blocks are there. We're a second half team, no doubt in my mind, because that's one of our best runs of the day so far, and it just happens to be the first play of the second half. This is unlearned. Uh, uh, this is not going to go well. I should have called it, call it a learn and play. Go, McFadden. Use your speed. Keep running, buddy. Unlearned play actually worked out. I don't like this at all. Yep. I don't even know what Tony Gonzalez is doing, but thankfully, Roscoe Lester's getting open. Yeah, they really earned this one. <laughs> I don't know if that was sarcasm or what, but that was pretty funny to me. They're coming at you. It's open on the left. Overthrew it by a mile again. That's the classic Andre Woodson. In the middle. Whoa, he's throwing in a triple coverage. What the heck? Everyone in the building could see it up front was open. Got the free safety out here running routes. We're so thin. Oh, he caught it. That was Coles. Nice Dietrich Webb, punch it in, lad. And he got it. Touchdown, Jets. We got a touchdown. What do you mean shoot ourselves in the foot? Just walks it in. Time for an overhaul. We need to strip the roster and start from the beginning. Open on the right. You found him and it's swatted down. Oh, it's picked off. Oh my. What a play. How do you even. That guy baited everybody. And he's sliding in. That was God tier. That was superhuman ability. Not only was he covering somebody else, he just teleported over there, swatted it down to himself, picked it off, and then got the pick six, slid into the end zone, trolling everybody. I I don't even know what to say. Putting in Kellen Clemens. I can't deal with three interceptions from Woodson again. He doesn't know what's going on right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Open in the middle. There you go. Sandrick Reigns, free right. safety out here making catches. Reigns is pretty awful at running routes, but he's got some good hands. <laughs> we just, we can't catch it, man. I think it's time to simulate the rest of this game because this one is all but lost. Touchdown, Kellen Clemens. Proud of you, mate. Yay, Kellen Clemens got two touchdowns today. Final score, 48-28. I'm kind of glad I simulated there at the end because it was just pain. Look at that scoreline from New England up in the first three quarters. We've got to figure out our defense. We need so many, we need so much help there. It's ridiculous. Kellen Clemens came in there in the fourth quarter. Two touchdowns, 141 yards. Andre Woodson, another three interception game. He's been kind of a disappointment this year. Darren McFadden, one yard away from 100 rushing yards. Diedrich Webb got the only rushing touchdown for us. Roscoe Lester getting two receiving touchdowns. Darren McFadden has one. And Coles had 121 receiving yards in this game. Calais Campbell forced a fumble there in the fourth quarter and recovered it himself. 458 yards of total offense for them. We can't have that if we want to win games. Approval going down at 57. It's been a rough year so far. One in four right now. We told the owner we were going to make playoffs, and if we want to do that, we got to turn it around really quick. We're going to scout the medium school outside linebackers because we already unlocked the perk that unlocks basically everything for the first rounders. My owner wants me to re-sign Coles, but he's going to be very expensive. He's 29, aging, getting kind of tired all the time, and he wants an absurd amount of money. I don't think I'm willing to pay this. Sorry, owner. I'm going to have to move on from this one. 25 million for five years with a $4 million signing bonus. That's just more than we can pay right now. We can't afford him. Dude, Sean Ellis, he's got one of the most insane contracts on our team in terms of how expensive he is, and he's been injured basically the entire time I've had this series trainer says keep him out but part of me i mean this sounds very bad but like i just want him to like almost like just get injured and quit the team or retire or something so we don't have to deal with his contract anymore because i can't just cut him 
because the contract's too expensive. We'll literally just like be in cap space hell forever. Or we'll keep him out. I'm not going to do anything that rational right now. Yeah, we're going to jump to Super Sim in this one. Hopefully the defense can hold him out. Interception by Darrell Revis right there. There we go. <laughs> one pass from Andre Woodson to Demario Waddle. It's picked off. <sighs> Andre Woodson, man. What is wrong with you? It's just been a doo-doo season. Like, I'm getting to the point where I might bench him. Like, he's clearly got the better arm, but he's just not playing well at all. Fadden's running the ball down their throats. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Okay, we're on the board. We might win this game. Another interception by Darrell Revis. Things you love to see right there. Let's go with some mastered plays. Touchdown. So they got a field goal. Halftime now. We get the ball first. Just punch this one in. Touchdown, Diedrich Webb. Holding on to our 10-point lead. They're driving down pretty quickly. Can we get a pick in the end zone? Touchdown. Okay. It's going to be a close one. This might be a game where we jump into it into the fourth quarter. Interception by our defense. That's the third one of the game. Matt Ryan just tossing it up for us. They see me rolling his money in these simulations. I love it. Diedrich Webb going way downfield. Again, it's just so OP in the simulation. I'm glad we have it. Another touchdown, four for Andre Woodson. So he started out pretty rough, but he's on fire right now. I think he just does better in the simulations does he, than he does in the actual game. <laughs> Another interception. That's three interceptions on the game for Darrell Revis. Have yourself a day, son. Oh, interception for Andre Woodson, second of the game. And that'll do it. 34-16 final score. Andre Woodson, four touchdowns, two interceptions, 258 passing yards. Darren McFadden, 23 attempts, 122 rushing yards. Diedrich Webb, 13 carries, 26 yards, and a touchdown. Roscoe Lester, five catches, 79 yards, and a touchdown in this one. Coles had six for 60 and a touchdown. McFadden had two for 44 and a touchdown. And Gonzalez had a touchdown as well. The break of Shaw Ferguson, Nick Mangold, both had three pancakes. Sean Fogarty, the rookie, had two. Three TFLs for Dansby, two sacks. Three interceptions for Darrell Revis. That's got to be the highlight of the day. Chris Gamble had one. Andre Woodson got Offensive Player of the Week, even though he threw two picks. Good for you, mate. Atsuba Rubin's approval is so low of me. I wonder if he'll, like, try to not play for us. I, I, it might turn into a situation where we have to end up trading him or something. Same thing with Nick Mangold. He hates it here. What the heck? After we just re-signed him. Second Super Sim game of the episode. This one we're taking on the Bills. Wow, false start. You gotta punt that one away. They got a field goal. Let's go with our creative plays. Let's try a drunk driver. Sacked. Okay, punt that away. Touchdown, Marshawn Lynch. Nice grill there, too. 10 nothing against the Bills. I don't want to lose this game. Let's kick it into gear. Interception. Another <laughs> interception. When's the last time we had a game where Andre Woodson did not throw an interception? Down by three scores. Go by success. Another interception. Andre Woodson, get it together, mate. Multi-interception games like every single one. 24 to nothing. Jesus. Everyone in our division just clowns on us. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Somebody wants to do something, right? Interception, Trent Edwards to Mario Minter. 26-yard pass, Roscoe Lester. Ooh, another one to Roscoe Lester. I feel it now. Touchdown. Okay, Andre Woodson, you always start out slow. We just got to expect it, I guess. You know what I'm calling. They see me rolling. Give it to me. Yes. The Sim Cheese. Hot potato it for five yards. Wow, they're storming down the field. 31-14, 17-point game about to be into the fourth quarter here. Okay, Roscoe Lester is heating up in this series. I tell you what, man, he's been good. An three interceptions for Andre Woodson. We were in the red zone driving down. And that's going to be ball game. 17-point loss to the Bills. Got shut out in the second half. Three interceptions for Andre Woodson. 17 attempts for Darren McFadden. 63 yards, one touchdown. He had a fumble as well. Roscoe Lester, four catches, 74 yards, and the and one touchdown. Tough scenes, man. Like, we're just having a really bad year. Packed down to 57. We're just bouncing back and forth. We got the Dolphins next game. If we don't beat the Dolphins, we are just screwed. It's going to be time to rebuild mode, basically. <laughs> My approval actually went up from denying the contract to Coles. All right. If we can't beat the Dolphins, then I'm deleting my channel. I just want Darren McFadden to go for like 200 yards this game. That would be awesome. Another <laughs> interception. I don't know why I get so surprised by it. It's just, I got to check at the end of this game how many he has on the season. It's got to be close to 20. It's just an absurd number. <laughs> Another interception. Hoorah. Two on the game already. It's in the first quarter, buddy. Oh, we got a pick in the end zone. Proud of you, Darrell Revis. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. 16 attempts here in the first half, which is a ton. Oh, John Beck drove down and scored. 
Andre Woodson just takes a long time to get going, so maybe we should only run the ball for like the first two quarters, it seems like. Does that say Brandon Stokely ran it? What is up with our depth chart here, mate? I just kicked that field goal. There you go, Alexis Cerna. 10 to 7. I did not want to shoot out here with freaking Miami. <sighs> Was that three interceptions on the game? Andre Woodson, you did it again, mate. Uh, it's really making me think, is it time to move on from him? Or do we just keep on waiting him to develop even more? Because it's just been, this has been the worst season. This is worse than his rookie year as we go down 14-10. There we go, Chris Gamble, getting us a pick right there. Okay, I say we jump into this. Four minutes to go in the game, 14-10. to Come back and win this game. I kind of like jumping in to the fourth quarter a lot. Go McFadden. Shed those tackles. Third down, we need a touchdown. They see me roll in time. Cross the middle. Oh, McFadden, look at the moves. Drop it short. You had the check down, but that works too, I guess. Go forward. There you go, McFadden. Oh my goodness, went for the ankles, but we got a first down. Dink inside the five. Wide open, boom. Good swat on the line. Big beefy 62. Again at the line we swatted down. David Harris doing well down there. Could this be it? Get the stop. He's got all day to throw. Dropping it short. We knock it out. Fourth down. Just outside range now. I believe, boys, this will make us three and five if you get this stop right here. Throwing it across the middle. Oh, nearly picked. That's going to be our football. Time to burn their timeouts. Leon Washington, go, go, go. That's coming back. It's coming back. No. We got a holding penalty or something. Holding. Just a couple more first downs and we're there. Plenty of time. Can he do it again? Oh my. That's about what we expected. It's on target, and he got it. Nice kick. So that makes it a six-point game with one minute left. Just got to keep him out of the end zone. Oh, okay. They're going pretty slowly. They don't need a field goal, though. They need a touchdown. They got to go half the length of the field. I don't think they're in range now, unless you're talking about a Hail Mary. Swatted down. Two seconds. Last play of the game. Miami is the weakest link, especially in our division. <laughs> if they weren't in our division, we'd probably be much worse. Oh man, what a cannon. Oh my, that was in the air for so long, I thought he was going to catch it. Ending off this episode right with a W. Andre Woodson, once again, multiple interceptions, one touchdown, 46 QB rating. He's gone the opposite direction that we want him to in terms of his development. Darren McFadden, though, has still been excellent. 25 attempts, 93 yards, one touchdown. Tony Gonzalez, yeah, he's been solid, I guess. Not really anything majorly noticeable about him. Six catches, 55 yards. Kotri got a touchdown today, the only one. Approval to 66, plus 25 for the fans. Want you to crush the Dolphins in week nine. Well, we didn't crush them, but we got the win. Andre Bender. NFL comparison of Andre Johnson, plus three on speed, jumping, and explosiveness. Have to keep an eye on him. Some good quarterbacks at the top end of this draft. That'd be something we'd have to consider if we wanted to switch out Andre Woodson. I'm not completely done with him. It's just I'm more frustrated than anything. Jamal Binger, Marvin Harrison comparison. So there's some good wide receivers, at least based on their comparisons. Darius Dargan, zone coverage, speed, play recognition. I might be looking into a linebacker who can do something like that in this draft. Strength learning, run block, Nick Mangold comparison. Wow. Double up on Nick Mangold's. That'd be good for our program. The Frank Tarkenton comparison. Potential arm and accuracy for John Scotland. That sounds like a guy who's going to go first overall. Vince Young comparison. I'd love to have that. That'd be fun. Drew Brees comparison. Jared Lorenzen. Two Jared Lorenzens. Three Jared Lorenzens. Is this just the common one? That must just be because we haven't scouted him very much, but that's funny. Through 10 weeks, Andre Woodson has 15 interceptions. It's just so many. Kellen Clemens, the times he's coming, he's actually been pretty good. 129.7 QB rating. I really haven't had many complaints for him. It's just that he doesn't have the potential that Andre Woodson does, which Andre Woodson is still technically developing. As we can see, he was 87 when we started this episode. His throw accuracy is now 78. That's gone up pretty quickly. Awareness 79. 
It's just I'm not seeing it translate onto the field because he's just throwing picks all over the place. His throw accuracy can max out at 94. Awareness can max at 91, so he still has tons of room to develop. He just got to get it together. His rookie season, he finished 24 touchdowns, 25 picks. He's just an interception machine. He reminds me a lot of like Jameis Winston or something. Darren McFadden, only four touchdowns on the year through 10 games. We got to get him more touches in the red zone. Roscoe Lester has been a great pickup for us, leading the team in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. Four interceptions for Darrell Revis, three of them coming in one game. Clays Campbell, only fumble recovery today. No touchdowns this year for the team. Bottom half of the division for us. Bills are at 5-4, and four, Patriots at 7-1. and one. Patriots are like number one in the entire league right now, so they're probably going to win the division. Let's see, what's the whole AFC looking like? Do we even have a chance out here? Six and two, five and threes. I mean, we're not out of it completely. We just got to stop losing. <laughs> it was a really bad start to the season, but it's not over yet. It's only week nine. So right now in the season, we are three and five, third in our division. Patriots are number one in the entire NFL at seven and one. So they're probably going to win the division. It's only week nine in the season, so we still have eight weeks left to go. We could still make playoffs, we just have to win a ton of games in a row. Oh my gosh, my approval rating with the staff is at 50. The media approval rating is at 42. Thankfully, the most important one, the owner, is at 91. One of our season goals this year is beat the Chiefs on Monday night in week 10, and that's the one we're going to be starting this episode on. God, Coles keeps wanting to re-sign, but we're just not able to afford him. We can definitely find a better wide receiver in another area for way less money. New York's staff has made a concerted effort this season to simplify the terminology. The response has been overwhelmingly positive, resulting in a breakthrough for each player's learning ability. Whoa. Oh All of your players' learning ratings have increased. That is an epic game changer. This looks ugly on paper. Like, it looks like it would not get anybody open, but I've tried this out a couple of times, and it's gotten a touchdown, like, half of the time which is in a crazy high rate, but we're going to see if Andre Woodson can do it in game. He does pretty well at the deep ball passes. Dude, Sean Ellis is still out. Trainer says let him play. We're going to let him play. Because Sean Ellis has one of the most expensive contracts on our team. He's only 78 overall. It's going to be tough to try and trade him because nobody really wants him. I don't even think I can release him either because his contract is too massive. Too far into the season to trade him anyway. So we're stuck with Sean Ellis and his contract for the rest of the year. Andre Woodson up to an 88 overall. What's his throw accuracy like right now? 78, 79 awareness? Really need to see the improvement on the field, man. He's been a disappointment these past few episodes. Diedrich Webb to the second running back position. He's impressed me. Clint Oldenburg, 65 overall. No way, buddy. Mike Peterson, I'll resign him. I like Mike Peterson. And he's asking for like no money at all. Nope. How about this offer? Fine. What, do you want an extra 50k? Let's do that. Yeah, no signing bonus. Here we go. First game of the episode versus the Chiefs. We got to win this one to get the approval bonus. It's our Monday night game. Haven't looked good this season. Three and five. We need this one. Let's go with the classic gold pants. Wear some nice uniforms. Playing at home under the lights Monday night. Let's get this dub. We're going to do the opposite of what we did. The start of last episode where we just sent a blitz and they scored in one play on us. All right, she's actually going to pass it. Throws it down the middle, and they get a couple, but it's not a touchdown, so that's a victory in my book. You're going to throw it. Got a little bit of pressure on him. He catches it through nasty contact. Dwayne Bow. Nice grab. Oh, yes, we're getting in the backfield. Bringing him down for a sack. Is that Kurt Warner at quarterback? Wow, he looks tired. Getting the close-up camera on him. He's back there for days. Did he drop it? Yes! Third and 16. That sack is going to be huge for us. No pause. Oh, in his face. Throwing him to the dirt. That's going to be fourth down. Simple run up the gut just to start this game. Got to get in a rhythm. And McFadden's going to be the one to do that. Look at that blocking. Already a first down. I'm feeling good about this one. Good block on the outside. So far, he's breaking tackles. He fumbled it, but he's on the ground. We scoop it back up. It's all good. McFadden already getting a little tired. Let's get Diedrich Webb a carry. Good block. Dude, the O-line showed up today. Good job, baby. Coming from this high camera angle so we can see it play out. Give him time to field. throw across the middle. Boom! Catching it through the nasty hit. Oh, that sucks. Ooh, unlearned play? I don't know. Got to learn it eventually, right? 
This could be bad, or it could be okay. Not too many yards. He looked good on his first throw, but it didn't count. Okay, he's over the middle. Oh, what was that pass? He's trying to throw picks. Come on, dude. Call him for a fair catch of the 17. <laughs> Pinned him inside the 20. Yeehaw. Nice, nice, very nice. And <laughs> negative two. He I hate it when you get hype for players and they just get pissy about it. Do you not want me to say anything? Do you want me to just shut my trap and just get on with coaching? Do I smell that bad? Like, what's wrong with me? Sin in the blitz. Didn't work out. Ooh, lower in the shoulder. Terry Rhodes playing dirty. That's gotta be oh, he's in double coverage and he still makes a catch. What? Pass interference on us? Oh, we got to pick Kerry Rhodes. He could be gone. Nobody's going to catch him. Larry Johnson's not even fast enough. That's going to get us on the board. You better believe I'm getting hyped for that. He loves it. Gets a pick six. Of course he's going to be happy if I'm happy. Get back there. Sack Kurt Warner again. He's got to be out of bounds. Yep. Do it, baby. Do it. Should have some room here to run. Oh my, I don't even know how he avoids these tackles. I'll try a broadcast angle for one. Oh, and there goes McFadden up the middle. Shrugging off the safety. That's the way we gotta do it. No, just keep giving him room to run and we will capitalize. Oh, they're catching on to the run. Oh, we got him in the middle. There you go. Brandon Stokely down the right, field. That's some heads up, coaching. Got him across the middle again. Dude, Andre's starting to pick it up. I'm, gonna say that's not what we wanted. I, I'm happy with that. He didn't throw an interception, which has been a huge problem for him this season. And I'm going to take the three here. And he sinks it. So we got a 10-point lead here in the first half. Oh, what a hit. Yes! Whenever I do a coach adjustment, it always goes to this camera angle specifically until it snaps, which I don't like. See, look, this is all over the place. I can't even tell what's happening, but apparently he's out of bounds, so it's all good. I think I like this new style of giving way more carries to my running backs instead of forcing the passes. Diedrich Webb, good running there. We might have a little fullback dive here on third down. All he's got to do is get one yard. Sean Holmberg. And he's got it and plenty more. You know what, Sean Holmberg? I like you, kid. Oh, he threw a pick. The one time we throw that a pass. He's open in the middle. Oh, wait, can we get there? Tried to swat it, but that was a snag on, and a dot. Up. In his face. Throws it out. Oh, man, breaks the tackle. They're going to get the first down. Back up. Nobody talk to me. Nobody get near me. Stand strong, boys. He got it for the touchdown. Oh, come on, Keith. Got to get emotional. Everybody liked it except for Ataba Rubin. Might look to move him just because he's so anal about stuff. I feel like he's not going to like me. Working with the QB. It's the agenda one. It should be boosted for Andre Woodson to make the throw. And he gets it there. There we go. Two minute warning. Send it. Oh, that was a dime. Moving the ball pretty well. Diedrich Webb. Bad angle. You should have just turned up field. I need him running smart. Oh, we can't even hand the ball off. That was a bullet. This is what we needed from Andre. Call a timeout. No, nah, we don't need to call a timeout just yet. Now we call the timeout. Coach, what are you thinking? Call a timeout. <laughs> don't yell at me. I'm sensitive. Get us some points, Andre. He doesn't know what's going on right now. Oh, that was really bad. Just look to the right, find somebody open. You got McFadden for days, and he threw another pick. I've seen Pee Wee Leagues pass better than this. Another game with multiple interceptions. We can't win with this. Like, it's it's almost like I got to reduce his role to the max. I, I almost want to start Kellen Clemens. We might do that next game. Dude, Kurt Warner looks like he's got a broken hip or something. <laughs> Good coverage. Nice swat. That's the rookie, Sandrick Reigns. Zero touchdowns, two interceptions, 110 passing yards, 6 of 12. 
Andre Woodson, what happened, man? I thought you were going to be the GOAT. Darren McFadden's been excellent. Seven attempts, 52 yards. We got to give him way more carries in the next half. But we've been splitting it with him and Diedrich Webb. Diedrich Webb not nearly as successful, but he's been okay. Stokely is surprisingly leading us in receiving yards right now. And of course, we got that pick six with Kerry Rhodes. Keep pouring it on, defense. That was a great return from Chris Gamble. You know what I think I might do with like my last pick this year is get a kick returner. I haven't really focused on it, but Chris Gamble's been okay. Negative one because I got a hype. I hate it here, man. <laughs> it's too difficult to remember everybody's personalities. Ain't got time for that. Daedric Webb dying. Yeah, I'm bringing in Kellen Clemens. I need more consistency. Hit him with a game breaker. Darren McFadden will win us this game. Does he have anybody? He took his time. I mean, I don't hate that pass. This is our game to lose. Don't let the passing game do us in. Passing game has already done us in, though. We already have two picks. Pin him inside the 20 again. Good job punting. Well, we're disrupting him a lot, but we still can't tackle him. Good Lord. This is an embarrassment. Defense has kept us in this game. Fight through it. Please get to him. Oh, almost picked off by Kerry Rhodes again. I haven't scored since like this first quarter. Oh, and Darren McFadden fumbles. We should have known better than to call that. I mean, the call was fine. He just got his knee absolutely obliterated. I want to see if we can get a pick on this third down play. We're sending a ton of pressure. And we're smacking him to the ground and he fumbles it. That's Carlos Dansby. I'm a little bit nervous to throw it, but we fumbled twice today and thrown two picks. Did we catch that? That's wow. It, baby. Now we're cooking. Oh, good broken tackle and block on the edge. Darren McFadden has the speed. Can he keep going? Look at that block up the front. That's why we play Nick Mangold, the big bucks. Oh, look at that block on the outside. The wide receiver's getting it. You gotta be kidding me, right? The O-line doesn't like it when I get hyped for 100 rushing yards. They all hate it. That makes zero sense. Why did you juke into the pile? You had the end zone. We're just running the ball all the way down the field. Who even needs a quarterback? Oh, nice block. And he made a miss. Diedrich Webb could be gone. Touchdown, Jets. Just ran the ball all the way down. That's getting a hail yeah from me. Wow, did you guys see that? He didn't like it. What? These mechanics are so strange. Jar the ball loose, please. Our agenda plays. It says stop the running back by forcing fumbles, and he's just breaking the tackles. Sounds like our agenda is worthless. Kurt Warner still grabbing his hip like a grandma. They're just nickel and diming us. Yeah, I'm going away from these agenda plays. Ah, he got him. Hey, he's going to get the touchdown. It's only a one-score game. This has been a grind of a game. We've been in the lead the entire time, but it feels like we're playing from behind. Darren McFadden's actually taking this one out. This could be interesting. So that's going to move us up to the 47. Let me see if I can chew up the entirety of these seven minutes. Get out there, Sean Holmberg. Lead block. There you go. Keeping it inbounds, too. Over 100 rushing yards. Hopefully he likes it when I get hyped. Incredible. He doesn't like I, Man... You need, like, a spreadsheet to remember what they they like and dislike. Okay, I was calm this time. The O-line likes it when I'm calm when we get rushing stats, apparently. And should, there goes Diedrich Webb again. Run the dang ball, the subscribers say, and they are correct. Take your time, don't snap it immediately, or snap it immediately. Oh, but you got a guy past him, maybe that's what he was thinking. First and goal. Oh, I didn't mean to call that immediately. This is not going to burn as much time as I wanted to. Forget you have to wait in the menu screen. Darren McFadden? Okay, we're not going to score. That's fine. Yeah, now we're going to wait. Get it down to like three minutes. You got two seconds. Snap the ball. Oh. That's the opposite effect we wanted. We snap it too early on the other one. We snap it too late on this one. I don't know what happened to Kellen Clemens, but I think he's hurt. He's out of the game. Go, go, go. We got the blocks. We got the touchdown. I'm telling you, the running game is what's won us this game. Without a doubt. Head injury for Kellen Clemens. Out for game. X-rays pending. Tough scenes, man. Tough scenes. So that means we have to ride with Andre Woodson. 
Oh, what a hit! Looks like a blitz, but it's cover two zone. Don't you worry. And we're sacking him. It all worked out. Ah, who asked you anyway? <laughs> I'm the head coach. You're supposed to ask me. And they're just gonna give up and punt this ball? What? What kind of NFL team is that? I like how we've been sitting on this camera angle the whole game just because the running game has been money. Like the wide receivers actually have been excellent. Okay, that was the two minute warning. We stood no chance. Oh, we're throwing it deep. Almost snagged. You've had a crappy game, Andre. But can you finish strong getting in this first down and closing it out? Got him across the middle all day. Please. There you go, Stokely. He has been like one of the best receivers all day. Sean Holmberg did it earlier today. Can he do it here in the clutch? He's there. Marching his way. See you later, Kansas City. We'll take our Monday night victory. Passing is nowhere to be seen. Kellen Clemens was more of a game manager in the second half. Darren McFadden, 20 attempts, 122 rushing yards. This is where we want to live, man. Because Diedrich Webb, 60 rushing yards and a touchdown as well. Brandon Stokely, three catches, 55 yards. Couldn't have done it without Kerry Rhodes' pick six either. That was a great start to the game. How about the three sacks we got? One from Savage, McDonald, and McFarland. We had 340 total offensive yards. 184 of those were rushing. And that boosts our approval rating all the way up to 75. The fans are liking us again. That's a big win for our confidence and could turn around our entire season. And fans plus 20, media plus 9, staff plus 2, owner plus 8. Kellen Clemens, his head is at 38%. Not sure what that really means for him. Kerry Rhodes grabbed Defensive Player of the Week for the AFC. Excellent performance last week. Oh, so we're only one game behind the Bills, climbing up the rankings a little bit. We're on a two-game win streak right now. I haven't developed my staff in a long time. I'm nearing 10k points, and so is our running backs coach. I'm thinking I might save these until the end of the season so we can go on a huge spending spree. Carolina Panthers, time to super sim this game. And Darren McFadden is showing no signs of slowing down from last game. They're in the red zone now, and they got a field goal. Okay, second and three. Let's run it again. Fumble. Please don't lose to the Panthers. 14 rushes already in the first half for Darren McFadden, but he's got a touchdown. They see me rolling. Interception. Pick six for Bowman. The defense has been playing well, but the offense is just... We've already had three turnovers. They're going backwards, fourth and seven. They get a field goal. Fourth down, we got it back. Okay, this is where we jump in. You got guys open. You got Tony Gonzalez across the middle. Okay, so coordinator's got to call all these plays because it's the only fast way to do it. So I have no idea what they're calling. Hopefully, they're just throwing it. Hopefully, we're getting open. And... Okay, they swatted that one down, so now I can call it. Let's go by success. Let's go Dink. Dink has a lot of out routes. Not a very long play, but if they're sitting in man, should get somebody open. Oh, shedding off the guy. That's going to be a first down. There we go. Great route there. Get out of bounds. Or get upfield. It's all on the coordinator. Got to get a play off quick. Come on, what are we doing here? We got Sean Holmberg at receiver and, like, Coles at running back. What is happening? I think he's out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. Surely we got somebody. There we go. Crossing him out. Just sitting across the middle. I'm going to call a timeout. Drunk driver's actually mastered. The drunk driver could work. Dumps it off quick. Tony Gonzalez diving in for the touchdown. We're taking the lead. Only took us... One minute to get there. Oh, we hit him. He's launching it to the moon. Swatted away by Darrell Revis. Don't have the pressure on him. Oh, it's tipped in the air. Please. Come on, Sandrick Reigns. They're doing play action, really. They're really trying to fool us like they're going to run a running play in a situation like this. They got guys open all over the place. We nail him with David Harris. They only need a field goal. This is still pretty scary. Oh, he missed him. He's got guys underneath. He's going to be a long field goal with one second left. Nope, that's it. Prevent paid off. Made him waste too much time. And we're going to steal a victory here. Andre Woodson. 
Started off very slow, but he ended strong. Touchdown there in the final minute. Darren McFadden, excellent again, nearing 100 rushing yards. Another rushing touchdown on his total. Tony Gonzalez getting the game-winning touchdown there at the end. Five pancakes for Jordan Gross. Five for DeBrickashaw Ferguson. Ten tackles for David Harris. Two sacks. Sandrick Reigns, two deflections. Good day at the office. Approval up to 77 now. Oh, we got the Browns next week. We could be on a streak here. We could win like four or five games. Past 10K points for big old Drewski. I'm excited to spin these at the end of the year. Dude, we might promote Jimmy Ray to a better position here. I mean, he's looking good. We have enough to upgrade discipline routine, which is increases the player stats that impact the ability to learn and remember plays. His performance is only at level one, but I feel like, I mean, they've been performing fairly well. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these. So we're going to get game plan analysis for this one. It's going to increase the coordinator's play calling skills by one level. Only affects it one time at purchasing it. But we'll take that. And we, ha we have enough left over to spend it on disciplined routine. Which could be pretty nice for us. So we got a ton of special skills going for us. And I really want to get that innovator one. Directly impacts how quickly a player's stats will develop. His play calling is now maxed out for Schottenheimer. Hmm, I'm interested to see what I should do here. So Ed Scott, our trainer. We could go with a special skill here. Cardio training program. Reduces the negative impact to a player's stats that is normally associated with low levels of health and fatigue. I usually don't play players when they have low health and fatigue, but we also could go with rehabilitation. Defines how long it will take injured players to recover from all types injuries. That seems like it could be way more useful. That seems like the way to go. I'm gonna go with the hard hit training for our linebacker coach. Teaches defensive players how to find the ball, lay down huge hits and tackle effectively. We're gonna use the special skill on Tim Cobble for the run blocking discipline. I've noticed a huge problem with our tight ends and their ability to learn plays. Boom. Upgrade the stuff for the tight ends. That looks good to me. I'm going to improve the QB's intangibles developments to level four. Next game against the Cleveland Browns. We should be able to win this one. They got a touchdown. Seven yards McFadden. We got a third and goal on the three. Touchdown Darren McFadden. Good job. All these super sims are always so damn close. So we're about to get another touchdown right here. We're going to have to score. Oh, wait. Kerry Rhodes. Another pick. Touchdown again. This one to Diedrich Webb. Lead dive. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Second one of the game. Oh, what a snipe. 30-yard touchdown. Boom. Andre Woodson. Touchdown through the air. Ah, uh, they got another one. There goes Tryon. He used to be on our team. We got the ball back with 14 seconds. That is so clutch. Okay, they still have three timeouts, though, so it's technically not over yet. That's ball game. Booyah! Four wins in a row. What a turnaround. Andre Woodson, no interceptions. It's been so long since we could say that. Darren McFadden, 74 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Diedrich Webb, like, those two guys have been carrying this football team. Cole's getting a touchdown today. Another interception for Kerry Rhodes. He's been excellent. 305 yards of total offense, over 100 rushing yards again. That's where we want to live. As long as we're getting more than 100 rushing yards, we're probably going to win the game. Approval up to 82. Been a nice come up in this episode. Oh my gosh, Mike Zazali is already 89 overall. Four touchdowns his last game, 413 passing yards. Finally, we've jumped ahead of the Bills at 6-5. and five. Got a winning record now. Patriots actually lost a game. Will they lose five games and will we win out the rest of the season? Seems unlikely, but it still could happen. And we are looking like we could make playoffs if we keep this pace going. At number six right now in the AFC. Last game of the episode, playing the Dolphins. We've kicked their butts in this series, so hopefully we can do it again. Yeah, they only got a field goal. Already down 10 nothing here in the first quarter. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Go lead dive. Touchdown, Darren McFadden again. Second one of the game. He's been on fire. Oh, Diedrich Webb got this one. I thought Darren McFadden would get it. But again, both of them getting touchdowns in like, what, every game this episode, I think. Do we try the field goal? I wish it would tell me the distance, but I'm going to give it a crack. Field goal is good. 52 yarder from Cerna. That's hype. Diedrich Webb, fourth and four. Just take the points. There we go. Cerna again. You're just a mess. Touchdown for the Dolphins. Ten point game. Three minutes to go. Onside kick recovered by us. Another one, that's gonna be game. Diedrich Webb carrying us there in the final minute. 
GG's boys undefeated this episode. And Andre Woodson does not throw an interception in this last one. 11 of 18, 141 yards. So he's not really, not really showing out on the stat sheet. But Darren McFadden and Diedrich Webb are. Over 100 yards between them. Three touchdowns split between them again. Kotri over 100 receiving yards today. No turnovers for the defense, but we get three sacks from Calais Campbell, one for Juckett, Seiler, and Rubin. And how about Cerna getting a 52-yard field goal today? Approval to 88 now, man. It's been a good one. Injury alert for uh, Roscoe Lester out for one to two weeks. Oof. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to the depth chart, drop him down. Final college scouting of the episode. Who are we gonna go look at? See, I'm trying to think which positions we're gonna need deep in this draft. Maybe a left in. Maybe we'll look at the second round left ins. Adam Schefter of NFL Network here with another draft update. The college football regular season is nearing conclusion with only the conference championships and bowl games left. A player's draft stock can move up or down really quickly during this time. Here are a couple of the guys I see making the biggest moves. Wide receiver Andre Bender out of Georgia, Miami free safety Tyrus Barber, and USC wide receiver Moses McDonald. The national championship game is set with Miami and UCLA meeting in New Orleans. Tons of future NFL players are going to be playing in this one. It's a great game if you're an NFL scout or a college football fan. They'll be flocking to this one in mass. I'll be back next year with more in the draft. Thanks for watching NFL Network. Man, Tyrus Barber, he got highlighted by Adam Schefter, and he has the Brian Dawkins comparison. Too bad we don't need a free safety. Still pretty awesome to see. He also highlighted Moses McDonald, who has a Dwayne Jarrett comparison. Um, forgive me, I do not know that comparison, but I do know Andre Johnson, and that's a very high mark to have. Andre Bender, could be good. 99 overall in terms of his production. He got three pluses on speed. Two on jumping, one on explosiveness. So he looks like he'd be awesome in open space. Four games left in this season. We're going to play them all next episode. And that'll decide if we make playoffs or not. But right now, it's looking pretty good. Patriots are 10-2. and two. It's going to be tough for us to catch up to them. But I don't think we have to win the division right now. We're sitting at number six in the entire AFC. And we've won five in a row. I'm feeling good about our chances to make the postseason this year. So Andre Woodson has kind of slowed down in interceptions, but he still has 18 on the year because he was going rampant there early on in the season. 20 touchdowns, 18 picks, almost 3,000 passing yards, 55% completion percentage. Kellen Clemens actually hasn't thrown an interception so far. Darren McFadden already over 1,000 rushing yards on the season. He's now over 10 rushing touchdowns. He's been on a huge hot streak. Got six fumbles. Diedrich Webb, 206 rushing yards, six touchdowns, only one fumble. I've been extremely impressed with him. Kotri still leading the team in receiving yards. Almost 760, two receiving touchdown calls. And Lester leading us in receiving touchdowns with six. Tony Gonzalez, honestly been a disappointment. I don't know if he's worth the contract we're paying him. He's very valuable though at 92 overall, so we might look to move him this offseason. Debrickus Shaw Ferguson has been playing at a Pro Bowl level. 29 pancakes, he's only given up four sacks. Successful run block percent at 73%. Successful on the pass block is at 80%, but I guess it's mainly just the pancakes that's got him up that high. Nine deflections for Kerry Rhodes this season. He's the only one who's got a touchdown for our team. Darrell Rivas has the most picks on the team at four, and Kerry Rhodes has two. Chris Gamble has three. Cerner, 7 this year, long of 52. We saw that this episode. Darren McFadden is number two in the NFL this year in terms of rushing yards. He has been awesome. I'm surprised he's not playing at a Pro Bowl level in terms of what everybody's expecting of him. It's got to be just the rushing touchdown numbers. That's probably all that matters to this simulation crap. Mike Zazali is leading the NFL in basically every category. 40 touchdowns, 22 interceptions, but almost 4,300 passing yards. Number one overall pick playing like it. Demario Waddle also leading the NFL, another rookie with nine picks. If we take a look at the standings again, unless the Patriots like lose out, they're probably going to win the division. But we still have a chance to make playoffs. We've won five games in a row. Hopefully we can keep that streak alive during this episode. We got the Bills, Texans, Saints, and the Colts, which are a very good team during this era. So honestly, not an easy road for us. Trent Edwards and Lee Evans, dude, super fast. They got Marshawn Lynch at running back. Okay, now it's our turn to run the ball. Fullback dive to start the game for the memes. Okay, we're kind of slow on the ball, actually. Let's try and throw it. Pass deflected. Okay, we'll punt it straight back to him. We got a 22-yard dot from Andre Woodson. Let's go. Let's try throwing it on first down. We got sacked. Fantastic. And Andre Woodson's already picked off. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch just drove him down the field. Oh, we got a pick, though. Chris Gamble. We're on the one-yard line. They want to do play action. No way. Mick option. Four-yard loss. Whoopsie. How about drunk driver? Incomplete. Oh, my gosh. We're at the one-yard line. We're about to be held out. Dropped. 
Do we go for it? Do I have the nads? They, obviously, they want me to take the three. I think you got to take the three in the NFL. I know it's not on brand for me. I'm sorry. So now we get ball. And we got a chance to take the lead. Dorian Bryant can't get it again. Gosh, nobody can catch anything. Trent Edwards really just dominating us, isn't he? Okay, 14 and 3. We got to turn this around. We got to go by play knowledge. We start got to start calling master plays to get back in this. Try some Advil. Dropped? How many drops are we going to have? They see me rolling, perhaps? There we go. Okay, they see me rolling is the money play. <laughs> Dropped again. I'm going for it on this fourth down and we get it. Boom. Diedrich Webb, eight yards. Fourth and one. He wants to take the field goal. Mm, I'm going to throw it though. We got the we got the first down. Can we get a touchdown, Andre? Perhaps. You got to chuck it in there. Two yard rush. We don't need that. Okay. Now we got to take the three. Fourth and 12. That's a little bit more risky than fourth and one. So we just kind of wasted our time there. Field goal, no good. So we wasted our time even more. We might lose this game. You got to be kidding me, guys. Can we get a pick or something? Can the defense turn this around? Or is our five-game losing streak going to end here? Marshawn Lynch, 21-yard rush. They got a field goal. We need two touchdowns in nine minutes. Okay, Andre Woodson, Darren McFadden, 26 yards. Let's give him a yeet. A little drunk driver action. A little dink action. A little going out. They see me rolling. Incomplete. Dink. Deflected. Somebody bamboozle perhaps we're at the one again just run it up the gut touchdown four minutes to go time to clutch up oh he missed him third down that'll stop the clock too way to go trent edwards you bum but your eyes are really terrifying we got linebackers in coverage we got injuries on the field guy going across the middle he's wide open will he throw it to him no we're gonna sack him there you go, baby. let's go don't even need to burn a timeout okay we got guys open if you see him and we're holding on to, let's go. Go underneath. Just take it, yeah. Tony Gonzalez getting a good good chunk. Is this Mick Option? This is Mick Option, really, at a time like this. What a waste. The offensive coordinator is an idiot. Full send is unlearned. I can't be doing unlearned at a time like this. They see me rolling. This play is money in the simulation ones. We got guys open, and it always gets interceptions in the actual gameplay, and this is going to be a pick six. That's probably going to be the game. Come on, Andre. Come on. Freaking devastating. Five-game win streak has been snapped at the start of this episode. Zero touchdowns, two picks. McFadden, 20 attempts, 55 yards. He didn't really have a great day either. Cole, seven catches, 82 yards. Does that put us out of playoff contention? I certainly hope not. That would be really bad for my job security if it did. There is a time to start looking at quarterbacks because I'm getting frustrated with Andre, but I don't even know if we can trade him. I'm not sure if anybody else wants him because his production has been really bad. Can't lose two in a row. Got to beat the Texans. They're pretty poopy. Oh, first carry for Darren McFadden is a touchdown. That's a good sign. But as you see here, they scored pretty quick themselves. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. This will be a high scoring one, maybe. But if we get those long touchdowns from Darren McFadden, that's usually a good sign. I say we run it back. Dude's already got 71 rushing yards on the game. Never mind. Okay, Andre Woodson is actual dog dookie. Darren McFadden's all over this game. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. He's already got 88 rushing yards at the end of the first quarter and two touchdowns. Guess who's going to be getting the ball this whole freaking game? Well, they score again. Tim Adrian Joseph getting a touchdown again. All right, second half. We're already down by 10 points. Are we really going to lose back-to-back? -back? Freaking fumble. Andre Woodson is... I got to trade him this offseason. I think I'm committing to that because he is... Oh, I don't even know because, like, does he need a receiver? Because Tony Gonzalez didn't help at all, so I think Tony Gonzalez is going to be gone. It might be just complete rebuilding opportunity for us. If we don't make playoffs, it's time to rebuild. I know we've tried to develop him over the past couple of years, but he's just, he's frustrating me. We can't do anything, bruh. All right, we got the ball back. This would be a major comeback. We can get two touchdowns. It's not over yet. Okay, we're still in this. Touchdown. Finally, dude. Andre Woodson. First touchdown of the episode. Defense has got to stop him, though, for us to get a chance. It ain't over yet. Oh, there we go. First and goal. Touchdown. Boom. I was about to lose hope, but winning this game, playoffs will still be alive. If we lose, it's gone. They missed the field goal. Okay, we walk away with a victory. Just barely. Andre Woodson, no interceptions this game. Two touchdowns in the fourth quarter to win it. That's a comeback win. I was losing hope. Darren McFadden, 122 rushing yards. Excellent game today. He also led us some receiving yards with 78 receiving yards. Close one, 28-27. Darren McFadden gets player of the week. Hell yeah. Oh god, they got Reggie Bush during this time. I forgot. This could be bad. Joe Flacco. I forgot. He already throwing a pick. Okay, classic Joe. On the Saints. It feels weird, doesn't it? I gotta give the glory. Darren McFadden. There he goes. Another TD. Throw another pick our way, Joe. Marquise Colston, Donnie Avery. 
So he's definitely got targets to throw to. Maybe he's just booty. Never mind, he got a touchdown on this drive. Boom, another one for him. Two touchdowns for McFadden on the game, and we take the lead back. Can't lose to Joe Flacco. That'd be an embarrassment. Looks like they're going to score on this drive, though. Can they keep him to a field goal? Nope, Reggie Bush. One pass, one pick. Are they going to get another field goal here? Oh, Darren McFadden is just nasty. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. This guy is all over the field. Give me that lead. A freaking fumble. How many turnovers are we going to get? They're trying to give me a stroke. Deuce McAllister is getting touchdowns. Boom. Daedric Webb got the touchdown this time. So they went for two on their last one and they got it. So it's 28-28 right now. 10 minutes to go in the game. This might be one we have to jump into. Will we get the ball back? If we score here, maybe we won't have to jump into it. Oh, really? We're throwing another pick? Four on the game. Four. That is unbelievable. And we still have a chance in this game. That shows you how good the rest of our team is in comparison. We got the ball back. Three minutes to go. Just run the ball down the field. Don't even let Andre get his paws on it. Eight yard run. <laughs> Do we run it on third down just to troll him? Incomplete pass. Come on, Andre. Boom. Okay. All right. I'm jumping in for this one. Darren McFadden looks really tired. But he's going to hold on to it. He's Gucci. Oh, no way. We just hurt Darren McFadden. Oh, no. Bruh. His fatigue is 57. Overall health, 85. His right leg at 69%. Status injured. We got to take him out, of course. His left arm is at 13. We almost killed this man. Surely Diedrich Webb can do okay. Oh, no. That linebacker was untouched. Come on, Andre. Got my hands in the air praying to Jesus that you get this first down on this yeet play. We got injuries, I know. We got always got injuries, it seems like. You got to send it. Got to send it. We got a guy coming back to the ball. Pullback run. Oh, we're just going to get the touchdown. That works, too. Sean Holmberg, nice running. Nice, nice, very nice. So Sean Holmberg gets a touchdown, takes the lead here in the fourth quarter with 30 seconds left. I get hype for him, and he doesn't like it. I hate it here. Oh, man, see, look at that. Alexis Cerna might have missed it if we just did a normal kick. So now we just got to hold them out of the end zone for 30 seconds. Is that Flacco at quarterback right now? It does not look like him at all. Well, can we get a deflection on that, please? Or he can just drop it. That's cool. Oh, yikes. They're on the 35 now. This is getting a little bit scary. Worst case scenario, we go to overtime. Oh, no. Tackle them. Oh, God. They got one timeout. Four seconds left. They only got one chance. Come on. Cover up. Oh, he dropped it. Never mind. They're getting another chance. That, that was only two seconds. We're going to go cinematic angle. Can Flacco so find somebody? He's just chilling open. Seriously, so we should have just... Yeah, my play clock management was bad. Tried to take the clock down all the way, and it ended up backfiring. We got the touchdown. They get the touchdown as time expires. So we're going to go to overtime, unless he misses this. Not likely, yeah. On to the next quarter. Yeah, I was about to say, he sounds as depressed as me. We thought we did something good, but it was clearly not good enough. Overtime game again. How many overtime games do we end up playing in in this series? It's kind of unbelievable. Give me heads, it's tails. Just run the ball downfield. I know we only got Dietrich Webb back there. We broke Darren McFadden again this year. He hasn't made it through an entire season yet. Drive it all the way down, Dietrich Webb. I believe in you. Nice. Okay, why are we running to the outside on an inside run? You're going to make me do it. You're going to make me use Andre Woodson. Get upfield, Mike Peterson. There we go. Oh? Oh? Diedrich Webb getting fancy. That's how you do it. Go, go, go. Yes, he's running north. Mike Peterson's open. Oh, we don't even need him. Oh, we're just going to throw the pick. We got him, though. Sorry, I'm switching so many camera angles. I couldn't even see it. Come on, Andre. That's five interceptions this game. Andre Woodson might be out the door here. I don't know who's, like, slamming the table for Andre Woodson to stay after this. Dropping it to Reggie Bush. If there's some random luck. No, he's got it. 
That's ball game. Andre Woodson, can we shop him out this season, please? Because he's really just taking us out of playoffs here in this episode alone. That's got to be his record. Five interceptions. Darren McFadden, another great game. Almost 30 carries, 121 rushing yards, two touchdowns. That's why he got hurt. He also got a receiving touchdown. Both of our running backs got receiving touchdowns. So I'm really happy with our running backs and our offensive line. It's just our quarterback. This is going to be an entire new team next year. I got to change a lot. Darren McFadden has confirmed with me that his injury is much more serious than was earlier thought. Tests revealed a broken hand. Broke his hand. Yeah, we got to place Darren McFadden on the IR for the rest of the season. There is no room for error. If we lose this game, I think we are out of playoffs. So we got to sign a running back. And I mean, Chris Johnson is chilling out here. Darren Sproles is too. Elusiveness for Darren Sproles is 92. Besides the speed, they're not really showing a lot of respect to Chris Johnson. Ball carrier vision, 55. But I'm going to happily sign Darren Sproles. So Darren Sproles is going to be our number two. Diedrich Webb at the top. Just because Diedrich Webb knows the, the plays. So here's the Pro Bowl voting. Mike Zazali is the number one quarterback on there. 90 overall in his rookie season. Dude's insane. Got Darren McFadden at the top. Number one for the AFC. This season he had 1,300 total rushing yards in 320 attempts. 15 touchdowns. Only six fumbles. To break a shot, Ferguson. Number one left tackle for the AFC. Peyton Manning is going down. Dallas Clark, too, I think is on this team. Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. Yeah, we're in trouble today. Or are we? Oh, we're smacking Peyton yes, Manning. That's it, baby. Nice play. He's full sending that. Oh, man, what a dot. Come on, defense. I think the only way we win this game is getting a lucky turnover because I don't think we're going to outscore him just straight up. Dude, their running back is wide open. Holy. Oh, you got to swat that. Come on, Darrell Revis. And get on these guys. Bruh. Bruh. So they're quickly up 7-0. Adam Vinatieri boots it through. So we're starting Diedrich Webb, but we might see some Darren Sproles this game. Oh my, oh my. We might see Darren Sproles earlier than we expected to. <laughs> Little mini Darren Sproles. He's a really fun player. See how well he does without knowing the playbook. Good Lord, the Colts are insane. Oh, we got a pick on our first zone blitz. That's a rookie, Sanrick Reigns. Oh, that was a dot. Oh, Diedrich Webb with the moves. We got to change Darren Sproles' number, especially if he stays on the team next year. Oh, nice spin. Let's go, Darren Sproles. Can he get the touchdown? Bob Sanders on his cheeks. The blocking has just been tremendous. You know, Darren Sproles, he's been good on these past couple ones. Give it to him again. Let him finish it off. Or not. Just let him die. Let him get wrecked. Oh, Darren Sproles, you're looking the wrong way. He's going to get there. Yes. Darren Sproles just signed to the team and he's already got a touchdown. Doesn't even need to learn the plays. He doesn't like it when I get hyped for him. Nobody. I'm just going to never get hyped for anybody ever again. I hate it here. Oh, he threw that up in the sky. Asking for his receivers to get knocked out. Oh, what a hit from Darrell Revis. And oh, buddy, still catches it. Oh my gosh, we're getting so close to these interceptions. Oh, weird camera angle. Well, that was a nice catch. Run all day. The block on the outside, that was beautiful. Keep the ball out of Andre Woodson's hands at all costs. Oh, took a nasty it's hit. A Fourth and one. Up a play like that. A real shame. <laughs> Why are you always so negative? I'm going for this. 31 blast, baby! If it works out, it's gonna be a huge boost for me. We don't fail on fullback dives. What a call, coach. It just got enough. All right, we've been running a lot this drive, and now we're gonna hit him with the play action. And they're ready for it. Or are they? Or are they? Roscoe Lester, welcome back, buddy. You were injured there for a while. I'm liking Darren Sproles. I think I might sign him this offseason. I'd use him way more than Leon Washington. Look at Darren Sproles, man. Running back by committee out here. God. <laughs> Did you hear the guy in the crowd screaming, what was that? 
Awful call. We almost got a touchdown. It was just, yeah, I don't know. You're an awful call. Yeah, I gotta take the points. Weird camera angle. He got it. Booyah. Come on, defense. Oh, no. They might be getting a field goal now. They don't have any timeouts, though, so they gotta spike it. And Peyton Manning is just trotting his way down. Oh, they're actually gonna throw it. No way. They got a touchdown as Why time expired. Like this? Not gonna be back next oh, and that did you see that glitch? We've only thrown the ball four times with Andre, and that's the only reason we're still in this game. Defense kind of crumbled there at the end of the first half, but we'll see what we can do. Who's injured? Oh, we're sending that. Oh, what a catch. Okay, now we're making catches. Now Coles is just going off. He really wants a contract. Which he's probably not going to get because we can't afford it. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't have thrown it to him. So if we take the field goal now, we'll be down by eight points. We'll be a one-score game. I guess we got to do it. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to leave take without points. Goal. Fourth and four. It could be inconsistent. The Colts are just going to keep scoring. Thankfully, he got it. I was going to be scared if he missed it. It would have been over if he missed it. Oh, it's right in front of you, Darrell Revis. Just reach out and grab it. We're blitzing six. Oh, yeah, tackle him. That's going to be fourth down. That might have been the worst decision I've ever seen in my entire life. Andre Woodson, this is why we do not throw the ball. <laughs> what the heck? I'm going for it again. My season is on the line. For the fullbacks. He got it again. Another pick. Whole drive is over because Andre Woodson throws well, another pick. An is it the call or is it the force pass? You tell me. Can't live with it, man. Can't live with these interceptions. Second one on the day for him. And he's throwing dots. Peyton Manning is throwing dots. <laughs> Tied in just butt naked over the middle. What are we doing? Nad check time. And he just runs it in. Wide open. The wheel route. Oh, we got a nice little throw off. Coles is having a big game. Oh, he got him in the end zone. That works too. First down. Got to get there. Got to get there. Good blocking. Darren Sproles, another touchdown. Yeah, he's getting signed. He's doing very well. So they got to go for two. I let the uh, coach call this one. Oh, you got him. Somebody come at him. And it's blocked at the line. So it's going to be a nine-point game. Very awkward. Two-score game now. I mean, if I would have called it, I probably would have took the field goal here and tried to go for the two the next time. But yeah, it might be time for onside time. There's plenty of time. Sure, but we're down by two scores. We need to be aggressive. Our season is on the line right now. Never gotten an onside kick in this game, but that one's flying. Their offensive lineman snags it out of the sky. Unbelievable. I mean, look at that guy. That looks like a meme character. 69. Okay. First play they score. Our defensive coordinator kind of sucks too. His play calling has been questionable at best. Time for a check down. Check down is a terrifying play, but sometimes it gets big yardage. Oh, Roscoe Lester with a snag the check down works sometimes, boys. Okay, all the thing said was what a play. I got hype for it and everyone's like, boo hoo, shut up head coach. Like, how are you supposed to read these people? Give me a check down. Cross the middle. Diedrich Webb, look at him. Oh, off the tip, we got the touchdown. Roscoe Lester is there. How about that? The check down got open. I'm calm. I'm calm. And he hates it. Dude, none of this makes sense. Coordinator's calling this one again. He said, run it up the gut. We've got the blocking. We've got it. Okay. Eight point game again. Where we were just a little bit ago. But I, whatever. I'm doing it. I'm full sending it. Because we don't know if we're going to get the two point conversion or not. These offensive linemen snagging it is just out of this world to me. Pick that off. Oh, nice hit. 
Oh, you had a chance out of Chris Gamble. You could have had a pick six, too. That would have been amazing. Give me a stop here on third down. They're going to run it. You got to tackle him. Push him out of bounds. Save the clock, too. They're going to punt it. Hey, that's, that's dandy. Okay, they're all running man deep. So this might not work. Oh, we got DJ Reb across the middle. Dude, oh my god. Of all the people that were open on that play, he chooses to throw it directly at the safety. Dude! What did the miscommunication? What a snag from Tony Gonzalez. Oh my To the left, maybe? Oh, nice. Actually worked out okay. He's unblocked. Oh, but he sheds the tackle. Look at Darren Sproles go. He's given a ton of effort today. That's a nice play. Give him that room. Go, go, go. So close. This play has worked on two fourth downs in this game. Can it work down? Can it work on third and goal on the one? He got it, yes! Right. Oh, maybe I should have run it up the gut. I don't know. I'm going to commit to it, though. Just need the blocks from everybody. This is very critical. Only two minutes left in this game. He's not going to get it. Sad. Who called timeout? But who called timeout after a two-point conversion? Third onside kick of the game, and we don't get it. <laughs> Darren Sproles tackling him. We only have two timeouts to do it, too, because of the freaking offensive coordinator called a timeout. That was a good stop, though. We're getting great tackles, though. Nice, nice. This would be an insane comeback, by the way. There is a flag. Is it on us or them? Because that's down at the one. That is scary. Oh no, we are at the one yard line. We got to go 99 yards in a minute. Okay, Andre, I need you to clutch the hell up right now. This would be the most ridiculous comeback. But if we can do it, we're in the playoffs, maybe. He stepped out the back. That's a safety. You're fired, all of you. He just... Okay, Andre, you're shipped out of here for that play alone. You just Dan Orvlosky did. You Dan Orvlosky did in the most critical game of the year. Holy crap. Never in my life. I don't even look at me. You are so gone. There is no way anyone could ever convince me to keep you after that one. I am sorry. That was bad. That's not even bad. That's terrible. That's so terrible. It's, it's just awful. That's so awful. It's disgraceful. That is, oh, oh, I am fuming. That is the biggest Drewski of all time. I think that's got to take the cake. Andre Woodson solid, is a freaking meme play. now. That's the whole season. Down the toilet. Andre Wood. I can't even look at you ever again. Darren Sproles, you're, you're being re-signed. You were fantastic today. Uh, Coles was good today. Roscoe Lester had some big catches. Even one off the tip there. Just to come back and lose like that. This is just pain. San McRain's got a nice pick today. Oh my gosh. Will I even keep my job? Eight and eight. Oh... Failure to complete the goal. The owner went down by 25. Everything was riding on that game. So now the owner went down by a ton. Goal completed. He finished in the top 10. Okay, the media likes me. We did not have a top defense. Nowhere even close. Dude, I don't even care. Like, Andre Woodson could be 99 maxed out next season. And he's still gone. I just, there's no way. There's no way this fan base would want to keep him after that. Contract, yeah, we are signing Darren Sproles. And he wants, like, no money, too, so this is even better. Just barely. Like, if we would have won that game, we'd be in there right now. Mike Zazali wins MVP. Deserves it. Dude was insane. We'll check out all the stats here in a second. Offensive player of the year, Mike Anderson, 74 overall. 35 years old. All right, lads, here we are yeah, so at the end of the season. We have... Dude, Adam Schefter, shut up. I do not want to hear it right now. The owner actually wants me to stay. I was a little bit worried at my, like, I'd be fired after that. But my approval's high enough. And of course, I want to stay with the team. I, I'm, I'm not going to leave the team until I raise that Lombardi. So Andre Woodson finished with 26 interceptions this season, more than he had touchdowns. He had almost 4,000 passing yards. Darren McFadden was excellent. Almost 1,400 rushing yards. 15 rushing touchdowns. He is the guy on our team. Like, our running game is the lifeblood of our team, basically. Roscoe Lester led us in receiving touchdowns this season. Kotri led us in receiving yards and receptions. He's coming back next year. Coles is going to be shipped off. 
it's time to reevaluate a ton of people on this team. I'm going to keep my uh, GM. I don't think there's any reason to move on from him. He's been okay for me. Now's your chance to make any personnel changes to the team. Schottenheimer's been great, and he also has 15,000 skill points stacked up. We're going to keep him. Defensive coordinator. He has 11k skill points, but also Jim Herman was not that good for us. I think it would be more fun to search around. You fired... QB coach. I don't know, dude. Could have been a lot better, but I'll keep you on. Yeah, Jimmy Ray, you're staying on, buddy. I mean, the running backs, they were the best part of our team, I think. You're staying on. Wide receivers coach, I didn't have a huge problem with him. He wasn't noticeably great, so we'll keep him on. Tim Cobble. I mean, he's fine. <laughs> he was there. We'll keep him on. So we could promote this guy, but I don't think I want to. Dan Quinn. See, he wants me to keep Dan Quinn, but Dan Quinn's overall skill is not good. Do we fire Dan Quinn? Do we do it? Might as well. Let's switch it up. Drop the approval. I don't care. Defensive backs coach. He was okay. It's only level 26, though. I feel like we could find somebody better out there. The approval goes down a lot when you fire people, but also, I'm trying to get some dubskis, baby. Get them out of here. Kevin O'Day, overall skill level 7. We'll just keep him on. Who cares about a special teams coach? We'll keep Ed Scott on. I don't have a reason to get rid of him. So they fired this 50-year-old coach, 39 overall. GM for the Browns was fired. Tony Sperano. I almost read that as Soprano for a second. You imagine our organization if we signed Tony Soprano? Mike Singletary, he's been fired, 85 overall. Defensive coordinator, that would have been a huge sign for us. So if we're committing to a new quarterback this season, we're probably gonna have to trade up to the, like the top five picks. But thankfully, there's a ton of good quarterbacks in this class, so we could probably come away with somebody worthwhile. We got a wild Bruce Arians out here. He's looking rough in that picture. <laughs> dude, Andre Woodson, he's only played two seasons. This dude already has 51 interceptions. He really wasn't any more productive this season. He had a couple more yards and a couple more interceptions. And like, we can't just keep having these like rookie type seasons every year. He's 89 overall now. And if you look at his progression, it's he should be way better than he is. On paper, he's great. On paper, he's a fantastic quarterback. But in game, he's just so inconsistent. It's just, you can't do anything with it. Do we put it in the performance or do we put it in the QB intangibles? Performance level four would be pretty nice. Let's do that one. I'm gonna upgrade game film analysis for the running back. And this this uh, running back coach is just nearly maxed out. He's so good. I'll do the same thing for the game film analysis here. Everybody needs the intangible boost. So we only have enough for small school insider. So I'm gonna put it there. This guy is 54. Top attributes, play call, team chemistry, and strategy, play level five. Oh, he wants me to fire my whole staff? 22%, I don't think I'm gonna get there. Do I even want this guy is the thing? Oh, they're going up. So I, I did it this way, so hopefully we, hopefully we can see what he looks like. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think this guy's gonna be good. Strategy maxed out. Performance maxed out. I don't think we have to sign anybody else. He's great for defensive backs, which is what I kind of love anyway. He's not a complete guy, but as far as like the main skills, he's literally maxed out. Bob Sardisco. I think that's a good signing for us. I'm, I'm actually glad we signed that guy. I was going to wait and see if there's somebody else. I had to lock a few philosophies, but it's whatever. I think I have good enough players that can be versatile. Defensive line coach time. Physical development at five. Intangibles at four. Ooh. So we're at 12. They're already at 20. I don't care about my defensive tackles anyway. So I think that should be enough. Oh, they're up to 28. So we're not going to get this guy. There's no way we could. So we just got to back out. This guy is a little less exciting. He's a threes on a lot of them. But I think it, it might be just getting worse from here on out. Oh, I've already won the bidding. Nobody really competed with me. Interesting. Dale Jackson, only at level three for things. Do I take the risk? I think I will. And I think it's going to work out because this guy's got level five physical development. So already a better option here, at least in my opinion. No one's even here to compete with us. Defensive back coach, physical development at the top, intangibles at the top. I love it. We've already won the bidding. I'm going to hire him. I actually kind of love the hires we've had so far. I think it was actually kind of worth the fire of those guys, especially the defensive coordinator. Bob looks pretty damn good. I think for what we need, it works out pretty well. His performance is not that high, but whatever. The development for it is... And this guy is okay. Defensive line coach not as talented. So the Giants won the Super Bowl. I'm really intrigued to see what moves we're going to make this offseason. Okay, so we're officially in the offseason, so that should be meaning I can start trying to trade, correct? So we still got Sean Ellis. Hopefully his contract is up here. Brandon Stokely, we got him in a trade where we actually ended up trading for a pick and him, I think. He really wasn't that valuable for us. He's getting older easy cut for me. They want us to cut Darren Sproles. That is not happening. I am not cutting Darren Sproles. I don't care, owner. 
You shut up. I'm not cutting Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles is legit. Can we even cut Sean Ellis? Sean Ellis is so much. I don't think we can physically cut Sean Ellis. Current penalties, $34 million. I think we're going to have too many penalties if we cut him. See, so look at this. Sean Ellis, $42 million contract, cap salary, 8.1. Bonus of 15. We can't physically cut him. I don't know what he's acting like. We can't. <laughs> we can't afford to. Draft preview again. Like, this class is loaded with quarterbacks. So if we're trying to get rid of Andre Woodson in the draft this is probably our best time to do it because he's been booty cheeks yeah we will cut jacob bender that's fine with me in serious salary cap trouble we have too many cap penalties for the season you'll be fired if you continue with this reckless style of roster management see that's what i thought that's why we can't cut sean ellis that means our cap is dangerous right now we're living on the edge all right time to look at our draft board so number one on the board right now is drew thompson elite arm strength decision making mobility NFL comparison, David Carr. We got a wide receiver in the top 10 here. Brandon Biggs, a corner. Yeah, this QB class looks ridiculous. If you forgot, John Scotland, Frank Tarkenton comparison. We got a Vince Young comparison for Mark Huckabee. We got a David Carr comparison for Drew Thompson, who's projected to go first overall. So if you want quarterbacks, you got them. The only problem is we got to trade up to the top to try and get one of them. Do you want to franchise tag one of these players? The general rule of thumb is to only franchise players that you need to have back next year. 85 overall or better. I just don't know if I need them though because i don't want coles back i don't want to re-sign them even for eight million i'd rather just move on yeah i don't want to franchise tag anybody the scouts are about to take off for today's senior all-star practice definitely want to take a look at mark huckabee wade appling don't think we're going to be signing a fullback this season i really liked sean holmberg last year i don't even think we're going to draft a running back we already re-signed darren sproles Heisman winning quarterback, probably going to be number one overall, but we get to take a look at Mark Huckabee here. 85 throw accuracy as a rookie. That's pretty darn good. You got the Vince Young comparison. I'm intrigued to see his speed. And I'm also intrigued to see his throw power, obviously. But I mean, that accuracy would be the best we've seen on our team yet. But Wade Appling has 88 throw accuracy with the Drew Brees comparison. I wonder if he's clickbait though. I wonder if he's like not good or what if he has like a noodle arm cyrus jones with a reggie bush comparison he looks excellent but we're not trying to target a running back in this class somebody's gonna get a good one in him Ooh, the reggie wayne comparison 80 catching for jr rollins i like that 80 spec catch 79 catch in traffic same thing with uh dylan mcbriar 80 catching paul abamati orlando pace comparison looks like a good player etn moss 85 man 80 zone 87 press that's a good corner right there i wonder if he'll go super early though all right quarterback combine workouts this is what we're waiting on oh wade appling is 6-1 mike huckabee 6-4 so that definitely plays a little bit into the decision because i feel like wade appling is just going to throw it off of the old lineman's head all the time mark huckabee he's tall he's fast He's got 85 accuracy, so this is getting way more intriguing. Ball speed. So I'm assuming this is their, like, throw power a little bit. Thompson's at 65, so that's leaps and bounds above everybody. Huckabee's at 4 out of this list, at 45. So he seems okay. Probably nothing major there. So my guess is that this guy at the top has 99 throw power, but he's probably garbage otherwise. The next guy, Drew Thompson, first overall pick, is going to have 95 throw power. Then I'm thinking Huckabee's going to have 88, 89. I feel like that's safe to say. These guys are going to have 85. Appling's going to have like 82. But this is all just me guessing based on their ball speed. I don't think we're going to get Drew Thompson. It's going to be really tough to trade up for the first overall pick. So is it even worth looking at him? We have a 417 from Andre Bender right here. Yes, you heard that correctly. A 41740. Somebody is a beast. So interesting. Antonio Gates, who was a Pro Bowler last season, is a free agent right here at 94. Ooh, an old Ray Lewis. That could be good. I got to talk over him because we got the scouting results. But Jordan Gross getting a development breakthrough. You love to hear it. So my prediction was actually spot on. Drew Thompson, his ball speed, I think, was 65. So his throw power is 95. I think we just cracked the code for this game. But now I feel like I don't have to scout quarterbacks again for their throw power, at least. 92 strength, 99 learning, 99 size for Jeremy Lincoln. This guy looks spectacular. We don't really need to draft an offensive lineman, but if I have an extra pick early on, I'm going to do it. So Huckabee has the 87 throw power, so I was slightly off. I thought it was going to be 88, but it was just lower. 87 throw power, can we live with that? His learning is 55, so he's going to be really slow. I mean, he's still a good player, 65 awareness, so once again, we're going to be dealing with a rookie. But scrambling around could be fun. Wade Appling actually has 86 throw power. Interesting. And his awareness is 56. His learning is 86. So he's a little bit smarter in terms of he's going to pick up the playbook a lot quicker. What about Damian Tucker? 84 throw power, 85 speed, 70 accuracy, 39 awareness. Yeah, he's never going to learn the playbook. Seneca Wallace is his comparison. 
Okay, so Eric Mack, his throw power is lower than I expected too. His ball speed was 69, his throw power is only 93. A little bit of clickbait there, I like it. Yeah, Andre Bender has 99 speed, 99 jumping. Looks ridiculous. But besides the 45 learning, you're probably going to get a good player here. Of course, we haven't seen his catching or anything yet, but we'll see. Ooh, Darius Peters, 95 speed. Devin Hester comparison. Can maybe get a guy who can return. 97 speed for Boof Reese, what a name. Good speed for Darius Dargan. Ooh, we got a 90 speed Andre Copeland. I dig that. 35 learning, I don't dig that. Brandon Biggs, though, 97 speed, 95 agility, 95 acceleration, 94 jumping. Gotta learn more about this guy. ATN Moss, good movement, good jumping, I like it. Orlando Cartwright is just downright insanely fast. So they want me to keep Andre Woodson. I, I really don't. I guess he would be cheaper than a lot of quarterbacks out there. But we could also use him as a trade, I would think, right? He's in the last year of his contract, 590k. So this would be a great contract for anybody. I mean, he's a highly rated player, closing in on 90 overall. Antonio Gates is out there. I'm trying to get rid of Tony Gonzalez. He's ancient. It really wasn't as valuable as I thought he would be. And we could probably get some good trades out of him. I think there's a lot of moving that's going to be happening on my team this offseason. We could get Antonio Gates and then use him as trade bait. Is that big brain or what? Or stupid? I don't know. I've got a save file backed up in case this is too much for our contract. Raise it 35 in five years. Can we even afford this? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not planning on keeping Antonio Gates and Tony Gonzalez. There's just no way we could afford that over the long run. So what we're going to do is trade Tony Gonzalez and Antonio Gates. They're both 90 plus and usually 90 pluses get a lot of trade capital in this game. At least I hope because holy moly, this is a big risk. I'm basically risking my entire free agency period on this alone. But look how many draft picks we have. Okay, we got one in the first round, four second round picks. We got two third round picks, a fourth round pick, and a fifth round pick. I was doing a lot of work this season, giving a lot of people away. So we can move up if we want to. I have used all my cash on this ridiculous, stupid idea. Salary cap balanced. We got seven million of salary cap room left. I just don't think I can sign anybody else. If we can get rid of Sean Ellis, it'll all be better. Due to changing circumstances, no teams are currently interested in trading for Sean Ellis. The same thing they've been telling me for a long time. So who's interested for Andre Woodson? The 20th overall pick this season. Is this worth it for Andre Woodson though? That's a first rounder right there for Andre Woodson. Near the middle though. I keep telling him to increase it. I'm going to accept it. Goodbye Andre Woodson. Now we got to draft a quarterback. So we got a first round pick for him. Oh boy. That's a big, big change. Everyone's just like nervous right now, probably hating me. So maybe it was one of those things where I should have kept him, but we'll see. But we also got a first round pick out of it. So I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm nervous right now. Trading in this game is way more challenging. A lot more risk involved. You can't just swindle teams all the time. We're going to have a ton of first round picks. So this is what I'm risking, but everyone's going to be stupid expensive. So this might not even work out for me. So we can get the 14th overall pick for Antonio Gates. And all we had to do was throw him a lot of money and then just send it off. I don't know if that hurts us directly or at all. But also, I might want to be saving my picks for the actual draft. We'll see. I don't know. First round, like 14th overall, still good. Tell them to increase their offer. They've upped it? Oh, I mean, their best one is the 14th overall. Just send it back to the Chargers too. That's what's even funnier. Did we swindle the whole system? Maybe. I'll do it. Accept the team's offer. We'll take the 14th overall pick for Antonio Gates, who we signed and then sent right back to you. What does that do for the salary cap? So we actually got some back. Current penalties at 40.68. So I'm sure that was a negative for trading him, but we also get the 14th pick. Will we survive this whole shapoopy? I really hope it does. So here we go. We got three first round picks, four second round picks, two third round picks. We got a trade offer for Tony Gonzalez. Okay, these are a little stinky. Yeah, I'm gonna go out of this. If you're not offering me a first round pick, don't talk to me. Time for the individual workouts. These are incredibly important. So I think these unlock the potential rating for these players. I mean, look at that. Brandon Biggs, spectacular. If we got him, we'd have another Darrell Revis on the team. We have multiple first round draft picks, but he is projected to go top five. So we would have to trade up to get him. So I don't know if this will happen. We also got Jamal Binger right here with 90 catching, 90 elusiveness. Like, are you kidding me? Marvin Harrison comparison. His potential's probably got to be 90 or something because this dude's already 80 plus as it is. Andre Bender. Those got to be the best wide receivers in the draft by far. I'm assuming their potential's 90 plus. So I don't even really want to check out their potential because I already know they're going to be worth it. Ooh, 90 throw accuracy for John Scott. Scotland? Interesting. We don't know anything about Drew Thompson. I don't even know if we could get the first overall pick. John Scotland, like Mark Huckabee, I'm 
pretty much could commit to if he falls. Wouldn't be my first pick, but John Scotland with 90 throw accuracy? Yeah. 70 health on his left arm, and that's about it. That's not a complete deal breaker for me. Huckabee's 23. Drew Thompson's 23, so John Scotland being younger? And he's got 90 throw accuracy off the rip? He's probably going top two, though, so that, that's the thing. Another Nick Mangold? Do I even need to check this guy's thing? He probably looks pretty good. Ooh, Etienne Moss, 88 potential. That's damn good. Darius Dargan, 85 potential. I dig that. So, John Scotland at 90 potential? I like that. And he, he, we don't have to wait on him. I mean, his awareness is 50, so... The mentals is what we're going to have to wait for, but his arm itself, you don't. Whoa, we got a left in with 90 potential this late? The only reason I full sent it on him is because I saw the power moves and finesse moves are pretty balanced. And the block shedding is there. We might just have ourselves a late round pick right here in Gary Martin. There is Dargan with that coverage. Oof, he's basically like another safety out there. New York's head coach seems to have gained some unexpected approval with the organization. Approval recently. rating from the fans has gone Sources up by 10. Sources tell me he held a closed door meeting with the team's owner this week in a strategic attempt to improve their relationship. This should help his approval rating with the team. That's awesome. Just a random one from the fans? You love the fans. They love my wild draft strategies that would probably never work in real life. New season goals. We gotta acquire a linebacker. Acquire a left in of at least 85. Acquire a left guard. Don't draft the bust. Avoid drafting a player in the first round with 85 potential or less. We need a QB1 because we don't have a quarterback. So yes, we got to trade up to get a quarterback first before we do anything. We got 8.3 in salary cap. Is that enough to sign players? At least this many we're trying to get at the top. I freaking hope so. I'm a little scared. The draft. We are here. Bears are on the clock. Bears are not interested in trading this pick with you. Yeah, they're going to go Drew Thompson. Drew Thompson started all four years at UCLA and ended up as the career passing yard and TD leader of the Pac-10 breaking Matt Leinart's long-standing records. Thompson spurned the NFL last year after his junior season, saying he wanted to bring the national overall. championship back to UCLA. He fulfilled that promise by taking UCLA to the championship game and taking home the MVP honors. The arm, the leadership, Drew Thompson will be a multiple Pro Bowl type of NFL quarterback when all is said and done. Chiefs are not interested in trading, so John Scotland sounds like it's out too. Brandon Biggs is older with Brandon Biggs. Me. The at over two? the top flamboyant wow. TOs and D'Angelo Halls of the league would blush at some of the silliness Biggs has gotten away with on the field. All the stunts aside, Biggs is still a top flight man. Brandon Biggs is awesome. With his 4 3 speed and sticky man coverage ability, Biggs is destined to have a long career in the NFL as long as he can keep out of trouble. All right, now they're willing to accept our offers to trade up. Can we get up to number three? Okay, we got two minutes. Let's make this happen. Second round pick, first round next year, and Jordan Gross. Or we could do second round pick, first round pick next year, and Tony Gonzalez. That sounds a little bit easier to me. We could just give up a second round pick and Tony Gonzalez, which we're trying to get rid of Tony Gonzalez anyway. Offer is absurd. They want me to give them three first round picks. Y'all are nuts. How about a second round pick, Ruben Black and Tony Gonzalez? Said it's a reasonable offer. We accept the offer, second round pick, Ruben Black and Tony Gonzalez. We get to keep our first round picks. We save some cap space, booyah. And we trade it up in the draft. Everybody's happy. So they want me to get Mark Huckabee here. But we could, I think John Scotland's the move. Learning 65, potentials through the roof. He's young at 21, which I think is a plus. I don't know why it says it's a negative here. 90 throw accuracy, 93 throw power. This is already an upgrade from Andre Woodson. So I'm actually kind of happy that we made this decision. John Scotland, welcome to the New York Jets. Due to the left shoulder blade injury John Scotland suffered in Oklahoma's bowl game, he was not able to attend the NFL Combine, which has hurt his draft stock some. Before the injury, Scotland had already announced his intentions of entering the draft. Most doctors think the injury will have little to no long-term effects on his non-throwing arm. Scotland has a huge arm and looked like one of the best quarterback prospects around. Despite being a redshirt sophomore, he will be a fun player to watch throughout his NFL career. I mean, I think him being younger is awesome. I don't know why they tapped it as a negative. Something new to get happy about. Briggs is already gone. Scotland's gone. So the top three kind of worked out the way we expected. Mark Huckabee might be coming up here soon. Oh, Biggs already had a wide receiver that's not going to shock or awe you with great combine numbers. He will Jamal Binger is gone. Damn, he's a good player. Numbers. At the number four, this has not gone as expected. Short. Over 2,500 yards and 20 touchdowns the past two seasons at Oklahoma, including two first-team All-Big 12 awards. He's as smart as they come at the wide receiver position. 
and he's a top-level route runner already, so he'll take no time to fit into the system. Jamal Binger is a great pick for a team that needs a solid, consistent, productive pass catcher. Yeah, man, Jamal Binger, he was insane. And that would have been John Scotland's target here in the NFL. Could you imagine that? We got Roscoe Lester from Oklahoma, though, so we get to pair him back up with each other. He wasn't projected to go for a little bit. He wasn't projected to go until number 14, so this is shaping up pretty wild. Really? Dre Gaither at this point? Okay, interesting pick for the sixth overall pick. I don't even know if I need to do this, but if we get Andre Bender, that'd be nuts. I don't want to trade two first round picks because like last time we got away with not trading much at all. Yeah, I'd really love Andre Bender. Andre Bender would be an awesome pair with John Scotland. I just don't know if we need to trade up and win. They got Latroy Lamont. Okay, so we didn't need to trade up for that one. This team, on the other so hand, they need a kicker, outside linebacker, and a punter. Barber, interesting. Douglas, could Bender fall to us? See, Bender was supposed to go at seven. 14th, second round pick next year, and a third round pick next year. Whatever. It's time to take Bender. I want Andre Bender, man. 99 speed he's 6'3 6'3 he is 26 years old so he's ancient but i think that'll be fine because we'll have him until he's old it's not like i'm gonna be playing until he retires or something in this series anyway gotta give a guy to john scotland one year of college football experience is all it took for andre bender to soar to the top of the first round a former track superstar at georgia and for the national track team bender has been the sensation of the college football season with his game-changing speed after running an unprecedented 4-1-7 at the NFL Combine, Bender has risen to the top of the wide receiver draft boards. Bender has a solid 900-yard, five-touchdown junior season, but it's his jaw-dropping physical skills that has him where he's at today. If he can get with the right coaching staff, oh, this kid could be the next big star at wide receiver. There goes Cyrus, Cyrus Jones, Jones Reggie Bush. Ooh, they need a left outside linebacker. I want Dargan. Don't take Dargan. How many times am I going to trade up is the real question. In the top 15 to get my guy. Can I survive one pick? I think they're going to go Dargan. Accept your offer. I'm sending. I'm full sending today. Coach, I think we should draft this kid. I agree. He's got the zone coverage. He's got the speed. 74 man, 87 zone. Like another safety out there. 87 speed, which is the top end for linebackers in this draft. He was about to get drafted by the Rams, but now he's being drafted by the Jets. I did a ton of drafting here in this first round. Do I have any draft picks left <laughs> is the real question. We still have the 20th from the Vikings from Andre Woodson. That is insane to me. I might even look to trade back. I don't even know. Basically filled up most of the needs we've needed. Now we need a cornerback, left end, tight end, and offensive lineman. They go Huckabee. This Huckabee finally goes. Huckabee he goes to Arkansas Buffalo. Is just like Matt Jones coming out of Arkansas a couple of years ago in terms of physical skill set. But this Huckabee is a much better passer than Matt Jones, which is why nobody in the NFL is talking about converting Huckabee to wide receiver. He has a very high ceiling at this point in his career, but also has some things that he needs to work on immediately before he becomes an every week starter in the NFL. With the right quarterback coach, Huckabee could be a 10-year elite level starter in the league. His scary 4-6 speed at the quarterback position to go along with the 6-4, 230 pound body makes him scary to tackle for any defensive player his utter lack of disregard when it comes to contact has gotten him into some trouble before with his right shoulder so keep an eye out for that early in his career Ooh, Gee, williams, williams goes there go gill they went gill please let etn moss fall to us that would be insane oh there goes etn moss, moss. damn i don't think we need to go another wide receiver right now Let's go take a gander at the team needs. We still need a tight end. We need another defensive tackle, so DeMarco Tribble could be a good option. We also need that left end, another middle linebacker. See, DeMarco Tribble, we don't know his uh, potential. He's got 95 strength. Is that all we know about him? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I could probably get this guy later. Gary Martin? I think this, I mean, I have Jeremy Lincoln above DeMarco Tribble, but I'm trying to think this out. We need a defensive tackle. We already have all the offensive linemen, and there's still offensive linemen we can get later. Jeremy Lincoln looks awesome. 99 size, 99 learning, 98 production. I mean, that's a perfect offensive lineman. He'd be a pro bowler for a long time. We could get DeMarco Tribble, which we don't know is a for sure thing. I think Jeremy Lincoln is the better player here, but I gotta go DeMarco Tribble just based on our needs. Let's do it. DeMarco Tribble is a kid out of the SEC who's going to potentially transform how the defensive tackle position is played. He's 6'7", 335, That's exciting here. and runs a legit 4'7", 40. It's scary for offensive line Ooh. coaches to hear, I'm sure, but it's the truth. 
He's strong as an ox and has a bull rush move some scouts are calling borderline illegal because it's been absolutely destroying the <laughs> linemen. The only knock on him at this point Dude, that's awesome is that he's hear. missed some games here or there over the last two seasons at Auburn. It should be nothing that holds him back from dominating the line of scrimmage for the next eight to ten years at the NFL level. So it sounds like DeMarco Tribble was a good pick. Here's, Here's Jeremy Lincoln. That's one of the guys I want. Western heavyweighted, slow-footed, big-bodied right tackle. Strong run blocker, dominant at most times. He's just not the most mobile tackle around. Struggles on plays that require him to get out there and run. Jeremy Lincoln is a guy you can plug into any offensive system, and he'll start right away. A great team player and locker room leader for years to come. Draft recap so far. It's looking good for us, boys. Four first-round draft picks. You don't see that very often. We went all in on this year, trading everything from all over the place to try and get these guys. Not only did we get the best quarterback we've ever had, this guy could be a Hall of Famer. We got Andre Bender, a number one target for him. We got Darius Dargan, who's going to be a starting left outside linebacker right away. We got DeMarco Tribble, who might start right away. Like, this is a good group right here. The only question is, can we afford him? How's the salary cap looking? It's at 13.9 right now. No, I don't know. I don't think we need to go another wide receiver just yet. There's other positions we need. Stop getting they mad at me, okay? Pick. Dude, we could trade back, but also I have other picks to trade back. We can go ahead and snag Gary Martin, I think. Dude, that guy's out there too. Lance Friberg, whatever his name is. I'm gonna go ahead and snag Gary Martin because I know he's excellent and there's no sense in waiting when he's one of the positions we still need. I mean, it's definitely a reach for him, but we already knew he had 90 potential, so that's a good pick for us. Impact blocking is 69, but everything else looks pretty good. 99 learning too, so this guy could potentially become a GOAT. Let's go ahead and draft him. Along with his fellow offensive lineman, Lance Freiberg led the Wildcats to three consecutive seasons of leading the league in rushing. The impressive feat there is that they did it with three different running backs in each year. So the offensive line and Mr. Freiburg were the key ingredients in that great accomplishment. Freiburg has won the Offensive Lineman of the Year award three straight seasons as well. What makes this even more impressive is that Freiburg did all this after his gruesome ACL injury he suffered during his freshman season on national TV. That injury aside, Mr. 4.0 GPA Freiburg the Northwestern class president as well, is a surefire star at the center position, probably the best center prospect I've seen in the last two decades. Oh my God. I was just taking like a, a half court shot on this guy because it looked good on paper. We did not know his potential, but Adam Schefter described this guy as the next coming of Jesus. I mean, his NFL comparison was Nick Mangold, so that's always a good sign, but damn. Oh yeah, Dylan McBriar, his potential is 82, which is not bad. Go ahead and get Dylan McBriar. My approval went down because he's technically a bust with 82 uh, potential. But I mean, down by 40. That's just tough. But we needed a tight end anyway. And I have so many picks right here. Maybe I should have just traded back to the third. Get another guy that looks solid. Thomas Killebrew. 83 overall. I like it. Sim to my next draft pick in the third round. I've got just about everybody I've wanted in this draft. I'm just a little scared I'm not going to be able to afford him. That's all. Okay, here's my draft pick. This might be my last one I do. Yeah, that might be the meme strat. Damian Tucker, we're not trying to develop him into anything. We're just going to have him out there for the speed. I'm just going to draft this random tight end. So we can get Boof Reese as just like a return man, right? Return ability is negative. Damn. Martin Braxton has a comparison to Devin Hester. Devin Hester, I'm just going to assume you can return. Let's take him. Ken McDaniels, I know nothing about him. All right, we've got teams <laughs> Like, they get in so mad. They get so mad when you tell them no on their pick. Like, I'm playing a video game here. Of course I want to pick my own picks. We kind of need a corner anyway. Let's just take him. Whatever. Does that make up for it? <laughs> now that I drafted him anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Goal failed. To 66. GM approval went down 25. It's because we didn't find a late round gym, probably. Damn, he really hated me after that offseason. I thought the offseason was lit. They don't like meme strats, do they? Undrafted rookies, actually. None of these guys look that impressive anyway. Because we're about to sign these contracts with our new rookies, and I'm a little scared we're not going to be able to afford them. I might throw this into the negotiation skill for our manager. It's either that or we worry about scouting stuff, which we kind of burned the next draft anyway, so I think I need to do this. I think I have to, to survive. <laughs> Dude, sweet Jesus. John Scotland wants a contract that'll murder me 32 million dollar signing bonus he he wants the max i i need to save right now i need to save to make sure we can even afford anybody if it would just let me get rid of sean ellis it would make everything better because we only have 13 million dollars in cap space we're, we're gonna have to clear some it's gonna be people we don't want to get rid of 
I will trade a nickel for Sean Ellis. Anybody, please. We might have to trade Kotri. Yeah, we got to clean up some space. And kotri has been a legend and nobody wants Kotri either. This is my problem. Nobody wants anybody. Okay, we got to get rid of Dorian Bryant then. Dorian Bryant's gone. If I release Sean Ellis or anybody like that, we immediately just like lose. We just die. David Harris has a tiny salary. Carlos Dansby at almost 6 million. Damn, we're gonna have to get rid of some good players. And I don't really want to, but we have to. Just whoever is, anyone will accept more than anything. It's gonna have to be somebody with a lot of money, and that's a lot of the better players. So Jordan Gross and Carlos Dansby are probably first on the chopping block. And we got another offensive lineman we signed anyway, so maybe that'll, like, heal the damage a bit. Can I see how good this guy is and what's his contract at? Actually, I can't sign anybody else. We gotta get rid of him first. Offer is good. Third round pick for Jordan Gross is criminal. Okay, this is a second round pick. It's in a few years, but fine. I gotta accept it. So now that gives us $21 million in cap space. We can at least sign Andre Bender. So Jordan Gross is gone. So he wants the max. Maybe we can avoid getting the max. I'm gonna see if I can offer him like the lowest. Okay, yeah, we got him on a lower offer. That's good. Dargan wants a lot too. I mean, these are all first round picks, so it's expected. Dargan wants more than Andre Bender, which is wild to me. I think Dansby's next on the chopping block. So this is a rebuilding year. Darren Sproles has the bonus too, so this would cut into our cap. We're going to have to have a no name at right outside linebacker and just hope our offense carries us. Dansby's been great for us too. That's what's sad about all of this. Gosh, we're going to have to do it for a third round pick because they don't want anything more. We're desperate at this point. Back to 21 mil. I think we might be able to survive. We're just going to have to gut a lot of our good players. Thank you, DeMarco. You don't want a big contract. Okay, I got him to accept the lower one. Let's say we still have a couple guys unsigned. We haven't signed John Scotland. Thomas Killebrew, I'm sorry. I'm going to make you lob the lowest offer and see what happens. Signed DeMarco Tribble. Signed Scotland before it starts. No, I'm not trading for this Dallas Sarts guy. I'm trying to trade Sean Ellis, but nobody wants him. We haven't even signed Scotland yet. Scotland's going to be late. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got to go with the offensive lineman. He's going to be on the field the most. There he is. Oh my gosh, I was nervous. $32 million signing bonus. <sighs> He's not budging. Okay, fine. He went down to 68. It's a deal. Okay, we finally signed him. <laughs> I'm scared to see the salary cap. 7 million. We still got 7 million left. All right, Tribble, you got to be under $7 million a year, which you are, so... Said, okay, he accepts that offer. Nice. I was worried there for a while we weren't going to sign everybody. We cut it close. We got six million left. So maybe I cut too many people. Brand spanking new offensive line. We got Freiburg in here. Uh, Probably going to have to move him over to right tackle, which is a little awkward. Maybe we'll move him to right guard. 69. Nice. I think I'm going to move Fogarty over. Fogarty, you go to right tackle. We'll make it work. So this is not as good as an offensive line as last year, but a lot of these guys have some good potential. We still got to keep Nick Mangold. Still got to keep Debrickashaw Ferguson, who was a pro bowler last year. We still got five years left on Nick Mangold, two years on Debrickashaw, five years on Mario Floyd, who's an okay player, two years on Fogarty. Now we have four years on Freiburg. Whenever Sean Ellis goes, we'll have a ton of money to spend, and then maybe we'll be able to build a dynasty. I don't think we'll win a championship, but this year we should have a good enough team to make it interesting at least. We got DeMarco Tribble who's better than Ottawa Rubin, who is already pretty damn good. Switching to a 4-3 this season because we got Gary Martin on one side, Calais Campbell on the other, and then those two guys in the middle. We got Darius Dargan coming in. I mean, this season is kind of screwed. So this offseason, we're just going to try to target someone in free agency when Sean Ellis is gone. When Sean Ellis is gone, I think we'll be okay. Scotland, yeah. Got increased play knowledge for Scotland all the way. He's going to be in every game. Hopefully he doesn't throw 26 interceptions a season. And right now we're sitting at less than $5 million in salary cap. So whoever we're signing is going to be garbage. But we need people to fill out the roster. So it's going to be bums. Bum city. Current penalties of $40 million. Next year penalties is $6 million, But we'll make it. Next year we got $44 million in cap room. This was like a wild off season. Up and down all over the place. We still got a good running game, but we have these exciting new receivers. Killebrew's looking good. Lester, of course, 88 potential. We have Kotri still out here. John Ellis, you're dead to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Lance Freiberg, 93 potential. So that like little intro about him was correct. He's going to be a beast. John Scotland, 90. Gary Martin, 90. Dargan, 85. That's all we know so far. As long as we get Scotland ready, I'm fine. We have a trade offer for Sean Ellis. Holy Oh, you could give me a seventh round pick and I'd accept it. Will they increase it? We, they've made a better offer. Oh, dude, my life has changed. My life has changed. You don't understand. We could have done this so earlier. Dude, that changes everything. Look at the salary cap now. It's up to 12 million. Oh, I can breathe again. Finally, somebody wanted him. I don't know why they wanted him. Paid $8 million. He was hurt all the time. 
He didn't do anything. He's finally gone. It's like getting a tumor removed. I mean, the guy in real life is probably a nice guy, but his guy in this game? Ooh. Well, I got really nervous there for a while if we were gonna be able to even field a team this season and be able to afford them all. But thankfully, we made it. Let's take one final look at our draft recap. We got John Scotland at pick number three. It says he's only 72 overall. We sure about that? Andre Bender, 67 overall. It's because they haven't finished the preseason, I guess. We got Darius Dargan, 81 overall at pick 12. DeMarco Tribble, four first round picks, all of them pretty good. Gary Martin. In the second round, we got Lance Freiburg. He was 88. Looks like we won a preseason game. <laughs> we'll just keep that going. Dylan McBriar, Darius Wilson, Martin Braxton, Ken McDaniels. A bunch of random guys at the end that probably won't amount to much. The owner expects us to finish below 500 this season. That's probably because we have a rookie quarterback, and then we also picked up Aaron Rodgers, but I'll explain that a little bit later. Honestly, with the roster we have right now, I am confident that we can make playoffs, because we've been knocking on the door the past two seasons. It's a ton of rookies, though, so they might need time to develop, but I think we can do it. You know what? Let's just go finish above 500, because that's a little bit easier of a goal to accomplish. I picked up Aaron Rodgers off screen in the free agency. At the end of the draft, he was just sitting there. Nobody wanted him. In this league, he's not very highly rated. His potential is only 73, 25 years old, 72 overall. His throw power is 90, accuracy is 83, and his awareness is 69. So it's not an exactly a fair split here because Aaron Rodgers only started the first quarter of these games, but John Scotland finished with a higher QB rating at the end of the preseason. Already better than Andre Woodson, but I think both of these guys are. Even if we do start John Scotland, who clearly has the better arm and way higher potential, the awareness at 54 does make me a little bit nervous, but I guess what do we have to lose? Of course, we're going to be leaning on the running game. Darren McFadden, Darren Sproles, and of course, Diedrich Webb. A lot of Ds in the backfield. No pause. And I'm really excited about this receiving game. Honestly, Darius Wilson was the biggest surprise this preseason. He had 12 catches for 239 yards and three receiving touchdowns. He was like our last pick in the draft in like the fifth round or something. Just a random tight end from VMI who turns out to be an absolute legend. He has 90 potential, which is insane to me. He has 83 speed, 36 awareness, which is a little bit troubling right now, but hopefully he'll work on that. 84 catching, and it clearly did not mess him up in the preseason. He was doing very well. Thomas Killebrew actually she showed to be pretty productive, honestly more productive than Andre Bender, which is honestly surprising to me. But his potential is only 82, but if he can look to contribute early, that's cool with me. 84 catching, 86 route running, he needs to be the guy who can consistently make catches. Andre Bender, on the other hand, we're expecting a ton of things from him. We drafted him in the first round, 93 potential, 99 speed, 97 acceleration, 99 jumping. The awareness is only 60 right now, but it can max out at 95 through his career. 97 catching is his max there as well, so he can become an absolute stud. If Andre Bender doesn't become a legend, I'll be pretty disappointed. Of course, we got Jericho Cotri back. We all know about him. Mike Peterson's doing his role. He's like the off-brand Darius Wilson now. Mike Peterson and Darius Wilson are in the same vein where they have that high potential like Mike Peterson's is 86 but I don't think he'll ever reach it in his career and Martin Braxton's been productive at times he's got 91 speed 96 acceleration catching's only 64 and awareness is 52 so I do not have high expectations for him He's really just a roster filler. It's already confirmed that Darius Dargan may be winning Defensive Player of the Year for us, and that's just from his preseason play. Everybody that was watching it live with me really noticed that this guy attacks the football, he's a great tackler, and he's fantastic in coverage as well. Don't care about his size at 6 feet, 235. As long as you're a good player, that's all that matters to me. Sandrick Reigns is coming into his own. He had a pick in the preseason. Kerry Rhodes had two interceptions. Of course, he's a legend. Alexis Cerna was a beast in the preseason, had a long of 50. We got Martin Braxton returning who actually had one return for a touchdown so I'm glad we drafted this guy because that is the first time I've seen a kick return touchdown in this entire series and what's funny in that game that was right after the CPU returned one on us just right back to back so our owner has given us the option to choose who is going to be starting in week one Aaron Rodgers or John Scotland he wants the rookie and I guess if he really wants that I'm not going to argue with that they are the same overall he has a way higher potential better arm he just has lower awareness. In all honesty, he played pretty well in the preseason. Occasionally, he would have some interceptions, but he was nowhere near as bad as Andre Woodson. So I'm willing to give John Scotland the starting job right now. Actually, I do have enough to upgrade the staff here. I saved a bunch from the preseason, so I think this would be a perfect time to start upgrading things. And I think I might have enough for the innovator one, the one we've been saving up for for a long time. Directly impacts how quickly a player's stats will develop. That is perfect timing because we get John Scotland here in the first round and a ton of rookies actually. 
So this might print out to be a very good special skill right here. We're closing in on 10,000 for the intangible development for the QB from Schottenheimer, our offensive coordinator. So this would be perfect for John Scotland working on his awareness. Look how good our running back coach is. All of his regular skills are maxed out, even though his like performance one is only level one at the top end. But I haven't really seen a dip in my running back's performance at all. They've been playing very well and we can just keep working on these special skills. I think we're going to add it to improved ball carrier moves just for the memes. They just straight up cut Greg Jennings. He's got 91 route running, 90 catching. I mean, we already have a ton of receivers, but we can pick him up for only a million dollars. Greg Jennings technically is the highest rated receiver on our team right now. Greg Jennings putting the team on his back, though. 93 speed, 90 awareness, 90 catching, 91 route running. We have no shortage of wide receivers, man. We got Greg Jennings, Jericho Cotri, Andre Bender, Roscoe Lester, Thomas Killebrew, and Martin Braxton. Every single one of them has 81 plus potential. New season goals, the fans want us to crush the Dolphins in week four. Win three out of our first four games. Should be a challenge. Win Offensive Rookie of the Year with Lance Freiburg. That is going to be insanely difficult. He's an offensive lineman. How am I supposed to win Offensive Rookie of the Year with an offensive lineman? Come on now. That's an impossible goal. Whoa, look at this dude's hair. Who the hell is this man? Here's our first look at the 2011 draft class. Decent QB class, but we're not looking to draft a QB or a running back. We're set on that. Wide receiver pretty much for the future as well. Tight end, it's actually looking good, so we might not need that. Offensive lineman, we might look up to pick up one or two. Defensive end, maybe, but it looks like a crappy class. Same with defensive tackles. Linebackers, definitely going to need those. We could target that. Corners, we could always use help, but again, it's a crappy class. And the safeties, this looks like the worst one you've ever seen. Zero out of five stars. Unbelievable. Finally, we get to start the season off. And of course, it's in the rain. It always is in these video games for me. New season, new me. I say that every year, but this time we really have an entirely new team. And what's great about this team is pretty much all the important players, we get them for at least two seasons. They all have two seasons left on their contract. Not only does this new group get a chance this year, they get a chance together next year. Let's go ahead and develop a strong bond between everybody and win some games. Let's do this. Dude, you said that last year and we were not that good. Greg Jennings and Aaron Rodgers right there. New guys on the team. you love to see it. You know what? I'm going to let our defensive coordinator call all of these because he is fantastic at play calling. So we'll see how he does. They're going to hand it off and we're already in the backfield. Nice job. Is everybody going to say this? Come on now. Chill out. You don't have to get sentimental on me on the first game. It's been one play. Can we get to him again? We're getting through. Let's go. Calais Campbell nailing him. Pretty good play calls from the defensive coordinator so far. Can we stop him on third and 10? We almost get a pick. Kerry Rhodes. We'll take it. Going to start out with some runs for John Scotland. Don't want to throw him into the fire too quick. Darren McFadden. Of course, he's a legend. Look at this. Look at him go. Darren McFadden. He has just continued to develop. We had the most rushing touchdowns in the NFL last year and one of the best rushing offenses in general. Let's try and not get him hurt, though. Okay, this is going to be the last carry for Darren McFadden for probably the rest of this drive. Oh, good blocks. Was that Lance Freiburg laying him down? Huge run from Darren McFadden. All right, this could be a risk. We're going play action here. This could be first touchdown for John Scotland. Good block from the running back. You got him to drop it off short. Go, Sean Holmberg. And that should be a first down. Second and inches, whatever. We'll take it. Something I noticed in the preseason with John Scotland and Aaron Rodgers, they actually checked the ball down. Unlike Andre Woodson, who would always just full send it at all times. Why are we getting booed? Like, we're doing very well so far. Sean Holmberg. He got it. First and goal. Let's go. Keep the ball on the ground. No reason to force it in the air just yet. Darren McFadden not ready yet. Let's go with Darren Sproles. We got so many good running backs. Might as well use them all. John Scotland quieting the crowd and we got a touchdown. This roster is built to run the football. We also got John Scotland to not mess it up. You got to get excited for that, right? Starting the year off with a touchdown, you got to be happy. And Darren Sproles doesn't like it. Welcome back to football, everybody. Alexis Cern has been good for us. He was perfect in the preseason, and he gets it through the uprights here to start the year. Been a good start for a team. They're going to be throwing it here on first down. They got a man. They're going to get it. Oh, we're crushing them again. 
The guys up front, they got potential. Oh, we almost got an interception. Sandrick Reigns was right there. There we go, Sandrick Reigns lowering the shoulder. Guy across the middle, can we cover him up? They're throwing it short and we're wrapping him up. Now we got it all covered up right now. Almost picked out by Darius Dargan. Look, he gets in position, he doesn't always catch it, but he's still getting deflections, I, I'll take it. Oh, don't even get a chance to hand it off. Go, go, go. Just made all of that right back. John Scotland on third down. Does he have somebody open? Play action. Oh, he found the man Andre Bender cannot hold on. He took a shot. Who the hell are you? Why did you just change your voice? Almost got a deflection there, but we pop it out anyway. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, what a hit from Gary Martin. The rookie left in, crushing him. That defense is looking ferocious this year, man. Let's do it, John Scotland. Good movement in the pocket. That was risky, but we got him downfield. <laughs> I'm getting hype on the sidelines. You got him open. Oh, he almost threw a pick. That looked like Andre Woodson right there. That was pretty bad. Oh, wait, here we go. Darren Sproles. Dude, the first tackle never works on Darren McFadden. I love this kid. Good read. And Cotri will not drop it. Let's go. Oh, breaking the tackles. Darren McFadden is nasty and he's running backwards, though. We're going to lose a yard. Darren McFadden's got a huge one right there. That was awesome. Should have somebody, at least in the flats. Yeah, there we go. Sean Holmberg, actually a pretty good receiver. We got an injury. He's got a man in the end zone. We got a touchdown. The rookie tight end, Darius Wilson. Should be on his cheeks. Swatted away again, but this one by Darrell Revis. This defense is swarming them everywhere. We're going to be a little bit aggressive here. We only got one timeout. We're going to see if John Scotland can run this two-minute drill to perfection. Oh, that is going into some coverage. That is a terrible pass. You know what? In the future, I'm just going to keep it on the ground. I'm going to play conservative because that was trash. And he gets it. So they get a free three points thanks to John Scotland just tossing it to him. Probably bad play calling by me. Oh, almost a deflection. A whiff from Darrell Revis. Carry Rhodes. Can he catch up to him? Yes, he can. He's wide open in the middle. Oh, but we're getting the sack. He's wide open. Damn. Dropping it short. Make that tackle. Pushing him out. Oh, yes, we're getting the sack. That's Alex yeah, McFarland. Sending it to the end zone, and that's out of bounds. That's going to be fourth. It's a shame they got the field goal in last half because now they're only a touchdown away from tying this game. Oh, here we go. Gets it away, and it's off of Andre Bender's back. Uh, rolling around in the pocket. That was nice. And uh, we go out of bounds. No catch. Oh, let's go. What a tackle from David Harris. Again, David Harris in the backfield. Back-to-back -back TFLs. And this is good because now they got to kick another field goal. And he's going to get it. So it's 9-14. to Go, go, go. You can outrun him. Up the field. That's a first down. I told you we're going to run the ball. We're going to settle down. Keep this clock moving. A little game breaker action. Oh, and there goes Darren McFadden. It's breaking the game, all right. You know, we got to play boring like this more often. Just running the football. Less chance of throwing picks. We've got Andre Bender in here running a route at tight end just because he has no idea what he's doing. That's what. <laughs> we got Sean Holmberg dancing around, though. Let's go. I'm going to see if Andre Bender can do the same thing on this play. If he can drop it off to him. See, we got him. Andre Bender catches it. Dancing around him. Oh, that might be a new money play. 
Just kidding it to him in the flats. I, I like that a lot. Holding. It is holding on the offense, but we just found ourselves potentially a new game-breaking type of play. See, they're not covering the flats again. We're chucking it to him. We got a good block right there, and we're just going straight out of bounds. Whatever. Okay, now they're covering it in the flats. Oh, but we still get it to him. Andre Bender too quick for him. Okay, we're going to do Darren Sproles on this fullback dive. See what happens. See if he can shoot the gap. And he can. Go, go, go. He's in there. Uh-oh, we got a few injuries on the team. Greg Jennings and Lance Freiberg. Oh, no, his right arm is at 24%. That does not look good. Oh, and uh, Greg Jennings' right arm is at 0%. So we had him for all of one game, and he might be already be dead. That is why the Packers cut him. His health was quite low. Oh, what a hit. And there goes Ben Roethlisberger. Can't be dragged down from behind. My goodness. Wrap him up. Don't let Ben Roethlisberger scramble in. Come on, Darius Dargan. Come on, they've been allowed a touchdown all day. Hold him out. Oh, we're there. Shutting him down, third and one. And we're in there. David Harris again. Third TFL of the game that I can remember. But man, he has been electric. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. We got to get in there. Ben Roethlisberger is super tired. David Harris busting through. And we pop it out. Darrell Revis, what a play. He was covering two guys over there by himself. And he just made a hell of a play. Oh, Andre Bender drops it. They were on top of him, though. He's trying to scramble. Somebody lay this dude out, please. Oh, Gary Martin coming to murder him. And that one's to the dirt. Was Gary Martin in coverage right there? That's hilarious. Okie dokie, third and goal. We have not allowed him to score a touchdown all game. That one's going to be short. Yes. Fourth and goal. Of course, they're going to go for it. They're down by 12 with 40 seconds left. He's running to the left. And we're going to tackle him. They're not going to get in. Now all we got to do is kneel it and take it home. John Scotland, a 69.6 QB rating. Nice. One touchdown, one pick, 128 yards, 10 of 19, 52% completion percentage. We limited him quite a bit, but that's what we needed. We won this game with defense and incredible rushing. We got Darren McFadden, 21 attempts for 131 yards and a touchdown. Darren Sproles, 5 for 28 and a touchdown. Receivers were a little bit disappointing, I gotta say. But I mean, we did not throw the ball very much. Andre Bender with two drops, 10 tackles from David Harris. He's just been a beast. Four TFLs from him. We got two sacks from Gary Martin. That was an insane pick for us. He's already starting a year off hot. Only 290 yards of total offense, but hey, we still got the win. I'm happy with that. Well, we got an injury alert for Greg Jennings. He's already broken his arm and he's out four to six weeks. And look at that. John Scotland already up to a 73 overall, so it's a good thing we started him. He's starting to improve a little bit already. Awareness is climbing every single game, though. Few seasons in and this guy will be elite. Oh, here we go. First college scouting of the year. Luckily, our GM has all the big schools scouted for every single position. So that's a relief. Mike Zazali, already 91 overall. Still crushing the NFL. How is the approval from Kerry Rhodes zero right now and he's still content? And Nick Mangold's approval is five. David Harris gets hurt in practice. He's out three to five weeks. We're definitely going to just go to the depth chart and move him down. That sucks. We m I might look to go sign somebody as some extra depth, though. So we got upgrades again. Schottenheimer, we're going to add it to the intangibles development for the quarterbacks. So that way we can improve John Scotland's awareness as fast as we can. Going to upgrade our GM for mid-major school insider. It unlocks additional scouting information about players from mid-major schools during the scouting process. Oh, wow. John Scotland is already up to an 80 overall just like that after a few weeks of practice. And I don't know if that's just because of his production grade or what. As always, we're going to super sim the next three games. So we immediately force a punt. That's a good sign. And let's run a play action play. And that is John Scotland, a caught 25 yards downfield. It is third and five. We're going to throw it again. And we got a first down from John Scotland. Coach wants to go for the field goal. I'm going fullback dive for the touchdown. John Holberg is in there. Even in the simulation, the fullback dive is money. Oh, they get a touchdown. All right, so they're tying the game here. Let's try Yeet. 
And that is a pass to Roscoe Lester. Let's go. Run it up the gut. We got a touchdown. Darren McFadden already 14 attempts here in the first half, but he's got himself a touchdown. They do not get a stop. Second touchdown of the game for Kerry Collins. Andre Bender, 25 yards downfield. First catch of the game for him by success. Let's try Yeet. And it's dropped by Darius Wilson. Let's just take the three. Pull ahead here before halftime. We do get it first and second half. And he's got Darren Sproles downfield for 30 yards. Run it up the gut. Darren Sproles on the next play punches it in. Looks like they're about to score again. This is going to be a high scoring game. 21 to 24. Let's try a check down. Boom! That's a dot from John Scotland to Roscoe Lester. That's a passing touchdown for John Scotland. 12 of 23 today. They are scoring quick. Four touchdowns on the game for Kerry Collins. We got it down to the two minute warning. This is an interesting situation here. We could try for a long field goal, but I think I'm going to go crazy. I think I got to run the ball here no game oh damn so we're shut down jump into the gameplay here because we got a three-point lead with 52 seconds left this is going to be stressful hopefully defense can get it done oh oh no oh that was a gift for you sandrick reigns oh they're gonna set up for the field goal right here Oh my goodness, he got it. We might have an overtime game. In head coach 09, I feel like there's always overtime games. You're telling me the head coach headset is not the heads? That's just upsetting. Get back there. Hell yeah, Darius. We got another injury. I don't have time to look at this. We're trying to win a game here. They're getting the first down. Gary Martin, torso injury out for the game. Everybody's getting hurt. Bruh, can we not tackle this guy? I don't even think this iced him. Oh, he doinked it! No good! We got a chance! Oh my goodness. Oh, what a catch from Roscoe Lesser. Oh, you almost threw it straight to Ray Lewis. Oh, you almost did it again. Come on, John Scotland. Get it together. I am stressing right now. John Scotland's making some horrible throws. He's stressing out here in the clutch. You got a guy over the middle. Beautiful catch, Andre Bender. Oh, we got a holding penalty. We got to try it again. They're double covering him. Uh, Kotri got it. It's fourth and five gonna be a defining moment why would we punt it in a situation like this it's overtime we're going for it i'm really stressed right now we need five yards this play averages five yards oh you made the worst read possible you made the worst read possible oh now they gotta just get in field goal range and retry i gotta run the ball more next time Can we get a pick, maybe? Can we get a pick? No, that... They're in prime field goal position now. Accept that immediately. Accept that immediately. So right here, it's a 50-yard field goal if we, they don't get any more yards. Play action pass off of his back foot. He's got a guy, Chris Gamble, wrapping up. Get there, get there. Oh, you just ran inside. You had a chance to get him. Will he miss it again? Ah, he got it. Damn, that's ball game. John Scotland was good today, though. Until overtime, then he looked like crap. 98.3 QB rating, one touchdown, 270 yards, 16 to 29, 55% completion percentage. Darren McFadden had another 100-yard rushing game, 26 attempts, 104 yards, and a touchdown. Darren Sproles, 13 attempts, 36 yards, and a touchdown. Sean Holmberg also punched one in. Kotriak, the only receiving touchdown today. Roscoe Lester, over 100 receiving yards. Andre Bender has got to increase his production. He's only gotten one catch. We had 415 yards of total offense today. But man, we went away with the loss. 
So we've just been running the ball a ton this game. There we go. Darius Dargan getting an interception on David Garrard. Maybe we can come back from this 14-0 deficit we got ourselves into to start this game. Uh, and Scotland throws it right back at him. That's upsetting. And they scored 21-0. We're getting our cheeks clapped. Hey, there we go. Scotland getting a touchdown. All right, get the ball first to start second half. Let's try and drive down and get a touchdown. Touchdown, Darren Sproles, who's had nine carries this game. He's getting a ton of carries near the goal line, and he finally gets in there. Tying the game here, and they get a field goal out of it. Okay, we got under four minutes to go. Boom, big time play. Two and a half minutes. Jumping a gameplay here because it's the final two minutes, and it's a three-point game. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to throw the ball now. This is getting too scary. Okay, third and goal. Come on now. I do not want another overtime game. Get into the end zone. Drops it. We're going to have to kick the field goal. We own this defense. We're going for it. No, I'm sorry. Do I do it? Well, this is a safe option for sure. And there's no guarantee the other way works. Actually, there's a, a high chance the other one doesn't work. Let's just tie the game here. I don't understand why you wouldn't do this. He missed it. He freaking missed it anyway. I, I want to die. You are so freaking lucky we haven't wasted our timeouts yet because Alexis Cerna, you would have been cut. I'm in pain. Not only do we go conservative on the defining moment, it doesn't even work out for us. Get this ball back so we can win. Oh no, they're going to the other side. Get out there, boys. Yes. Check down wins games. It's facts. There we go. Roscoe Lester got the first down. And that's swatted down, but it will stop the clock. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, you got him open. Swatted down again, Jesus. I don't see anybody. And that's swatted down again. Come on, man. Can we get the ball out of the freaking pocket? Hey, he's not going to hit a 60-yard field goal, so we got to go for this. He's sending that. Oh, what a catch from Andre Bender. He's breaking the tackle inside the five. Here we go, guys. Just a few more yards and we're in range. I can't call it because it's stupid. Whatever, whatever. Come on. Kicking a field goal. Okay, yeah. I was about to say the thing was popping up in my face. It wasn't going to let me kick the field goal for a second. Alexis Cerna boots it through as time expires. So we're going overtime. Shout out to Andre Bender. Okay, what a catch. Good Lord, I'm stressed. It is so hard to coach this team and be sane and we lose the coin toss again bruh oh no they're in range now should be an easy field goal too it's centered up i hate overtime in the nfl i never win these oh my god it hit the post and went in another game we lose in overtime and that's officially we're not gonna win Three out of our first four games. John Scotland, 90 QB rating. One touchdown, one interception, 311 passing yards. Andre Bender had his only catch of the game there to get us a chance there in overtime. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, that crushed my approval. It's down to 65 now. Oh, look at him. Andre Woodson getting Offensive Player of the Week. Four passing touchdowns, 346 passing yards for the Vikings. Oh, look at Andre Woods. He has nine touchdowns to one interception, almost a thousand yards this season through three games. He is, he's gone beast mode. He is dominating. Vikings got himself a steal. And he's playing with Adrian Peterson too, who's currently injured, but still playing with an amazing running back. He's got Sidney Rice, Daryl Jackson, Devin Thomas. Okay, so not amazing receivers. Sidney Rice is good, though. After losing back-to-back -back games, we are now last in our division. Patriots, of course, are undefeated. Sucks, because we could have won both of those games. John Scotland is developing, though. 94 throw power, 94 accuracy, 60 awareness. He is a rookie, but he is improving insanely quickly. And touchdown for John Scotland starting this game. Three for three, 47 yards and a touchdown. Oh, they got Tony Gonzalez, I forgot, playing against us. Revenge game for him, since we traded him. Oh, John Scotland is on it today. Dude, he has not incompleted a pass so far. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Let's go. Oh, Cotri looks to have a leg injury. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Number two on the game. Oh, Billy Bell gets an interception. Random middle linebacker stepping in for David Harris. Interception. I think that's the first incompletion of the game for John Scotland. Damn. Touchdown. He has 240 passing yards and only two incompletions. One of them is a pick. 
but he's got two touchdowns on the game as well. Touchdown John Scotland again, number three on the game, and this one goes to Darren Sproles again. We got 35 points in this game. Intercepted, start of the fourth quarter. Oh, another interception for John Scotland. Oh, we get another interception our way. Sanrick reigns this time. Whoa, almost 400 passing yards for John Scotland. Oh, we got another interception. Billy Bell, two on the game. And that's going to be the game. 42-17. to 17. We crushed the Dolphins. John Scotland went off in this game. 122.5 QB rating. Four touchdowns, two interceptions. 21 at 31, 67% completion percentage. Darren McFadden, of course, was excellent. 29 rushing attempts, 125 yards, and two touchdowns. Darren Sproles got two receiving touchdowns today. McBriar got one, and Bender got one. Roscoe Lester had five catches, 133 yards today. Very, very good game for him. Some random backup. Billy Bell getting two interceptions today. Sandrick Reigns had one, and Kerry Rhodes had one. 533 yards of total offense. Absolute domination. That's good, though. The fans wanted us to crush the Dolphins in week four, and that's exactly what we did. 42 to 17. I'm glad we won that game because my approval is back to 79 so I can breathe a sigh of relief. You know what's funny is we get rid of Andre Woodson. He goes off to the Vikings and never throws an interception again. We get John Scotland, who, to be fair, is a rookie, and he's still playing better than what Andre Woodson was doing. He still has seven interceptions to nine touchdowns and a thousand passing yards, so he's still doing pretty well. But in the future, we have a major problem here. The salary cap, 7.7 .7 million. And what the biggest thing that is terrifying me is the potential incentives is 36.5 million. We have to avoid those incentives at all costs. If any of those incentives go through, it hits our salary cap. I do not want that to happen. If that happens, I could be fired. Andre Woodson is continuing his MVP campaign. 12 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, 123.3 QB rating, 1,200 passing yards. He has the fourth most passing yards and the second most passing touchdowns in the entire NFL. It's tough to see, but I think for us, it was time to move on. Taking a look at John Scotland, he's up to 82 overall. In fact, his throw accuracy is about to max out probably by the end of the year. The awareness has a very high ceiling at 90, so I'm not worried about that. He'll get there eventually. I don't want to bore you guys and show every single one of them, but we have like 12 players that have potential incentives. And as it says right here, the potential incentives adds up to 36.5 million. There's no way we can afford that. We have 7 million left in cap space. Some of the biggest incentives are from some of the most surprising players. John Scotland, no surprise though, has the biggest at $3 million for three different categories. If I got to bench John Scotland late in the season to avoid these incentives, I'll do it. That is almost a third of the total right here. Chris Gambles makes me kind of nervous. $2 million in potential incentives right here. And one of them is only getting 50 tackles, which I feel like is achievable for him. Five interceptions as well. Well, if he has a few good games, he's already there. And I'm kind of torn because obviously you want your players to perform well, but I want them to perform well enough to where they're below this level and we're still winning games, if that makes sense. So I don't have to pay out these incentives. If it comes down to it, we might have to cut some big name players that I don't really want to, but you do what you got to do to survive in the NFL. Dude, holy crap. Lance Freiberg is already a 90 overall. All of this and his impact blocking is still only 69. Kind of crazy to me, but he's got 91 awareness and his blocking is pretty fantastic first game of the episode we're taking on the lions we are two and two on the season kind of been an up and down year had multiple overtime games which we've lost kind of disappointing but i know there's a high ceiling for this football team oh there goes calvin johnson absolute stud oh nice play punching the ball down wrap him up Darrell. that'll be fourth down we're getting the ball I don't see anybody open unless you throw it to that corner. He's just launching it deep. And we actually snag it. Who was that? Roscoe Lester way downfield. I'll take it. Dude, that is three TFLs for their team. Oh, he's got somebody. Nice catch. Running game's been dookie, but the passing attack's looking good. And Darren McFadden's just going to walk into the end zone. Kind of doing it backwards. We set up the run with the pass. Whoa, what the? I've never seen a pass like that in my life. All right, they're going to have to take the three. You got it. There's a weird angle. Some nifty moves right there, Sean Holmberg. Oh, Darren Sproles has a hole. 
What kind of angle are we taking here, Darren? It was just free if you just ran straight. All right, gonna fool him with the play action. We've ran the ball for like six minutes straight. He's just wide open. That was just perfect. What a call, coach. Andre Bender just sitting in the end zone, uncovered. Oh, he fumbled it. We get the ball at the one. Oh God, last time this happened, it turned into a safety. I'm gonna have nightmares. Oh, and Darren McFadden's trucking him, giving us some breathing room. Rip, not even getting the first down. Definitely punt this away. He's got to be out of bounds. Yes. Surely it won't, but we'll see. He gets a first down. Let's get a couple here. We don't need a ton. Oh, nice grab. This play has just been money every time. This play has been absolute money. I want to try this play one last time at the 20-yard line. If it doesn't work, obviously, we're going to kick the field goal. We got guys open across the middle. Darius Wilson. That's how that play's supposed to be run right there. And they call out the field goal the field unit goal. with about five seconds left. Please hike this ball right now. There we go. Sometimes they don't do it. And that's a field goal right before halftime. Perfectly executed one day. minute drill. Don't even need the two minute drill. That was executed in like 50 something seconds. Look at John Scotland today. I do not know what happened to him, but he's got a perfect passer rating at the moment. He's in danger of ruining our contract situation with his incentives. He's out here playing the game of his life, which I'm fine with if we win the game. But we might have to pull him early if it comes down to it, you know. Get rid of it. There we go. This play has not been incompleted yet. And Darius Wilson is off to the races. He's carried down around the 30-yard line, but what a play. This is the John Scotland we've been waiting for. They just leave the middle of the field open, man. This game has been relentless for John Scotland. He's just unleashed a whole new level of himself. I mean, granted, we're playing the Lions, which is one of the worst teams in the league, but we're just dominating out here. Right, the linebacker blew his assignment. Gary Martin smacked him to the nice dirt. Hustle. Let's go, Diedrich Webb. Oh my God, he's making people miss out there. Oh, he's going to get there. Darren Sproles is in. We're up by 28, scoring once again, 30 to 3. They got a pass interference penalty, so now they're at the one yard line. Will we hold him out? Absolutely not. But well, hey, we still got a huge ball. lead. Oh, that's picked off. It's by Chris Gamble, who I mentioned. If he gets five interceptions this season, that's a million dollars we have to pay him. But I am very happy he got that pick. Another one for Darren Sproles. Hey, it's hard to stop a team that's running this well. Yeah, we just killed the stat sheet today. Dewan Tribble gets a pick. Yeah, we're not going to get it. Did they call a timeout? Really? Okay, we'll kick an extra field goal. That's cool with us. So that way we still get 40. Binks it off the right post. I am not going to toot my own horn here, but I will say that's one of my best coach games of this series so far. Comes with a grain of salt because the Lions are the, one of the worst teams in the league, but John Scotland, a perfect quarterback rating. 158.3, two touchdowns here, 258 yards, 10 for 10. With a long of 51 too, it's not like he was dinking and dunking all day. He was doing most of his work through the play action though, and that's because running back by committee for our team is killing it. Diedrich Webb was fantastic. Ran away with it there at the end of the game 14 attempts 104 yards Darren Sproles got a couple of touchdowns where we pitched it out to the side and he ran in and then our tight end Darius Wilson is just continuing to be amazing almost 100 receiving yards today and then Andre Bender getting wide open for the touchdown we had two interceptions today Dewan Tribble and Chris Gamble as a team we had 451 yards of total offense almost 200 rushing yards 258 passing yards pretty much perfect on the offensive side of the ball Wow. The approval is now up to 90. Everyone is satisfied after that win. We look so strong and efficient that game. That looked like a Super Bowl winning team. Honestly, with how well our team performed that last game, I think it's time to start looking at contingency plans for what happens if we get these incentives.
Luckily, a lot of the receivers are probably not going to get their receiving goals because a lot of them need to be 1,000-yard receivers with 10 touchdowns each. Darren McFadden, he's likely to get all of his incentives, and it might be John Scotland getting his incentives too. We could avoid that by benching them for a while, but I do want us to be winning games. So if we're able to find like 10-ish million to save our butts, maybe we can do this? Jeez, Mike Zazali is just the best quarterback in the NFL right now. It's not even a question. Whoa, Felix Jones is just out here for a cool 900k so is chris johnson could reunite him with old darren mcfadden this would be reckless to sign him darren sproles already performs that action for our team in this game felix jones is a better version of darren sproles and we'd be getting him for even cheaper honestly i think i might do it and see if we can move some stuff around so this could save us some money darren sproles his cap hit is 1.8 million and he also does have a signing bonus so that's going to hit it a little bit more but i believe that hits it in the next season so we could get darren sproles for a fifth round pick played pretty well for us but it's hard to deny how good felix jones is at least on paper of course we're going to try to work them for everything we can so we could be saving some money here and still getting a higher rated player see i've been able to get him to budge for this fourth round pick you just gotta bug him with it for a while nah 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 you, you're gonna want to go with that fourth round pick so they're gonna take the offer fourth round pick for darren sproles saving a few bones so we are reuniting darren mcfadden and felix jones it's gonna be a nasty backfield for the jets i also signed this bo wilson guy because i know this may be shocking to some people but i might be looking to move carry Rhodes. he does have a nine million dollar signing bonus but we'll see if anybody wants to trade for him surely we could get something higher than what we got for darren sproles we want the second rounder so they'll take it the second round pick for 2011 and the seventh round pick but they wouldn't do it for just the second round pick interesting as i scan around that is the best offer do we send him to the dolphins we've already played him this year i do have a save ready in case this works out poorly for us but let's let's accept this offer for a second round pick this year and see what happens Okay, so a few things happened here. We got some salary cap room back for this season. We gained back about $5 million in salary cap room, but next year's penalties is $15.36 million. So we're cutting into next year's cap, but trying to survive this year. And honestly, I don't know how valuable Kerry Rhodes was to our team this season. He's been kind of declining for me. But we survived this year, which is kind of all that matters because I'm just trying to keep my job. You just kind of delay the inevitable, which I think some teams might do stuff like this all the time. I mean, Bo Wilson is not great. 84 potential, 81 overall, but he was just sitting out there for like 900K. And there's a ton of safeties out there in the free agency. So I think we can always have about a decent safety out there. Is it worth paying a strong safety crap tons of money if we can always find somebody who's good enough? It's also kind of nice because we were hurting for draft picks this year. I might even look to trade back so we can get it into the third round and save some cash this season. I'm kind of all over the place with the way I manage this team, but I think it might work out for us in the long run. Like we're winning with our ground game, which we made some changes with getting Felix Jones. But hopefully it all works out for us. John Scotland's throwing accuracy is now 96. This guy develops every single week. It is nuts. Hatred's still 5-0. Bills 4 and 2, we're 3 and 2, and the Dolphins, of course, at the bottom, 2 and 4. They might be getting better now that they have Kerry Rhodes. We'll see. First Three game without hits. Kerry Rhodes. We signed a random dude off the street to play strong safety for us to try and save some money this season. And David Harris is already in the backfield. Oh, yeah, by the way, I decided to show this game live just because I feel like playing it. Can we stop him short? We can. That's fourth down. Where is the play action play? This is the play action play I called a lot last game. I want to see, I mean, we have not really set up the run yet, but I want to see if John Scotland can do what he did last game. And he's got a guy open. It's Roscoe Lester. Number 25. It's not old tiny Darren Sproles anymore. It's Felix Jones, who had the space on the left, but decided to run to the right. Interesting decision. Let's give it to him again. I want to see what this guy's got, and he's got a first down for us already. Oh, let's go, Darren McFadden. See, this is how we win. We run the ball as much as we can and then run our play action. Oh, you got him. Darius Wilson again. This man is elite. That play is supposed to be run right there. Already got a pick. Nice, the free agent, Bo Wilson. Look at that. We signed him off the street. I've been sitting here with that decision as like it feels kind of weird. Like I don't know if I fully made the correct decision, but he's playing well so far. Oh, man. 
to the corner route. Andre Bender holds on to it after the nasty hit. Oh, let's go, Darren McFadden pushing everybody out of his way. 14 to nothing here in the first quarter. Oh my gosh, Darrell Rivas lower the shoulder on him and you injured him. That was sick. I think he's dead. He has not moved. Go Felix Jones, first down. Quickly out to the tight end again. Oh, he's wide open. Another touchdown for John Scotland. Cotri is just chilling in the end zone. The play action is burning him. So John Scotland is becoming an MVP candidate right now. He will not throw an incompletion. His guys are getting open for him. Even the running game is helping set up this play action. It is beautiful. Oh, what a snag. Yeah, baby, all right. They're booing him off the field. Oh, finally he gets an incompletion. It's because he gets bullied at the line. He's throwing it deep. He's got a man. They might score on this drive. And he's in. They finally get on the scoreboard here with two minutes left to go in the first half. Oh, incompletion. The guy just quit running at it. You got somebody underneath. Oh, it's picked off. Please tell me that's a penalty. Please tell me we get a second chance and it's not going to be a pick six before halftime. That'd be pain. Holding. Oh, holding on the offense. You mean on them? So it's going to be like the interception? Okay, so I think the interception still counts. Super confused. Says it says we're going to halftime. So I guess that's it. So the interception counts. Better than them scoring again. Still a bad throw. Darius Wilson is becoming one of my favorite players. He just constantly gets open on that post route. How about Bo Wilson? Already getting an interception and a deflection in his first game for the team. Oh, almost picked again. He's throwing some dangerous passes. Oh, we're getting snagged on. Please stop him. We're going for the cinematic one here on the one yard line. And he fumbles it. We get it. Bo Wilson picks it up. What a debut for the Jets. Fumble recovery and an interception. Oh, God. Fullback ran the wrong route, but we still found somebody. Of course, it's Darius Wilson. Oh, that was such a good catch. I'm going to go for it here on this fourth down just because we're like near midfield. Oh, worse route to throw to but it's fine turnover on downs just one yard short of it oh he had a chance at the pick chris gamble but that's fine deflection works for me because you don't get closer to your incentive i sound like such a cheap skate it's like i can't pay you guys anything else i mismanaged my money damn it oh wilson stepping up and punching him down Punch down from yeah, Darrell Rivas. Do Not getting snagged on in the end zone this time. We've learned our lesson from a couple of years ago. They're going to stay on the field and try and go for it. Aggressive. Not even take the field goal here. Oh, no. They're going to get the first. Their aggressiveness pays off. Oh, my goodness. This guy just flew to the end zone. Felix Jones is perfect for these toss plays. Look at that. I'm going to try a screen pass. Let's see if it'll work with Felix Jones. He's got 85 catching, which is tremendous for a running back. Actually, it might be one of the best on the team, actually. I mean, he's open, but John Scotland doesn't even get rid of it. So I think these games are just kind of bugged in this game. They're not programmed very well. So I'm going to stray away from doing that ever again. There we go. Look at this. We got Felix Jones at fullback, Diedrich Webb at running back. We're going to see if we can d drop it off. Oh, he's going to just launch it to the outside. That's okay, kind of sucks. I thought he had him in the back of the end zone, but he overshot him. Oh, Alexis Serna missing it in the clutch. Oh, 
Holy moly, a 17-yard run. They always pick it up on third down. Get him. He's throwing it off his back foot, and he still finds a guy. Get him. Beams it to the end zone, and we swat it down. Bo Wilson again. This one in the clutch. Oh, he's out of bounds. That's turnover on downs. Time to run this ball and take this victory. Oh my goodness, Diedrich Webb wants to win this game right now. Back-to-back -back victories. 2-0 in this episode so far. 21-14. We did not score a single point in the second half, but we held on for the victory. John Scotland still pretty good. He had one bad pass, which was an interception. Quarterback rating 117.9. Two touchdowns, one pick. 224 passing yards, 15-21. 46 yards for Felix Jones, 56 for Diedrich Webb, and 60 for Darren McFadden, who also got himself a touchdown. Darius Wilson continues to get near 100 yards or so every single game. Got himself another touchdown. Roscoe Lester, 7 catches, 81 yards. Andre Bender had one catch, and Cotri had one in the end zone as well. Very good debut for Bo Wilson. Six tackles, one interception, one deflection, and one fumble recovery. Almost 400 yards of total offense, nearly 170 rushing yards, and 220 passing yards. Good day at the office for us. Approval is 95. We're nearing my highest approval ever. I'm going to upgrade the improved tackling for Bob Sardisco. Still blown away how good he is at everything. Chemistry, play calling, strategy, performance. It's all maxed out. Not great at developing players though, but once they're playing, geez, they're unbelievable. Going to improve running back discipline for Jimmy Ray. For our wide receiver coach, I am going to purchase improved release. Can you believe that? Mike Zazali, not surprisingly, number one in the MVP race. But Andre Woodson at number two. He's got 24 touchdowns to only five interceptions this season. That is just ridiculous. How did Andre Woodson go from dud to stud just like that he has as many touchdowns as he had his rookie season and we're only like halfway through the year Andre Woodson's gonna break freaking records with the Vikings but he was garbage with us I'm fine it's fine everything's fine you know what's making me kind of scared is John Scotland's up for the Pro Bowl so that's gonna be another three million dollars in incentives Darren McFadden's up for the Pro Bowl yeah we're gonna be paying a lot in incentives this year but hey that means we're good Darius Wilson might make it but I don't think that's one of his incentives yep John Scotland and maxed out his throwing accuracy keep working on that awareness goes up by like three every single game oh starting this game off hot david harris punching down marshawn lynch in the backfield they're still above us right now in the standing so if we win this game we might be able to jump ahead of them oh he just did they just bump heads that's hilarious oh that's what we're talking about darren mcfadden that was fun to watch. Oh no, Andre Bender drops it in the end zone. Come on, guys. They want me to go for it here? I'd actually be down for it. We only need four. And we got him in the end zone, Cotchery. Boom! Defining moment works out. So that means my approval goes up to 96. Oh, we get the ball. Let's go, DeMarco Tribble. Defense has caused so many turnovers. That's probably why we're winning so many of these games. Way to find him. Keep running, Roscoe Lester. There we go. Oh, Darren McFadden's still going. That's a huge touchdown. 17 yards out. He punches it in. Oh, he got past the defense. He could be gone. Yeah, man is speedy. I about to say, I guess this was not going to be an easy win for us. Sacked him again. Darius Dargan. Does he have two on the game? Another defining moment. They want me to blitz again. And they missed him. It worked. Approval 97. Could we see 99 today? Just keep going. Diedrich Webb runs it in That's for the, the TD. Do Utilize the talent we got. Look at that offensive lineman hype. Cinematic for the win. Oh, we're shutting him down once again. They're down. They're going to be throwing it. Oh, and they get it over the middle. 
How do we fumble it? Bruh. Holy no way. Lee Evans just one-handed snagged that. I don't even know what to say. I got to get pissed at that. And they're going to tie the game right here with that. That's frustrating. Not only do we fumble the ball, they snag it on us. Way to zip it to him. Kotri could be gone. They're behind him. Touchdown on fourth down. <laughs> Good hit. And that stopped him short of the line too. Perfect. I'll go. Diedrich Webb's getting another one. Yes. We're up by two touchdowns now. All right, they got a third and goal on the one. Can we stop him? He fumbles it. We get it. Yes. Oh, this is a return from Darius Dargan. He's definitely faster than Trent Edwards. This is going to extend our lead even more. No flags either. No replay, nothing. Gotta love that. Now we're up by 21 points. Darius Dargan, a superstar on the defense. Oh, wow. Oh, in his face. He can't do anything. They have no choice but to go for it. And they freaking get it. This guy has so many receiving yards today. Oh, that's an interception for Darius Dargan. Hell of a game for this kid. And they get in, but we still have a massive lead, so I think we'll be all right. Was that John Scotland on the return? What the hell? And we crushed the Bills too. 42 to 28. Such a strong performance from so many players. John Scotland, 122.3 QB rating, two touchdowns, no picks, 206 yards, 12 of 21. Darren McFadden dominated too. 137 yards, one touchdown. Diedrich Webb, six attempts, 52 yards, and two touchdowns. Two touchdowns for Kotri as well. Darius Dargan. That might be his best game yet. 11 tackles, 4 TFLs, 2 sacks, 1 pick, 1 deflection, 1 fumble recovery. In which he brought it all the way back for a touchdown. This guy better get Defensive Player of the Week or I'm fighting somebody. There he is, Darius Dargan. Defensive Player of the Week. Mike Peterson sprained his knee. He's going to be out 1-3 to three weeks. I don't know if we necessarily need a third tight end anyway. Maybe it's time to part ways with a good old Mike Peterson. So the Patriots lost their last two games. We beat the Bills in that last game. So that jumps us up to number one in the AFC East. This is the first time this has ever happened. That puts us in a great position because we are number three in the AFC right now. It would be the first time we make playoffs if we win our division. Darius Dargan again, bruh. This man is a sack machine. Dargan. Oh, that's an interception. Dewan Tribble's yes, second yes, of the year. Nice oh, that's a great throw. Diedrich Webb is unstoppable that's in the red three, zone. Three Let's go. He's wide open. Lester's gone. They just don't have a safety back there. We're getting another huge play. And we got another stop. Like, we're just dominant on every single area today. Play action got him again, and we got Andre Bender deep. Fastest man alive is in the end zone. We are torching him through the air. Oh my god, we got a fumble. <laughs> the poor Bears. Over the top, it works, man. He's sliding into the end zone. That is such a cool animation. 28 to nothing. Will I even need to play the rest of this game, man? John Scotland is torching him. Nice job, everybody. What? We're counting that as a fumble? Are you kidding me? Oh my. We just killed that man. Alex McFarlane went straight for his cheeks. Going QB sneak. He's in there. 35 to nothing. Andre Bender, left arm injuries out for the game. X-rays pending. That's tough. Oh my, he could be gone. 
Thomas Killebrew, a hell of a play. It's our second huge receiving touchdown today. And this one's to the rookie. 42 to zero in this game against the Bears. Oh, that is the perfect punt. Let's see if we can get this safety. Just make it even more brutal. Oh, we got it. 44 to zero. Safety, two points. The Bears stink. <laughs> Another one. They're just so bad, man. Man, when you start upgrading your coaches in this game, you become dominant. I even go to Super Sim and we get an interception. Oh my goodness, man. Like, I'm not even trying to score anymore. We're just running the ball up the middle and, and scoring immediately. It's so easy. <laughs> the game just ends right there. 58 to 0. Poor Saps. Sean Scotland was perfect today. 147.9 QB rating, five touchdowns, 350 passing yards, 13 to 20, 65% completion percentage. Darren McFadden, 14 attempts, 57 yards. Diedrich Webb had two touchdowns. John Scotland. So John Scotland had six total touchdowns today if you include his rushing touchdown on top of it. Caleb Rue had one catch for 92 yards for a touchdown. Lester had two for 84 in a touchdown. Cotri had four for 75 in a touchdown. Bender had two for 54 before he got hurt. He has a touchdown and Darius Wilson had one too. So spreading the love around. Gary Martin had three sacks. Dewan Tribble had three sacks. So that's strange. The Patriots jumped us. We're both six and two. We had the better points for and the lower points against the higher win streak. The divisional record is the exact same, so I don't know why they're getting the bias to go ahead of us, but we play them this week, and whoever wins this game will be the one who's officially number one in the AFC East, at least at this point in the season. No doubt about it, John Scotland gets player of the week, six total touchdowns. With that performance last week, John Scotland is number two in the MVP voting behind Mike Zazali in the AFC. Surely he'll win Offensive Rookie of the Year. He's just been amazing. <laughs> Defensive Rookie of the Year is just dominated by us. We are killing it. Ooh, I'm number four in Coach of the Year voting right now. That's cool. We have the best offense in the league by far. 34.6 points per game. The closest is the Giants at 30.1. We actually do not have the most total offensive yards. We are number two behind the Raiders. We have 3,300 total offensive yards. The Raiders have 35. We have the second best rushing attack in football at 1,200 rushing yards. And our passing attack is actually kind of lower. We have about 2,000. And the highest is, the, of course, the Raiders with 3,300. We have 20 passing touchdowns, which is pretty strong. Of course, the Raiders at the top with 28. But we have the most rushing touchdowns with 17. We have a very balanced attack, and that's probably why we're winning so many games. Oh yeah, that's why the Bears are stunk so bad. They have the lowest points per game in all of the NFL. Out of all the starting quarterbacks in the NFL, John Scotland has the highest QB rating with 123.1. 20 touchdowns to 8 picks, 2,000 passing yards, 63% completion percentage, and now he has a long of 92. Andre Woodson and Mike Zazali still looking crazy impressive. But hey, I still think we won the battle. John Scotland has been amazing for us. Man, we constantly get smacked by the Patriots, but we're starting this game off hot. Nice Darius Dargan in the backfield already, man. Gosh, he's always zipping it to Randy Moss. This guy's serious? always open. Oh, there goes Randy Moss. I mean, we're going to try our best, but it's the freaking Patriots. Best team in the league. We have no agenda boost this game. Usually we have a couple, but it was a short week for us. So just our raw talent's going to have to win it. Starting this game off well. Sneaking through, he fumbles it, and they get it. Oh, no. Come on, guys. So we're getting through, but just Tom Brady's too good. The difficulty changes in this game are crazy. When you play against a good coach, it's going to take everything for you to win, but we get a pick right here. Bo Wilson bringing it out past the 10. Oh, Wilson has been a nice surprise for this team. We might look to re-sign him. He's just been very good. Go and play action here. It fooled him, throwing it off his back foot. Andre Bender, he's got the speed. There's no way they're going to catch up to him. Moved him up the depth chart to number two, and bam, he's already in the end zone. Let's go. See, I'm telling you, the Patriots, I don't think they're going to get the best of us this year. Our offense is just way too high-powered. 
He's zipping it to the end zone, and we get snagged on Randy Moss. Two touchdowns on the game already. This is going to be the Randy Moss versus Andre Bender show today. It's too quick for him. Felix Jones, a big time run too. Dude, they can't stop our running game. Play action again, quickly to the tight end, and we hold on to it. Nope, oh, they just tripped. Jumping to the outside. McFadden's reading the holes very well today. Well, they're pressed up on the line. We're going to have to get rid of this quick, but this might work. Andre Bender again. I'm telling you, it's going to be Randy Moss versus Andre Bender today. What are you talking about mediocrity for? We just scored a touchdown. What a play. All right, he's going play action again. We know cover up Randy Moss. That's all we need. Oh, they missed him. Fourth yeah, down. Yes. The way to do it. So they're going to have to take the three here. He gets it. I don't know why this guy is so hype. It's literally just a chip shot. See, McFadden's picking all the right holes. Any other running back would have been dropped in the backfield on that one, but he takes it 11 yards for the first. Oh, no, oh, he's on the ground. That's not a fumble. Okay. Just tell him to shake it off. They're letting that stand. Okay, how much did the Patriots pay the refs today? Oh, my gosh. This guy's gone, too. You've got to be kidding me. The Patriots just paid off every single ref. That's unbelievable. What the hell just happened? Dude, again, there's no way. Come on. We need okay, something. we got it back. I think what it is, is the Patriots coaches are so highly upgraded that they have the, like, force fumble thing. His third fumble of the game. It's just crazy against the Patriots. So we're going to have to kind of work our strategy around that. Oh, that was so dangerous. Please hit the ground. Oh, my gosh. You got Bender. Or McFadden, too. Can he make it work? Kind of close. We than to call that. We're definitely going for it. I'm pissed. They, they hacked the game, and like they've been the bane of my existence for so long. He's short of it. Well short of it. A lot better than that. There we go. We forced a fumble. Or is that a pass? They're calling that a pass now? This game, these refs, they've been paid off. You can't convince me otherwise. Oh, he's open. Another touchdown. Like those bad teams, we spank him because I'm a way better coach than them. But against the Patriots, damn near impossible. There we go, McFadden. Come on. You want to find Andre Bender. He's been hot today. Oh, he threw a pick. Everything's crashing and burning today. We got an injury too. Oh, and we dropped a pick. It's just constant pain around here. We've got to force a turnover. It's our only way to get back in this game. We're down by so many scores. Ugh, I mean, we're just getting torched. Oh, no, we can't tackle them. Damn, they're slaughtering us. 38 points in the first half. He's heaving it. Oh, we snag it. There we go, Kachari. Let's go. We're just going to take the three here. About a 47-yarder. We don't even get it. We don't even get it. So, uh, Alexis Serna has missed more than half of his field goal this season. That's just really tough. And after a game like this, we get down the field and nothing. Like, the field goal wouldn't have changed much, but we were so far away, we had no more timeouts. This just sucks right now, but we get ball first next half. Yeah, and that should take us to halftime. Look at this. We've already turned the ball over three times. They already have 300 passing yards, almost 400 yards of total offense. Nobody blocked him at all. Now that was painful to watch. <laughs> that just summed up this whole game. Oh, he got rid of it. Way to avoid the sack. That was all nice. Right. Got to find the open man. And he threw another pick. That's two picks today.
Are they in it again? They're 40 plus. That's the third receiving touchdown for Randy Moss today. Yeah, <laughs> I'm guys like, what is there left to say? This game feels over. Well, there was an attempt. Come on, Alexis Cerna. You're like three of seven on the year for field goals. He gets this one. <laughs> Doesn't really help the score much, but we kind of needed some momentum. Ah, another touchdown. 50 plus. That's a fourth receiving touchdown for Randy Moss. Yes, yeah, game's over. Touchdown, John Scotland. Yeet. We got a fumble back. <laughs> Can they go on a run here in the final five seconds? Uh, no, they can't. 55 to 24. What an insanely high scoring game. Looked competitive there for a while, but they just started going insane. They forced fumbles, turnovers. They wouldn't stop scoring. Patriots are so difficult to beat. Darren McFadden, 18 attempts, 114 yards, but he did fumble the ball three times, which is kind of crazy because his carrying is like in the 90s. Andre Bender had his best game of the year so far. Five catches, 151 yards, three receiving touchdowns. Really one of the only guys doing anything in the receiving game. Damian Harris, 10 tackles, two TFLs. We had one sack today from DeMarco Tribble. And one interception from Bo Wilson. Alexis Cernus, four of eight on the year and for field goals. Been pretty frustrating. We might look to move on from him next year. I mean, both of their guys got player of the week. Like, I don't know what else to do against that. Randy Moss, four receiving touchdowns, eight catches, 122 yards. I don't know how to stop him for real. Holy crap, he won so much money. I don't know about this one, Felix Jones. Ugh, this might be a situation where the end of the year we just part ways with Felix Jones. He's a great player, but we can get somebody like Chris Johnson for basically nothing in free agency. And we already have a great running back in Darren McFadden. Felix Jones has a 91 potential, but I'm not paying this much money for a backup running back. That would be silliness of me. So they jump ahead of us in the AFC East, but we do get them here pretty soon. Another good thing though, the Bills did lose another game. So that means we're gonna have a little bit more space and we're still near the top end of the AFC. So we just gotta make sure we win the other games as well. Cause the Patriots are at the very top. Because we're trying to get through the rest of the season pretty quickly, I'm not gonna super sim this game. We're just gonna sim it outright so we can get through this game pretty quickly. Hey, an approval goes up. So we get the win versus the Packers. John Scotland, four touchdowns, nice. Glad to see he's doing well without us there. Darren McFadden, two more fumbles. Katri, seven catches, two receiving touchdowns. We got one for Wilson, the tight end, and one for Darren McFadden. Got a couple picks today. Darrell Revis and Bo Wilson, who was honestly, he's like, what, three interceptions on the year already? And Alexis Cerner, still one of two. This guy is frustrating right now. If we want to win the division, we have to win this game against the Patriots. They got the best of us the first time around, but we can't let them get it the second time. Oh my goodness. So John Scotland's throw power just increased one to 96. His accuracy is already maxed out at 97, but his awareness is now up to 77. Like through his rookie season, he might be at his full potential already. Look, I don't want to go out and limb and say we got the best quarterback in the league, but I think we got the best quarterback in the league. I'm going to try something this game. We're going to have Dallas Alford start ahead of Sanric Reigns, and we're going to move Sanric Reigns to corner this game because we have, let's just say, a few weak spots at corner. Why are you running to the inside? He's on the outside. He fumbles it, though. We got it. We got it. Yeah, just like that, D. Just like that. All right, we're on the one. We don't want an Andre Woodson situation. They just gave it to the fullback, and we got a couple. Oh, that was so close. Good thing he went to the outside there. Way to find him. Nice catch. Been methodical, having to use like three downs in these past couple of drives, but we're making it. Good blocking. Oh, we got guys. Good read. That's a fullback trucking him. Way to go, Sean Holmberg. Oh my goodness, I don't know how he caught that, but I'm so proud of you. Go, go, go. He's close. Let's go, Scotland. He's in there. Yes. I didn't see that coming. Neither did your mom, but we got the lead here in the second quarter. 99-yard drive. Can't get better than that. Oh, he fumbled it again. That's Billy Bell scooping it up and running. He's going to return it all the way. Finally, the cheese is in our favor. 
Billy Bell scoop and score. Got to get hyped for that. They've got no one open. All right, he's about to be across the middle. He's hucking it. Get back there and pick that off. He threw it straight to you. Come on now. Whoa, way past us. Hopefully we have that tight end covered. He's not. He's not. But we were recovered. Oh, he doinked it. No good. It remains 14-0. All the cheese is our way this game. I dig that. Oh my. He just sent him flying. I'm going to challenge that. Yeah, that's the ground. <laughs> Look at him screaming. Ah! 100% down on the ground. Yeah, we got the ball back. Uh, sweet. Good read. You got him. Or just throw it a mile over him. What's the deal with that? Up a play like that? You had the tight end. You got to get rid of it. I didn't see that coming. I guess he was getting smacked in the face, but it's still. Even it. Oh, he dropped it. That's fourth down. Nice moves. Jared McFadden's just carrying us on this drive. He's in there, spins off of him, and slides in. What was that? I like it, though. That's fancy. But we got a holding penalty. Well, that killed the mood. You got him. You got him wide open. Roscoe Lester does the slide for him. 21 to zip. Oh, wow. He's got a lane. Keep going, McFadden. Ooh. McFadden's doing his thing today. We got a holding penalty and we got tackled in the backfield. So now it's second and 25. Oh, he just threw it straight to the safety. What a waste. This is a basic play. How can we not run a basic play? He turned around and got popped. Get him. Yes. That's clutch. Now they got to try for the field goal. He gets it. That's the first points they get all day. Nothing takes me off more than when they mess up my play. Hit the running back. What are you doing? That looked like my reads out there. That was so bad. Like Felix Jones is just running down the sidelines on the left side. Doesn't even look at him. Doesn't even flinch. That guy's open across the middle, but I think they're running into our zone. He dropped it. Yes. Yeah, that's how we do it. Looks like they're going to go for it here on this fourth down. They got a guy open. Oh, he popped it out. Yes. I'm loving this. What a hit. What a play from Darrell Revis. Punched it down. Once we have our strategy in order, we can definitely beat the Patriots like this, as we've seen today. But we also need a little bit of luck, which we've also gotten. Oh, and then big plays from Darren McFadden breaking tackles all over, all over the place. I'll take that too. I mean, he's just unbeatable. Darren McFadden is on it today. Call, oh, you definitely got him. Katri, way deep. Find him. Find him. Andre Bender in the end zone. Oh, no, they got a touchdown. We're up by 18 points, but it makes me nervous nonetheless. We return the favor to the Patriots. That one felt really good. The first game against them stung so hard. John Scotland, the two picks, though, that was kind of frustrating. But other than that, he was solid. The running game was fantastic, especially Darren McFadden. How about Andre Binder getting another receiving touchdown? And so did Roscoe Lester. Darius Wilson had the most receiving yards with 77. Darrell Revis led us in tackles today with eight. We had three TFLs, zero QB sacks, no picks. Tanner Reigns and Billy Bell fell on the fumbles. That'll give us a much better chance to win the division. Wow, so we beat the Patriots and they're still considered ahead of us. So far this season, Andre Woodson has 3,200 passing yards, 31 touchdowns to seven interceptions. Definitely the best season he's had of his career so far. He's been sacked 26 times, 61% completion percentage, but only has a long of 33, so maybe he's dinking and dunking mostly. And he's still on his rookie contract at $590,000 a year. So the Vikings have a steal in Andre Woodson.
John Scotland in his rookie season so far has 29 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. He's got 2,700 passing yards, 121 QB rating, and a 63% completion percentage. He's way better in my opinion. Definitely more efficient than Andre Woodson ever was. All right, let's get in Andre Woodson's head early. Look at him. He's going to hand it off. They do not have Adrian Peterson healthy today. It looks like their backup's going to have to do it. Hey, that wasn't half bad. Andre Woodson is bound to throw a few picks, right? Already throwing a pick. Straight to Darius Dargan. There you go, Andre, your old self. The first possession of the game for him. Andre Woodson throws a pick. Ah, feels right in the world. Oh my god, Scotland almost threw it straight back to him. Across the middle. Why are we throwing it at the safety? You got guys underneath. Please don't throw it at the safety, John Scotland. You gotta find somebody open underneath. Or just huck it to the safety. The exact same guy three times in a row. Like, are you trying to compete for who can throw the most picks this game? Oh, he almost threw another one. Sandrick Reigns was right there, who has the highest catching on our entire defense, but can't manage to hold on to that one. No, he threw another one. Two possessions, two picks for Andre Woodson. Ow. Uh, we dropped it. We have not completed a pass yet. Come on, Alexis, starting to boot it through. Whew, he's been on a cold streak, but he finally got that one. So we're on the board first, three nothing. You know what's even more hilarious to me is in my head cannon. It makes me think that Andre Woodson is just trying his heart out there, but his classic ways—he can't get past the interceptions. Throw another one. Give me another one. And that's going to be four down at least, so we're getting the ball back. That's what I'm talking about. Tight end. Or to their safety. What the hell, John Scotland? Same, bro. Why are we, like, both quarterbacks just hucking it to the safeties for no reason at all? Okay, Andre Woodson's just turning it on now. Oh, he threw off his back foot like an idiot. Good stop. We're going to have to take the field goal. And they get it. So tie game here at three. It's been a stink fest. Oh, he tried to go aggressive. Oh, my Lord. Watch the man short. What are you doing, David Harris? You ran away from the guy for no reason. Oh, they got him. Sidney Rice, touchdown. He almost threw another pick. Like, seriously, John Scotland is booty cheeks today. He threw another one. Third pick of the game. But there's a flag on the field. David Harris is going to bring it back to the house. Please tell me it's on them. Oh, sweet. And that's going to stay in. Pick six for David Harris. Third interception of the game for Andre Woodson. He's literally handing us the game, just like he used to give to all of our previous opponents when he was on our team. Oh, my. We just murdered him. Calais Campbell just went untouched and killed him. There's got to be pent-up rage from when he played on the Jets. How many times he made him lose games. Get in the backfield. I want to see him get hit again. Spank him. All right, they're going to be short, so we're going to get the ball. We've got an injury on a freaking field goal attempt, and that's nowhere close for them. Juan Tribble, right leg injury out for game. That's tough. All right, John Scotland, please don't throw it to their safeties. You got guys open. And we had another guy running the way of the I'll pass to take it out the Go way. I Who coaches this team? It can't be me. Who, who told him to be bad? It, it's no way it's me. Like, there can't be any brain cells left in there, lads. You're kind of stupid. I'm going to see the pass from this angle. So we're not going to see it develop, but we see uh, Felix Jones across the middle. Oh, and we see Cotri snagging it. He breaks it. We're inside the 20. He's going to go for it. He got across the middle. Across the middle. Kill a brew. Touchdown. Perfectly executed. Booyah. <laughs> Three turnovers to two turnovers. We have 90 yards of total offense, which is kind of bad. Two picks for John Scotland. Three for Andre Woodson in that first half. Great read. Okay. He didn't force it to the safety this time. That's that a big improvement. Good. 
Oh, nice toss. Oh my god, he got that? Somebody Thomas Killebrew killing it in the end zone. Like high school kids. You want, if this is a high school kid throwing this, sign him for years. We got another one. <laughs> it's four interceptions. Ah, oh, he threw it to the grass. Take the three points. And Alexis Cerna boots it through. Nice job. Oh, he threw five. Is this going to be another pick six? Sandrick Reigns is gone. Five interceptions for Andre Woodson. Two pick sixes. He's handing us the game. You can't make this stuff up. This is hilarious. This is cathartic. It's full circle. I feel at peace with trading Andre Woodson now. They can have him for 590k. They may not be paying in dollars, but they're definitely paying with their patience. No way he does it again. He was about to throw six. David Harris was right there. That's six. This man threw six interceptions, and it's going to be another pick six. It's going to be three total interceptions returned for touchdowns today. And Darrell Revis is trolling him to the end zone. No way. Oh, I thought it was going to be seven. They get the I'm touchdown like finally for him. I thought he was going to do it again. We got to check out Andre Woodson. Three touchdowns, six interceptions. Keep in mind, he went in with seven interceptions on the entire season to start this game. John Scotland, two touchdowns, two picks, 134 yards, 7 to 16. Like, we barely even had the ball. Darren McFadden, 10 attempts, 37 yards. Kotri, three catches, 75 yards. Killebrew had two amazing catches for touchdowns. These defensive stats are ridiculous. We had four total sacks, six total interceptions. Darrell Revis had two. Dargan had one, Harris had one, Gamble had one, and Reigns had one. That was just murder. Like, we didn't even need an offense. Andre Woodson just kept throwing us interceptions, and we, we got, a, like, what, two or three pick sixes? Andre Woodson nearly doubled his interception total on the year. How was he still up for the MVP after that game? Surely that'll knock him down a peg. But John Scotland's moving up. He's at number four. He's been throwing a lot of interceptions recently, so hopefully that goes away. Oh, wow. Sean Holmberg might make the Pro Bowl. Gary Martin's at number four as well. So my game crashed when I was doing the simulations, but we ended up beating the Chargers 24 to 14, and then we lost to the Browns 24 to 14 as well. Exact same score just flipped. They didn't really miss any gameplay, but here is the standings for the AFC East. We are 10 and 4, so are the Patriots. The Bills are at 9 and 5. So the Bills really aren't too much of a threat, but we do have to take care of business today. John Scotland's throw power and throw accuracy are now maxed out at 97. He's got to have the best arm in all of the NFL. And his awareness is ticking up quickly every single game. Oh, I didn't even realize his learning maxed out as well. It's incredible how fast he developed. Of course, we put most of our resources into developing our quarterback. I'm glad we did that because he is the most important player on the team. So they start their opening drive with a touchdown with Marshawn Lynch. Touchdown, Darren McFadden from John Scotland. Yeah, this is going to be a shootout, isn't it? They score a touchdown right back. Nice. See, Darren McFadden in these simulations is extremely good at, like, receiving. Three-yard run from Sean Holmberg. Let's go with a QB run here. Seriously, we couldn't get a single yard? Oh, we got a safety, though. That works. Touchdown. Roscoe Lester, 27 yards out. Jeez, they're just hucking it downfield. They got a field goal. Touchdown, Sean Holmberg. Regaining the lead here in the third. Oh, my God. They just returned it all the way on the kickoff. All right, I guess just take the three, tie the game here. 25-25, start of the fourth quarter. All right, I think I might jump to gameplay here since it's the final three minutes. Oh, I didn't realize we're in the snow here. This is huge. Oh, Darren McFadden. Don't tell me it's a freaking holding penalty. My gosh. All right, we got a couple. Need a big play. Need a big play. Where's the blockers? Cut up field, Darren McFadden. Okay. Right at the two-minute warning. 25-25. This is a very critical game. And we get it in the end zone. Andre Bender steps up and snags it. That's big time. No crazy plays from you, Trent Edwards. Please just throw a pick so we can end this game. Right across the middle. We should have picked that. Oh my god, Gary Martin, huge play. Swatting it down in his face and pushing him to the snow. 
Third down, come on, clutch up. And we sack him to Marco Trivel. He gets it for the first. Get a pick, get a pick. Oh no. Pick that off, yes, Sandrick Reigns. Perfect. Go. That should do it, Darren McFadden first down. They only got one timeout left. Sweet victory. 32 to 25, very stressful. But I'm glad we jumped in there at the end to see that happen live. John Scotland, 135.5 QB rating, three touchdowns, one interception. 253 passing yards, 76% completion percentage. Darren McFadden, 22 attempts, 116 yards. Sean Holmberg had the only rushing touchdown today. Darren McFadden led him in receiving yards with 83 yards. Andre Bender had four catches, 74 yards, and the game-winning touchdown there in the fourth. Or maybe I should say the game-winning interception for Sandrick Reigns. That was huge. In the end zone. Oh, sweet. So we officially clinched a spot in the playoffs. Still fighting for the division, though. Beat the Dolphins 38-3. John Scotland, 138 QB rating, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Darren McFadden, 19 carries, 89 yards, one touchdown. Kotri, 97 yards. Andre Bender had another touchdown. So did Roscoe Lester and Darius Wilson. Another sack for Calais Campbell. Another pick for Chris Gamble. We had two fumble recoveries, one for David Harris and one for Dickerson. I don't know who that man is. Wow, the Patriots got real lucky here. We both finished 12-4. and four. We both split our games against each other and our, both of our divisional records was 5-1. and one. But because they're conference record was 9 and 3 and ours was 8 and 4. They ended up taking the division just barely. But we were the fourth best team, so of course, we are going to be making the playoffs here. So to finish off his rookie season, John Scotland had 113.5 QB rating, 38 touchdowns, 17 picks, 3800 passing yards, and a 62% completion percentage. Darren McFadden almost had 1500 rushing yards. He had 10 rushing touchdowns this season. That's the most rushing yards in a single season so far in his career, but the least amount of rushing touchdowns. Dedrick Webb had four touchdowns this year. The Patriots never used Felix Jones at all. So we got the best out of him this year. 87 attempts, 260 yards, and one touchdown. I will say Darren Sproles actually performed better than he did. So our trade for him really didn't work out in the end. And we're definitely not going to be re-signing Felix Jones if he wants $23 million. That's not happening. We had no 1,000-yard receivers this year. I don't think we've ever had it. No one had 10 receiving touchdowns, but Andre Bender came the closest with nine. Chris Gamble completed his incentives for five interceptions. So did Darrell Revis. And he also got his 50 tackles as well. Gary Martin had 10 sacks on the season. David Harris for six fumbles on the year. We had four defensive touchdowns this year. One for Dargan, one for Reigns, one for Revis, and one for Billy Bell. Alexis Cerna had his worst year on record. He's not had a single season where he's had 70% field goal percentage or higher. Mike Zazali had 47 passing touchdowns. 5,600 passing yards. That is absurd. Andre Woodson, 45 passing touchdowns and 14 interceptions. Kerry Collins out here with 30 interceptions. My goodness. Matt Schaub, the same thing. Darren McFadden had the second most rushing yards in the NFL. Marshawn Lynch finished at the top with 1,515 touchdowns. Kerry Martin was tied for the most sacks in the NFL this year with 10. I'm not sure how I see the playoff bracket. All I know is we got Cincinnati up in this episode. We beat the Cincinnati Bengals in the regular season, but they have kicked our butts in the pass before. They do a lot of runs up the middle. They got a good running back, but also we got to watch out for Ocho Cinco, of course, and TJ Hushmanzada. We have 10,000 points to upgrade our offensive line coach. I'm going to move it to improve blocking. And for our running backs coach, we're going to add improved break tackle. And this guy is already 99 overall at running back coach. Only one thing left to upgrade and it's improved carrying. For a defensive coordinator, I'm going to add it to improved force fumble. Sounds overpowered and super valuable, so I'm going to take it. For our offensive coordinator, I'm going to upgrade playbook training, which increases the rate at which the players will report to this coach will learn plays. Probably still saving up to get that five out of five performance for my head coach. That sounds very valuable. Look at John Scotland's development through this rookie season. 97 throw power, maxed out. 97 throw accuracy, maxed out. Awareness is only four overall away from being maxed out. And everything else, I mean, acceleration, that's really minuscule to his overall. His injury is a little bit lower, but it says that can get better. And he hasn't been injured yet, so that's good news. Learning maxed out at eight which is good enough. He's clearly been okay. Dude, Lance Freiberg already has 99 awareness as a rookie as well. That's ridiculous. He also has 99 learning too. Best offensive lineman in the league. 
Dude, once Gary Martin starts working on his play recognition and awareness, he's going to be ridiculous in terms of his overall. DeMarco Tribble, he's been pretty good too. Can max out on 97 power moves, 95 tackle, but he's had a pretty good year as well. Darius Dargan, only 82 overall, but I feel like he's way more valuable to our team. Like the tackling and stuff, it's okay. He doesn't miss enough tackles for it to really be a problem on the field. His play recognition can get it all the way to 95, awareness to 92, so he can be very intelligent. His man coverage can get to 78, and his zone can get to 96. Damn, Sam McRains can get 99 zone coverage? Even Bo Wilson can get up to 91 zone coverage. I don't think he'll ever hit it, but that's pretty cool. NFL MVP, Mike Zazali, no surprise there. We got Offensive Player of the Year, Mike Zazali. Defensive Player of the Year, Brandon Flowers. Offensive Rookie of the Year, John Scotland, there we go. Got one of those. Defensive Rookie of the Year, not our guy. Raleigh Burns, don't know who that is. Coach of the Year, it's not me, it's Tom Coughlin. All right, so at the beginning of the year, they told us we had to win Offensive Rookie of the Year, was specifically with Lance Freiburg, but thankfully there was a stipulation where if someone else on our team won it, it would have been good enough. So we do not lose approval for that. I was going to be pretty upset because winning Offensive Rookie of the Year with an offensive lineman, damn near impossible. Sweet. So we win the toss. Definitely going to kick off first. Oh, do we get him in the backfield? Yes, that's it, baby. Nice play. I let the defensive coordinator call most of these plays because he's a higher rated coach than me. And also, I don't think I'm that great of a defensive like play caller. Too many chances to mess it up. But if the CPU does it, they can usually lock up, or at least better than I would. Oh, they're going to play action to the corner. That's deflected. Using our three running backs. Oh, and Darren McFadden says, screw the other running backs. All we need is one. Felix Jones running to the outside this time using his speed. I'm doing my, like, money play action play. Hopefully it'll work. We got the tight end. Can he break it? No, he's inside the 15, though. Pop it to the outside with Darren McFadden. Great block. Did you see that? And he's still breaking tackles. He's in the end zone. Look at that. Great job. Oh, put that pressure on him. He's going to be well short of it. They're going to have to punt it again. Nice block, Sean Holmberg. And the moves from Darren McFadden. Go, go, go. Good moves, Felix Jones. All right, this is not typically one of the play action plays I run. But we got the fullback just wide open. That works too. Oh, I guess that works too. McFadden's going to have to make something happen. Come on, Alexis Cerna. He got it. You might think that's an overreaction, but for us, he misses way too many field goals. Glad he got that one through. Two-score game. Oh, Darius Dargan. Told you he's a superstar. What a play. Oh, their first first down of the day. Play action is dangerous in this game. Yep, Chad Johnson's getting hot. Oh, no, we missed. He's going to score. Get there, Dargan. He just popped up. What the hell? What kind of animation was that? Oh, yes. The brick wall of David Harris. Get there. Oh, Dargan does it again. Okay, I was just talking about how his tackling wasn't a big deal, but now it's becoming a big deal. Oh, Felix Jones? Go, 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 Felix Jones. Keep running. Oh, he's going to get tackled. Missiles it at the tight end. What a big time play. Going to be playing it safe. Keeping it on the ground here with McFadden. He fumbles it. That's not playing it safe. Right as I said the words, right as they left my mouth, the ball hits the ground. But we get it back. Like whenever he fumbles, it turns into a, a downpour of fumbles. We don't want that. Get there! Get there! Touchdown, Darren McFadden, number two! Get in the backfield, Gary Martin! This dude's a beast! Let it tick down, come on, Cincinnati. You bums. Oh, we're there again! DeMarco Tribble! And we're sacking him again! This time it's DeMarco Tribble! Pop it to the outside and keep running downfield. Good block from the left tackle. Felix Jones makes a miss. And there's a penalty too. That's probably a face mask. Tack some more onto it. Give me the blocks. Come on, we invested a ton in this offensive line. 
Go McFadden. He's there for number three. And McFadden is dead in the end zone. You can just see the breath coming out of his mouth. Oh no, but Darren McFadden is injured. Lower back bruise. He's out one to two quarters. But this man already gave us so much. Three touchdowns. Can't complain with that. Hey, there's a good blocks from them. Oh, what a play from DeMarco Tribble. Oh, I thought that was going to be picked. Sandrick Reigns was right on his cheeks. So they're going to try and take this field goal from the 33. It's like a 50-yarder. He got it. Wow. It was tough to see from that angle, but he punched it in. Oh, that's just a great read. Slipped it in there right before the defender could get there. Oh, what a block from the wide receiver, too. Time for a fullback dive. Got to do these every now and then. And this was a big one. You got him open. Touchdown. So that'll give us a two-touchdown lead here in the third. Oh, is that going to be picked off at the line? It almost it was tipped up for it. It was up there for a while. Oh, they're going to try this field goal. Okay, we got to get the cinematic angle. This is a 51-yarder at the logo. And he got it. Wow. This kicker is nuts. Makes it an 11-point game. He's got the tight end, but he's going to the corner route. Oh, Roscoe Lester's making it happen. He breaks another one. Could he be gone? Touchdown, Jets. That was hype. That was the Oklahoma quarterback to the Oklahoma receiver who just took it all the way. Former college teammates. That connection's still strong. Floating it up, and we swat it down. Where'd he go, Darrell Revis? And we're gonna sack him. Get out of here, Cincinnati. Head injury out for game. X-rays pending. Probably concussion. Hopefully it's only for a week. He's sending it to Andre Bender. Ooh, I thought he was going to break it. Tied in for days. He breaks the tackle too. Touchdown. That should just about wrap it up. Oh, he caught it, but he got flattened by Sandrick Reigns. Gary Martin's looking for blood. <laughs> Sandrick Reigns is just letting him catch him just so he can whack him. Oh, he messed up there, though. Yeah, the flag's not going to matter. They're going to score here. Oh, he threw a pick. And that's going to be a pick six. Why am I throwing with a minute left in the game? Because I like fun, that's why. But now I am uh, tarnishing my fun because I'm letting him back in the game. Yep, that's classic Drewski. 12-point game. And they're not going to get it out of the backfield. Learn my lesson. I'm not going to throw the ball anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this game by throwing interceptions. Officially over, 45 to 33. Fantastic win. John Scotland, great day at the office. He would have been a perfect passer rating if I didn't make him throw that pick at the end by accident. 128.6 QB rating, three touchdowns, one pick, 272 yards, 12 of 14, 85% completion percentage. Darren McFadden, he left the game a little bit early with a head injury. 13 attempts, 69 yards, nice. And three touchdowns. Felix Jones was great as well, averaging 6.2 yards per carry. 12 attempts for 75 yards. Diedrich Webb was also pretty good. Roscoe Lester, my goodness, he exploded. Three catches, 108 yards, two touchdowns. Darius Wilson, also nice broken tackle to get to the end zone. Four catches, 90 yards, one touchdown. Sean Holmberg had three pancakes this game. Nick Mangold had 24 successful run blocks. David Harris, 11 tackles. We had so many tackles for loss, this was insane. Four total sacks, Calais Campbell, DeMarco Tribble, David Harris, and Gary Martin. 446 yards of total offense. I'd say that's pretty productive. Yeah, because we won a playoff game, of course everyone's going to be thrilled. Approval is to 98 right now. Mike McCarthy has been fired. Mike McCarthy retired. He's 46. Hey, looks like Darren McFadden's okay. His head is back to 99%. His right leg is at 69%, but we haven't really had too many issues with that. So the Vikings made the playoffs, but they lost in the wild card round to the Redskins. Raiders beat the Jaguars, so they're moving on to the next round. I'd love to play Mike Zazali at some point. Dude is insane. We beat the Bengals, of course, and the Eagles beat the 49ers. So no reunion with Darren Sproles. Colts are going to be a much tougher challenge, though. They have one of the best coaching staffs in this game, so that already makes them a little bit overpowered. But also, their players are pretty nuts as well. 
I like that Peyton Manning doesn't call a zillion audibles in this game. And I love that we're forcing fumbles. David Harris not only hit him to the dirt, yeah, but he scoops it up. Yeah, there's no way that stands. But we've been just hitting people very hard recently. That would be targeting in today's NFL. That's for sure. In the backfield, David Harris is dominating so yes, far. That's it, baby. Nice play. Get to him. Forced it early. And he's still going to get it. Play action is just so tough to stop. Dallas Clark, too, when he's breaking tackles like that. Oh, nice swat. Oh, he almost got it anyway. Oh, he's sitting in the running back in motion. But they got nobody to block back there. Gets it away. And they're going to be short of it. Adam Vinatieri. Miss it. Miss it. He's short. No good. Oh, he's got a lane. Darren McFadden's already got a first down. Quickly to Andre Bender. I'm liking this offense. Oh, McFadden. Another big time run. You got guys. Oh, Andre Bender gets hit, so he drops it in the end zone. Still a good effort. McFadden's going to carry us today. Again, he wants it. Go, McFadden. You can beat him. Touchdown. Fourth one of the postseason. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, we got lucky. Bo Wilson was on the ground. Oh, I thought that was going to be an amazing catch, but great hit from Darrell Revis. Let's play action. We read it all the way. And he still finds Dallas Clark. They're down. Let's get a stop. They love the play action plays. And it's popped out. Yes. All right, Vinatieri, you know you want to miss it again. Whiff it to the right. No good? There's no way he's short-legging these chip shots. This is incredible. Adam Vinatieri, I love you. Just for missing all these kicks, whiffing them left and right. Well, I guess not left and right, just very short. And Darren McFadden, oh my goodness. He's having a big day already. He's a legend. He's getting blocks from his wide receivers. I thought he was going to break that all the way. Oh, off his back. What the heck? Oh, no. Please get there. He's still breaking tackles. Yeah, no way he's catching that. Sandrick Reigns was hitting him before he even touched the ball, which is a little bit illegal, but nobody saw it. Out of bounds again. They're just going to punt it. They're like, what's even the point of trying anymore? Adam Vinatieri has no leg into the end zone. So we get it at the 20. The first carry of every drive has been a first down. Beautiful to watch. Oh, what a spin. Can he make this guy miss? He sheds him off. Another first down for Darren McFadden. Oh, Felix Jones. Yep, nobody in front of him. Felix Jones is going to take this one all the way. How about this rushing attack? These guys are doing a great job pounding the rock. First down again. So this might be the closest they've gotten so far. Oh, it's almost picked off by Dargan. Again, it's going to be fourth down. They're going to try for the field goal again. Can Vinatieri whiff it three straight times? 40-yard field goal. It's no good. <laughs> he has not made it yet. Is he hurt or something? There's just no way he should be missing these short of field goals. It's hilarious to me. No complaints on my end, though. Oh my gosh, their safety's pressed up on the left. Could this be our chance? Yes. Andre Bender, we saw it from the snap. And he's going to go all the way. Three touchdown lead here with one minute left in the second quarter. Just like we drew it up. Just go ahead and book our spot in the AFC Championship, why don't we? Everything has gone to perfection so far. They have not scored yet. They've missed three field goals. And then we also keep scoring on offense. Oh my. You just murdered the man, Darrell Revis. Going for blood. Get out there. Get out there. Nice hit. Is he inbounds? He is. Oh, nice. Another deflection for Darrell Revis. Across the middle. Clock's ticking away. They got one timeout left. Yeah, they're going to take it. We're going to see it from this angle this time. 
it's short again. Like, he's got to be hurt. And also, why do they keep kicking it? He's missed four field goals in this half. That's 12 points they just left on the board. How about that for a first half? Doesn't get much better than that. These kickoffs are really short for Adam Vinatieri, too. He is just struggling back there, isn't he? Felix Jones, can he go? He's super fast. Come on. Oh, he's going to get dragged down, but what a return. They're ready for the play action, and we still catch it. Roscoe Lester is there. Oh, he threw a pick. Come on, John Scotland, at least tackle him. He forced the fumble. We get it back. Can you believe that? Oh, my God, what a play. John Scotland throws the pick and still punches it out to get it back for his team. I don't even know how to react to that. Like, that's terrible and awesome in the exact same play. Try the quarterback run right here in 30 inches. Oh, John Scotland. See him juking around everybody. Uh, oh, he fumbles it, but please pick it up. Pick it up. Oh. Why are we making this so hard on ourselves? Let's hope he got his elbow down or something. Nope, that is out. Oh, that's a pick. Straight to Bo Wilson. Can he go? He's not going to score a pick six here. Cross the middle. Cross the middle. He's there. Cotri's got it for the touchdown. <laughs> we are spanking them. Okay, I guess they're not going to punt it. It's at that time where they're down by four scores. 14 minutes left to go in the game. Don't blame them. And they're going to get the first down. Merkham, that's a fumble. They get it back. And we're slapping him in the face too. Get to him. Oh, he actually caught that one. That's going to be the first score of the game. Marvin Harrison has said he's done. Right, guys, he's had enough. For the pass on the first two downs. You better believe we're playing conservative this game because I do not want Peyton Manning to drive back from four scores down with 14 minutes left. I will poop myself. Extremely short kickoff. There goes Braxton. Oh, he's going to... Oh, I didn't finish Terry. He looked like he was behind him for a second, but hell of a return. We ride... We ride with Darren McFadden. He's going to get us the first down. Look at that. He's going to get in. Felix Jones. Guys, we've got one mean ground game. Oh, he tried to go for the big hit. That is dangerous. Marvin Harrison could be gone. Sandrick Reigns at least dive at him. That's going to be another score for him. Jeez, he's almost short-legging the extra point. Adam Vinatieri must be on crutches out there. I don't know what's happening. Need a big play. Don't want him getting back into this. And that's Andre Bender there. And he fumbles it. No. No, no, no. He's going to the end zone. One-handed snag. Oh, no. Hold on to the football. Let's work this clock. Go, Darren McFadden. Get into the end zone. Oh no, another fumble! Are you kidding me? Is there a comeback code in this game? EA, don't do this to me. Oh my god, <laughs> this is gonna be nuts. I don't wanna lose. Like, there's not much I can do right now. I'm just holding on for dear life. We got a pick! Yes, David Harris! That's the clutch play we needed. Thank you. Oh, I can breathe again. He's running backwards. Oh, he got it. Yes. And also there's a flag. What a play from Darren McFadden. He had to run around everywhere. Whew. Face mask anyway. Put a fat offensive lineman out there just to be goofy, to kneel this football. And that's going to do it. We're on to the AFC Championship in my first ever playoff run. John Scotland, 100.5 QB rating, two touchdowns, one pick. Did not throw the ball much because, one, we were ahead the whole time and running game was working so why go away from it especially when he got Darren McFadden getting 180 rushing yards one touchdown Felix Jones got two touchdowns behind him 69 rushing yards nice Andre Bender was fantastic three catches 104 yards and one touchdown Cotri also got himself a touchdown David Harris 12 tackles three TFLs we had one sack today two interceptions Bo Wilson 
and David Harris. Almost 300 rushing yards as a team. Oh, it's finally time to take on the Raiders. So the Giants beat the Redskins and they're moving on to the Super Bowl. Either us or the Raiders moving on to the final game. I've been waiting to play Mike Zazali for so long. He's just like stuff of legend. He's the best quarterback in the league, I think. He threw for 5,700 passing yards and nearly 50 touchdowns in the regular season. And on top of that, I think he ran for like 500 something yards as well. Dude's nasty. Let's see this guy. Mike Zazali, number eight. Throws that off his back foot and we're swatting it down. They got three people in the backfield? What is this? Right over the middle, damn. He's got him short. This is going to be another first for them. Oh, he's running backwards. That's huge. Oh, no. That guy is massive. Oh, guys, relax. oh, Mike Zazali's so quick. Jeez. That's been happening a lot lately. Cover up, cover up. Oh, we got the pick. How about that? Darrell nice Revis, huge. Nice job, baby. Gotta keep getting off the field. Oh! The moves. That's a nice play. Oh, we got a fumble. We just fumbled it right back to him. Get his ear. Just turnovers back to back. First and goal. We're all stepping backwards. And they fumble it. We get it. Yes. I told you in the red zone, our defense doesn't break. He's got the outside. Oh, never mind. 21 is fast. He forces a fumble too. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say, man. That's four turnovers in the first quarter. And off to the wide receiver. He's going to be short. Oh, off the post. No good. It's still going to remain 0-0. Zero, zero. He's wide open. Go, Roscoe Lester. Is he gone? Oh, I can breathe. We were on that side of the field for so long. But John Scotland pulls us out of it. We worked on that in practice, too. We focused on our play-action plays. And it's paying off right here. 7 nothing to start the game. Well, I guess there's a lot that happened before that, but anyway, the first one's a score. That's what I'm in. Oh, we try to make a play on it, and he is gone. That guy is so fast. Don't even know who that is, but he is zooming to the end zone. The Raiders definitely have speed, don't they? Make a miss. There we go. Keep going. You're faster than everybody, McFadden. Don't need that clipboard crap because we got a touchdown that's it offense great job sack him yes oh he got it third and 19 and they convert Let him hear it. and we sack him again DeMarco Tribble oh back to back sacks Nice moves. And the blocks, too. Yeah, he just drops it short. We're going to have to punt this. Oh, what was I thinking there? I mean, they're just letting him catch in front of us. I mean, they're going to have guys open on this side. I have no timeouts to change it. Throws it immediately. Touchdown. Tie game. Oh, we have a fumble. We're going to... Mm. Darren McFadden has fumbled every single playoff game so far. Sack him. Oh, he sheds off the tackle, chucking it to the end zone. And almost an interception. Oh, what a catch. Going to the on-field camera for this one. Their knowledge of this play is like nothing. If we don't make a huge play here, we can be triggered. Deflected away, Bo Wilson. Good stuff. We have so many people in the backfield. Bo Wilson, another huge play. That wasn't a very nice thing to say. Uh, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? He gets it. So they're going to take the lead. 17-14, first lead for them today. Way to find Andre Bender. 
Across the middle, Darius Wilson is there to bail us out. All our best pass plays are play action plays, so that's why I run so many. People might be weirded out. Oh, there goes Darius Wilson. Touchdown. We're reclaiming the lead. Oof, what a play. Ah, I thought that was going to be a pick. Quickly throws it. Oh, he avoids the sack and gets another first down. He's got somebody else. Another one. I see why he got 50 touchdowns this year. Oh, that could have been a pick, but that's our defensive lineman, Calais Campbell. Sacked him. They're going to have to burn that timeout. And he gets the field goal. It's going to be 20 to 21 going into halftime. What an epic first half. Perfect QB rating right now for John Scotland. Two touchdowns, zero picks, 142 passing yards, and he's five of six. Darren McFadden is averaging 12.1 yards per carry. That is nuts. Seven attempts, 85 yards, one touchdown. Felix Jones, three attempts, 25 yards. We also have three fumbles, though. That scares me. Roscoe Lester, one catch, 65 yards and a touchdown. Darius Wilson, two catches, 47 yards and a touchdown. Bo Wilson is leading the defense right now with seven tackles. We have four sacks. Gary Martin has two. Mike Zizzoli, 106.1 QB rating. Two touchdowns, one pick, almost 400 yards in the first half. And also, he's got some very speedy receivers. Early due set, Josh Morgan. He's the one who got the 69-yard reception for a touchdown. Please be someone on the special teams. Oh, Felix Jones, right leg injury out for game. X-rays pending. I mean, that's a tough loss, but it's okay. We can recover. We got two other running backs. He's got Andre Bender. Ooh, these blocks. That'll be a first down. These guys are doing a great job pounding the rock. Nice juke move and the stiff arm. He can get there, Diedrich Webb. Ooh. Oh, it's wide open for him. Darren McFadden walks into the end zone. Oh, <laughs> just pushed him to the ground for no reason. Oh, wow, what a catch. Another missile, and that's got to be a fumble, right? Or is he on the ground? Ah, uh, his butt cheek was down, it looks like. It's a nasty hit, though. Definitely targeting, but that didn't exist in head coach 09. Where's, oh! Calais Campbell with the sack. To the dirt. They're going to have to settle for the three or try to go for it from this far out, which I don't think they'll do. Let's go cinematic angle. Sebastian Janikowski. Man has a rocket for a boot. No, wait, that's not Janikowski. That's some other guy. Still makes it, though. K. Brown. Good spin. Oh, there goes Darren McFadden. He's going to be gone again. 69 yards to the house. Nice. He's got all day to throw. And this guy drops it. They're failing Mike Zazali. They're going to go for this one. Fourth and three at the 47. Will he drop it short? Barely gets it away. And we're going to bring him to the dirt. Billy Bell go, shutting him down. That's a turnover on downs. Give me that block on the edge again. McFadden is just nasty, bro. These guys are doing a great job pounding the rock. Just evaded everybody. Diedrich Webb to the second level. Got a guy wide open. Touchdown. Stick a fork in him. I can smell that Super Bowl on the horizon. Oh, I said that too soon. Okay, good tackle. Yeah, they're going to run that to perfection, aren't they? Oh, what a throw. Third and goal. Oh, nice play from DeMarco Tribble. That'll make it fourth down. Pick him off. He's going to be short. He's short. They don't get it. Wow, that's so unfortunate for them, but awesome for us. Andre Bender memes. 
Oh, Andre Bender memes backfired immediately. He fumbled it. Both my other running backs were so tired, I didn't want to risk it, and it ended up just being a fumble anyway. Next time, I'm just throwing my uh, running backs into the fire. Mike Zazali's just gonna run it in. Surprised they haven't been doing this all day. I mean, Zazali's running at you full head of steam. I don't want to get anywhere near that. Got him wide open. Roscoe Lester stiff arming the safety too. He's gone. Touchdown, 49 points. They're not gonna be able to catch up to us now. It was close in that first half, but we pulled away in the second by a large margin, 49 to 30. Definitely the best in the AFC. Perfect game for John Scotland. Four touchdowns, zero interceptions, 263 passing yards, 11 to 12, 91% completion percentage. Darren McFadden was just about as perfect as you can get to. 17 attempts, 209 yards, three touchdowns. Jeez, every touchdown went to Roscoe Lester, too. Three catches, 131 yards, three touchdowns. Oh, excuse me, Darius Wilson caught one as well. We had five sacks in this game. Gary Martin had two, DeMarco Tribble, Calais Campbell, and Billy Bell. We had one pick for Darrell Revis and one fumble recovery for Sandra Grains. 264 rushing yards, one more yard than passing. They had 512 passing yards and they lost. Graded my general manager to get draft intuition, which instantly unlocks all scouting information for some top players in the draft class. That's pretty cool. For my linebacker coach, I'm going to upgrade improved force fumble just because that sounds epic. My special teams coordinator can finally upgrade something. So I'm going to upgrade the kick accuracy training. This one sounds OP. Increase your defensive line's ability to get through their quarterback's pass protection. So going into this Super Bowl game, John Scotland is basically maxed out. 97 throw power, 97 accuracy, maxed out awareness. Finally tied to the Super Bowl. This is what I've been working towards this entire series. 20 mile per hour wins. Jeez. We are playing in the Chargers old stadium in San Diego. Two New York teams in California. Push him down to the dirt. Don't know why the field is so bright, though. It's not even green anymore. It's like a yellow. Oh, we forced a fumble on the first play. We're scooping it up. David Harris, you legend. What a way to start it. Let's do what's got us up to this point and just run it. And we're getting slaughtered, too. We got Felix Jones back for this one. They're in the backfield. We get it off. Get on the board. He's open. Touchdown, Roscoe Lester. He's been electric in this postseason. The two Oklahoma grads. Preemptively say anything, but every time we've scored first in the postseason, we have won, which has only been this postseason. It's the only time we made it. But we've looked really good. What a way to start it. Forced to fumble on the first defensive play. Takes us only three plays to score on offense as well. Oh my god, DeMarco Triple, you madman. We prepared way too well for this. The Giants don't really stand a chance. Almost a pick right there. Bo Wilson was on him. They've got Ray Rice at running back. That's funny. Someone bring him down. He's punching us. Ray Rice is punching us in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Jeremy Shockey. Don't want that guy in my end zone. Wait, that's not him. That's some other guy. Still don't want that guy in my end zone. Oh, and he scores. Oh, wait. He, no, he doesn't. He's at the one-yard line. They pitched it. Ray Rice just avoids him. Touchdown, Giants. Oh, it certainly works. Oh, no, they're ready for it. Look at him switching to the outside right away. You got the running back. Hold on. I just got murdered. Personal foul. Face back. I didn't see the face mask. He hit me with his elbow, but we'll we'll call it. Nowhere to go. Ah, oh, swatted down at the line. They're putting the pressure on me. The post. It's there. Darius Wilson, keep running. What a nice play. Touchdown. That was excellent. Two touchdowns already for John Scotland. I swear he's got that superstar dev trait. Whoa, what a missile. Over his head. Ah, oh, nice hit from Alex McFarland. What a catch. I don't know who this guy is, but he is snagging on me today. 
Oh my gosh, he's zooming to the backfield. And we got to punt it. Oh no, oh no. There goes Ray Rice. He punched us in the face again. That wasn't very nice. And he's super fast. Ran away from everybody. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun to see my head coach kind of freak out sometimes. Oh, this is looks like Andre Bender for a touchdown right here. Or not. Tight ends open too. That works. Go, go, go. First down. Sweet. Good, good. Nice job, offense. All right, so we have another injury. I think this one's Felix Jones. He's got a torso injury. He's out for the game. It's all good, though. We got the best running back in football. Diedrich Webb is also pretty good. Oh, my God. What a freaking catch. Darius Wilson, I'm going to sign you to a lifetime contract. That was amazing. He's in there. Touchdown. I thought we were going to blow him out, but it's been pretty close so far. 21-21. I thought we were there. Ray Rice again. Oh, he juked one too many times. Ah, he threw it to the grass. What a bum. Oh, nobody gonna block him? That's not what we needed. Oh, he got him wide open. Wide open. Keep going, Darius Wilson. You are gonna have a huge stat line at the end of this game. Stay away from number 69. He is uh, pounding us. No pause. Give me that block, Andre Bender. Oh, he's gone. He's gotta be gone, right? Oh, never mind. The lineman's lost. What the? That was disastrous. Nick Mangold, you want to explain yourself? 69, please get out of my face. They're not covering the tight end again. But he's throwing it at my running back. Why? Oh, well, that was great. From the 25, it's 42 yarder. And it looks like he missed it. Yep. Ah, Alexis Cerna. You strike again, and in the Super Bowl too. Come on, man. We just upgraded the special teams coordinator's accuracy thing, man. You're not making a good case for you to be here next year. Oh my, Ray Rice does not go down. We fumbled it. We scoop it up, yes! I think the tight end might be open here. Or the corner route, Roscoe Lester again in the end zone. Striking right before halftime again. That's got to be his, what, third touchdown of the half? John Scotland has reached Super Saiyan like seven. Back and forth first half, 28 to 21 though. Feeling good. 230 yards of total offense. It's been our passing attack today, actually, that's been successful. John Scotland, three touchdowns already, 178 passing yards, eight of 11. Darren McFadden has one rushing touchdown, 69 yards on the game. Darius Wilson has been electric. Four catches, 123 yards and one touchdown. Roscoe Lester, both of his catches are touchdowns. Once a drive, he like throws it to the ground for no reason at all. Eli Manning effect. Almost a pick. Oh, barely floated it up and we still got it. Oh, we fumbled it and they get it. No. Sloppy, real sloppy. Oh, come on, there's two of you there. Secretary's done an incredible job so far. He's wide open in the flats. Dude just drops it. Plaxico Burris, no hands. Ah, uh, bruh. This game is too stressful for me. At least I don't have to make the plays. I just pr push the button for them to do it. He's gonna walk in, wow. Boss is a boss. Oh, you had him on the out route. If he was mastered, that would have been a touchdown right there. There we go, there we go. And we got a fumble again, but thankfully we're diving on it. Somebody block for us, please. Tight end, tight end. Or oh, that too, that too. Roscoe Lester is just killing it today. Another touchdown sliding into the end zone, getting past the defense. You'll love to see it. It's tough to stop our team. We're just too high powered at every position. What? 
Couldn't get through. Ah, we got to make a play on the ball. Third and inches, just rush them up the middle. They've been running the ball all over the place today. And they're going to pass it. Gets it away quickly. Darrell Rivas can't punch it out. Oh, that's a pick. He threw it on the ground again. Darrell Rivas, heads up play this time, snags it. Oh, don't want to do those kind of drops in the end zone. Oh, McFadden turned that from disaster into a first down. That's, a nice play. that's why you love this player. Someone's got to be open. Good read, but he's going to be short of it. Get to him. Punched away by Billy Bell. Who was that to? What the? They're going to go for it here. Fourth and six. Over the middle, he does it again. Throws it to nobody. Ah, we got nowhere to run. Let's stop shooting ourselves in the foot and start making plays. Oh, you got everybody open. But he can barely get it off. Andre Binder makes it happen, though. That's going to be another touchdown. Wow. We just have too many stars. One heck of a play. That nice was so job, exciting everybody. to watch. Did he just do a double juke on the same guy? That was almost number two for Darrell Rivas. Oh, very close to an interception. What? They're going to punt it down two scores with five minutes? They're just trying to hand us the Super Bowl. I'm not complaining. Oh my, my fullback is gone. Sean Holberg wants the victory. But I think there's a holding penalty, so this is definitely coming back. Oh my god, we caught it and we got it. Oh, 30 and 16, Martin Braxton is only catch of the game. Oh, I'm getting sacked. And we got an injury. Andre Bender, right arm injury out for the game. Andre Bender is one of my favorite players. Ah, they really go for the ankles, don't they? Ooh, I thought we were going to force a fumble there. Oh, no, we got burned. Plexco Burris just running deep. Bo Wilson, that was atrocious. Oh, he missed it. Sebastian Janikowski clanks the extra point. They're down by eight points now. They're going to kick it off normally with two minutes. Hold on to the football, Dedrick Webb. Oh. Oh. Is that a first? That's going to be game. Dedrick Webb seals it up. All we have to do is not fumble and we should win. And he gets murdered. Absolutely killed. So they are out of timeouts. We can take it down to like 20 seconds, I think. Unless. Yeah, let's run the ball, though. Let's not try to do anything fancy here. We're going to go with Game Breaker. See if we can make some magic happen. And magic does not happen. <laughs> so now we got to punt it to him. We're just going to punt it. I don't see a reason to not here. Make them go all the way. They got to get a two-point conversion too. Because we're going to tick this down to like 20-something seconds. They have no timeouts. Don't give them extra field position for no reason. Here we go. 15 seconds when he touches the ball. And he gets splattered. 12 seconds is all I got. They're going to do it from this angle since he's got to huck it so deep. Can I keep a timeout in my pocket just in case? And he just throws it at my defensive tackle. Eight seconds left. Cover up. He's going short again. What is he doing? <laughs> We're all over it. This has got to be their last play. Unless he just does another short pass, which would be stupid. He's got to huck it deep. They just go for the first down. That's it. That's going to be game. Come on, guys. Relax. Relax. We're Super Bowl okay, champs. Everybody. I can't relax. We did it. And there's no presentation or anything. It's just, that's it. I thought it would be more hype than that, but but okay. John Scotland, 156.3 QB rating, five touchdowns. He's definitely getting MVP of this game. 338 passing yards, 15 to 20.
75% completion percentage. Darren McFadden, 26 attempts, 93 yards, one touchdown. How about Darius Wilson and Roscoe Lester, though? Roscoe Lester, another three touchdown performance. Andre Bender had one, and so did Darius Wilson. We had no sacks in this game, but we did have a pick from Darrell Revis. That was pretty hype. And we had two fumble recoveries once again, Billy Bell and David Harris. Alexis Cerna, you missed that field goal, but it, it turned out to be okay because we won 42 to 34. Ray Rice had 155 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Plax Burr has 174 receiving yards and two touchdowns. How about that? Super Bowl champs. Took me three seasons to do it, right? Three seasons? I can't remember. However long it took me. We did it. Super Bowl champs. You arrived. Win your first Super Bowl ring. Hell yeah. How do you win the Super Bowl and the players go down by two? They will never love me, even if I become the greatest coach to ever live. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, Big Old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.